sloppy.
Guys, we've lost our party wrangler. We've lost our party wrangler. Ray is going to be indisposed today. So, it's going to fall to me to form the Evil East party. And I'm not confident. We're going to be on Ether Ad Adamantoys again today to finish off Evil East. And then 5.2. 5.2! We're gonna have to wrangle the party ourselves without Ray. I don't know if I stated it publicly. I gave Ray a diamond to my channel because Ray has done so much for our parties and our grouping and just getting things in order for me so I can just focus. Ray, I adore you. I don't know if I say that enough, but I do. Mr. Streamer, can we get a crumb of MSQ today? Pretty please? Yeah, we're gonna do 5.2. I just wanna finish off Ivalice. You know what? I think I'm gonna try and join this one. Ether, Adamantoids. I think we'll start with that. We'll get that out of the way. It's Saturday, so I feel like a lot of players are probably on by now, or if not, very soon. By the time I finish whatever story quests we need to do in like two hours, <laughs> then we'll be ready to queue up. <laughs> also, welcome back, Morningstar. Hi, Serena. Hi, Belair. Kugane Airship Landing, that's a good place to localize. Tales of Loss and Fire and Fate, I think? I forgot we're Christmas! I forgot we're Christmas. Guys, I've been editing. In like all my spare time I've been editing. I like rushed out today's video. It uploaded today. It was supposed to upload yesterday and it uploaded today at like 1.30. And I was like, I just have to get today's video out because I want to keep... Okay, I want you guys' opinion. If you watch YouTube reaction videos, would you, because I kind of combined all the initial stuff in Shadowbringers. Oh, ah! Delayed from right after last stream. Izagi, thank you for the primer, by the way. Thank you for the primer. And Nigel, thank you for the pets. Um, 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 what was I gonna say? Right, so I combined all of like the early Shadowbringers stuff together, and now I'm wondering, so much happens in Shadowbringers. So much happens in Shadowbringers. I don't know how I want to compile it. My initial thoughts are up until, what, what should we call it? The Innocence fight? Up until the Innocence fight, I think I just want to categorize every moment that made me feel something and maybe leave out a lot of unfortunate things, um, but at least get together everything that like invoked a reaction from me and then leave everything else to be like, okay, whatever. It'll be on the VOD channel eventually. And then do Innocence in its own video, and the subsequent reaction, and then 5.0 in its own video, which is so much. Which is so much to do. <sighs> Remember that phrase? Wait, which phrase, Kyo? Which phrase? I need two hours to sort my hopper anyways. New PC reset it all! No, Avalon! The most painful. If I remember, 5.2 is also pretty chill. Not sure at the moment. We'll see when we get there. We'll, we'll deal with it. I'm ready. I feel like I've had so much of a palate cleanser. I'm I'm ready. Ah! You got a Krimbus outfit! You look so cute. I love the pants. You look so cute, cat dad. <laughs> Hi, Shady, by the way. Welcome in. Uh, I'm leaving in an hour to celebrate my Krimbus birthday. So I probably won't be able to help with Raid. No problem, buddy. I'm sure we'll have enough people. Can't hear since I'm on the phone. Can't find my headset. Network wiring is getting fucked at the moment. Izagi, I don't. I know you can't hear me, but I love you. Thank you for the primer. <laughs> if you have a dedicated VOD channel, then yeah, I think only some moments should be fine. I have the VOD channel. I have all of my raw footage saved on my computer, and I need to put it on the VOD channel. Usually, I like to edit them down a little bit. I'm not gonna. It's just gonna be the raw footage, just so I can get it on the channel. Starting with Heaven's Word. Unfortunately, I lost my Realm Reborn moments. We grinding MSQ today? G, yes we are, but after the last Evil East raid. Do we assemble Kugana? Yes we do, Willer. I like to watch both from creators, full VODs and moments. Maybe prefer the full VODs. In that case, I'll try and prioritize the VODs. I'll just start getting them uploaded, and I'll make very basic thumbnails for each, each expansion, and like very basic descriptions and stuff, just so they're there. Just so they're on that VOD channel, and you guys can go through and skim if you want. Because Twitch does the horrible thing of deleting VODs, which I guess it makes sense. Storage space and whatnot, but like, it makes me sad. It makes me very sad. So assemble in Kugane gamers! I'm going to do the last set of quests. Hi, Blur. Blur, why aren't we friends yet? Do you hate me? Do you hate me? What is wrong with you? Why aren't you on my friends list? You cute cat. <laughs> I love this gold. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you kindly. Hi, gamers. 
slash Banterra, I deserve it. When doing nothing or farming in some game, it's really nice to put up a VOD of co creator like yourself and relive great moments again. <gasps> good point. And, oh my god, Dio, that's such a good point, because, a, like, a moment video is only going to be, like, 20 or 40 minutes, so it's not going to last you your whole play session, right? If you want it there as the background noise for your play session. Damn, I didn't think of it that way. Damn, below your thighs. Are we looking respectfully? Are we looking respectfully? It's only allowed to be respectful looking. <laughs> Mm. Jolly, chill by airship landing. Gather around the airship landing, gamers. Jolly will organize party for us, I think. Jolly, I adore you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Lena! I love everyone's Christmas glabs. It's so cute. Hello. <gasps> Do you have the Crimbus Nutkin as well? Oh, oh, excuse me. What is this edgy? I love it. What is this? cape thing you got going on. Is that a butt cape? Oh no, it's a back cape. Barely a back cape. This is awesome. This is awesome, by the way. It's fine to look disrespectfully, but no disrespectful touchy. Consent is nine tenths of the law. Damn right. Consent is my fetish. I had to show you the red mage glam. It's so cool. Wait, does it have arm capes and? How does this work? What is this magical? Is this a chess piece? What is this? Oh my god, it's the chess piece. What the fuck is this and how can I have it? Pantheon, oh no, Bone Wicca Whisper? Bone Wicca? That is so cool. It's from a level 70 dungeon involved in the Stormblood Trial series. Who is Lunas? Lunas is, wait, who is Lunas? We I've seen you once before. Who are you? Who are you? Let me look at you. Wait, can I place them? I remember loving this. I just can't remember the, the Twitch chatter's name. <laughs> Spade, it's you. <laughs> I love this. Hang on, why aren't we friends yet? Why aren't we friends? I love seeing a sea of orange when I go places. <laughs> mm. I think, should we do Four Lords next week? Sprinkled in, like, in between the MSQ? <laughs> Jolly. <laughs> Jolly, I am looking very respectfully, I promise you. I'm looking very respectfully. What is this outfit? Is this the... I hate you. I hate you, get out of my sight. I hate you, get out of my sight! You farmed the dungeon to get the Pagleton. Fucking, I hate you. <laughs> so Four Lords next week? We'll do Four Lords next week. Deal. Done. Deal. The path of most resistance. Greetings and salutations, sir. I suppose you're wondering whether or not the good genomist has finally determined where in the world our next adventure is to take us. Sure, I suppose I've been wondering it. Peg Leviathan, <laughs> Kyo, please. Uh, if I'm allowed to be healer during second trial fight and make Tergo die. Listen, listen, Blur, <laughs> listen. Rescue? Rescue is illegal. Rescue is a very illegal action. You could do Four Lords as an emotional break after 5.3? That's kind of what I'm thinking, Ray. That sounds perfect to me. Is Four Lords an involved, an involved, an involved thing? Is it going to be like, I'm gonna spend like most of a stream on it? Whew. Wolf Mask, you can toggle on the side of your head or on your face? This thing on your head right now? Oh, that's fucking cute. This glam is very cute. This is what I want for my dancer. That's so cool. This is exactly the aesthetic I'm looking for my dancer. Like very tribal looking. How does it go? It goes good, Danny. How you? Uh, I will say for all buns and hroths, even though you can't see your hat, there are crimes that show them. Uh, so keep that in mind for glams. I mean, this hat works and this is an awesome hat for Bunny. Well, it's a mask. I mean, technically speaking, but still. Probably most of a stream. Good amount of cutscenes. Okay. Hey, welcome and thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. When do y'all think we'll be doing 5.3? We might tickle 5.3 tonight, depending on our speed. Um, and if not, we will start it. Shoot. Should I commit to it Tuesday? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. 
<laughs> oh, unable to join party. Give me one second. The good news is, uh, he has. The bad news, however... Now, while it's not my nature to be sensationalist, sensationalism is in my job description. So please bear with me when I tell you not all is right aboard the airship Lexenthal. Something about Alma has me deeply worried. I would not trust this information in the hands of my publisher, let alone some sullen gate guard. Shall we continue our conversation on the Prima Vista, away from inquisitive ears? Is it because the gate guard's looking at us? Lena, rude. They can literally hear you. All right, shoot me that party invite. Shoot me that party invite. Wait, who's this Burger King? Hello, your name is Blue? Are you part of us? One of us? One of us? Ah! Oh my god, what a cutie. <laughs> What a cutie! God, I love Aura. Aura's so cute. Tickle 5.3, the sun sexual, I'm out. <laughs> Danny, enjoy your lurk. Uh, they did 5.2 to 5.4 during lockdown. Had a lot of time to fill 5.3 out, so they did. Oh, 5.3 is a large patch. So we'll probably tickle it a bit then. Adorval, welcome in. Give yourself padding and aim for Thursday. Okay, so... Finish 5.3, ideally Thursday, then, is what we'll shoot for. If not, we'll probably do it Friday. Friday is like a good day to end a big patch, I feel like. So if, if we're not getting close to it by Thursday, we'll aim to finish it Friday. The entirety of the patches on uh, Shadowbringers were done beautifully. Dude, even, even Stormblood's patches. Stormblood's patches were incredible. Think of just, just think of the moments that happened. I, I know them very well right now because I edited so much of it, but it's like, holy shit, <laughs> the Stormblood patches. Four Lords had some great cutscene moments. You'll enjoy that line. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. I've already been invited. Oh, I have already been invited. Thank you. Hello. Let me look at you. Stop. So cute. I love Aura. I adore them. You're so cute! I'm going to give you a little leg hug before I go into the ship. <laughs> They're shy. It's okay. It's okay, bestie. It's okay. Alright, into the airship. Should see my aura. At the very least, give me a picture and screenshots if you can't bring it over. Shall I prepare the shuttle for you, my lord? Yes, please. Uh, if Ayla is a chatter, then I'll shoot you a friend request, just so I know for any later content. I wish we could do a link shell on Adamantoys. If we could do a link shell on Adamantoys, it'd be so much easier to gather people together. But it's not my home server, so I can't. Ayla is you! Winky face. Ah! It's so cute! The question is, uh, then, where exactly did Ramza and his fellowship journey next? So is he back to being a shit? Was he just temporarily nice? I guess I'll, I guess we'll find out. Ah, sir, to what do we owe this unexpected visit? I had not planned on summoning you for another several turns of the sun. Stormblood as well, of course, but you'll think it's nothing compared to how even more developed the story becomes on these patches. It's so fortunate that people like the 14 team exist and share these things with us. I have been telling people, okay, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I've been telling people, I have turned into a walking ad for Final Fantasy 14. It's so bad. It's so bad. Anytime I'm in public, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like sitting there like shaking, trying not to talk about Final Fantasy 14 or relate anything happening to Final Fantasy 14. I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need to talk about 14 right now. <laughs> It's so unfortunate. I can tell people are getting, like, tired of me. <laughs> I am literally that in public, Mac. Unironically. You're supposed to be an ad. That's what we are. <laughs> I even dreamed about it the other night, telling someone about it. Oh my god, Serena. <laughs> we need help, y'all. We need help. <sighs> Turtle is my home. Uh, so I could look into setting up a link shell. That would be so useful, Linny. That would be so useful. Uh, at work, we just got a new person who plays 14, and our conversations have been so good. Yes, Spade! Uh, yes! Uh, I apologize. If we have caused you any worry, uh, I suppose one cannot allow a reporter in their- Wait, Ramza, are you actually better? 
One could not allow a reporter in their midst and not expect her to report what she sees, though I did expect a tad more discretion from Miss Murilla. Alma has, as of late, been experiencing difficulties with her health. Chirurgeons have been called upon to discern exactly uh, what it is that ails her, but as far as they can tell, there is nothing physically wrong with my sister. The consensus is the rigors of an extended stay in a foreign land have taken their toll on her fragile heart. I doubt it's that simple. He's still a shite at heart. Kill him! <laughs> that seemed oddly well behaved. Maybe I give Ramza a second chance today. I was so fucking done with him last time. You either don't know it or you play it to become a walking ad for the game. It's like the <laughs> it's like an evolutionary step in Final Fantasy play. <laughs> it's how they say <laughs> we are how they save a bit on marketing. <gasps> and then they save on marketing so they can focus on the story. Wow, amazing. Wow, amazing. Tara, have you heard of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV with an expanded free trial up to level 16? Includes all of our Rumble Board and the Ward Running Heaven's Word expansion with no playtime on limits. Literally. Literally rando. Full circle. Amaze. You either burn out on a Rumble Board or become a walking ad. Damn, Jolly, that's so accurate. Wow, that's so accurate. Sir, when did you. Ooh! Oh my gosh, you fucking dead. Alma! I'm fine, brother. It is obvious you are not. You must return to your chambers and rest. I like his pants. I like useless straps. I feel like I said this last time. I love useless straps on pants. So good. Forgive me. Perhaps we shall speak again once I regain my strength. Until then, please, look after my father. Look at this face of sadness on my little Lala. You see people doing the copy pasta, you start playing the game and then you become one posting the copy pasta. <laughs> the ending the end stage of a Final Fantasy player. Did anyone see the ads for God of War Ragnarok? I almost just read it like Garu. I didn't see the Japanese ads, no. <sighs> now then, where were we? Ah, yes. The matter of our next expedition. As we discovered during our most recent foray into the Esther Sands, the Damascan capital of Rabanaster appears to lie upon the ruins of what can only be the royal city of Lasalia, ancient capital of the lost kingdom of Ivelis. Shortly after- There's a red chocobo outfit up here. That was quick. Shortly after, we stumbled across remnants of the legendary clockwork city of Goog, cleverly repurposed into a lighthouse overlooking the Ridorana Cataract, remnants which now sit suspended above the fathomless chasm. Lasalia, Goog, what they have in common, you ask? I shall tell you. They both appear in my ancestor's account of the rise of Ivelis, the Durai Papers. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Uh, so what you're saying is, 14 copy pasta is a chain message that you said to other people, and if they don't respond, <laughs> they play 14, then send the message to 10 more friends. Yeah, it, yes, jolly, genuinely. <laughs> you have to spread the 14 copy pasta at least 10 times, or you don't get to play MSQ ever again. Imagine, dude, imagine. Imagine the game hit a point where it's like, you must forward an invitation to the game to 10 people or you cannot continue. Bruh! And with each new discovery, this forbidden chronicle is now proving, although that would be so easy to do, because uh, I do it, all <laughs> do it already without being prompted. Uh, proving Evolution legend to be more fact than fairy tale. There is no denying the proof, and it is but a matter of time before scholars and historians from across the realm come to the same conclusions. Or else. Hi, Coco! Welcome in! How you doing? Um, but as you are all aware, my aim has never been to simply prove the existence of Ivelisse. No, I shall not rest till I have revealed the truth of young Ramza's role in King Delita's ascension, and cleared my ancestor Oran Durai of the false accusations made against him by the church. Ah, oh, then what are we waiting for? We should leave Alma here. I don't think bringing Alma anywhere slightly with us is a good idea. I have a possible destination in mind. Arriving there safely, however, is another matter. To that end, I've enlisted the aid of our company's newest members. Let it be Nero. 
Nero Tolskeva. My heart will be so happy. Although I think if we're coinciding this with Omega, Nero is indisposed at this time, I believe. Despite my pleas to do otherwise, who knows what trouble those two will see us into. Though, I must admit, both Mont Blanc and his brother have proven more useful than I would have ever dared to imagine. When it comes to usefulness, I am first in the field. Or was it furriest in the field? Would you actually feel my fur, Kupo? I actually would. I actually, yes. I, I want to know what texture they're like. Texture? Is that the right word? It sounds weird. <laughs> I, I want to know if they're like fuzzy or if they're like soft, like plush. Oh, this occurs after Omega has completed. Gotcha. Thank you, thank you. As a huge fan of the game, it's always so sweet to welcome new ones to our midst. When you can see somebody... It's like the most hopeful thing in the world when you can see somebody enjoying themselves in A Realm Reborn. Because then you're like silently like, oh my god, you have no idea what's to come. And if you're already having fun, you're fucked. <laughs> and you wonder why Ramza despises you so, brother. They do all the work, and all you do is chest, Kupo. Ah, but you are mistaken, Hurdy. I bear nothing. Neither you nor your brother any will will. Any will will. Any ill will. Any further ill will, that is. If anything, I owe you my thanks for your recent contributions. Kind Ramza? Yeah, same. Same. I'm sus. His thanks? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? What happened to the venom spitting adder we all used to know and hate? Alma certainly seems pleased with the change, but forgive me for not buying into this all-too-convenient transformation. There's an imposter among us. Among us. They're both fuzzy and plush. Wait, I want one! So innocent, having no idea what sorrow awaits them truly, Diod. Uh, simply showing the world that Ivelisse actually existed will not validate the claims chronicled in the Durai papers. That is correct, Father. The key lies with Ramza Beul. If we can find evidence of his hidden role in history, it will prove Oren's testimony true and safeguard our family name from the ridicule. What the hell is that thing? Auto text? No, 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 no. I take too many breaks for auto text. Are you kidding me? A breathing plushie. I want one. I will treat them so well and give them headpats. Everyone carrying around emotion and personal personality distorting nephesite wondering why people act weirdly. Literally, Belair. Literally. Which is why I turned to focus my research to Delita's forgotten companion and his actions during the War of the Lions. It was only then I discovered something most intriguing, an underlying struggle with an unknown force. A force with the power to bring about calamitous ruin. Why is it always calamitous? Why couldn't it be like a minor inconvenience amount of ruin? Why is it always calamitous? Like how fragile is our world that it's always one like fucking toe step over a line into calamity? Orosite, the twisted abominations we encountered in both Lasalia and Gook, the Lukavi, they are born of these unholy crystals. While nobles of the north and south squabbled over Ivelisse's crown, Ramza silently sought to rid the world of a darker evil. Evil manifest from the deepest desires of men and women whose minds had fallen prey to the Orosite. And with each confrontation did Ramza's fellowship grow smaller, countless companions lost to a cause that would go unwritten, yet was far more important than any clash of armies, and so did they endure until reaching their final destination, the Orbon Mastery. Is this the Boner Mastery? The Orboner Mastery Monastery. <laughs> Whew. Instead of a hammer, you could have a Moogle. What conversations you could have. So much potential. Oh, uh, not a hammer. A hamster. You could actually talk to your hamster. It would be Pog. I think it's Beulf. Thank you. Those moments in 14 where people talk about your race. Like you are not that race. Be a Viera, random NPC. Hey, do you know what a Viera is? <laughs> I bet you don't. You're like... Bitch, I'm right here. Bitch, I'm right here. Also, y'all, um, do you guys remember how we had a conversation recently that Lala's fuck? Um, I asked my friend that first said that, and I was like, okay, I need the proof. I need the proof that Lala's fuck. I need to know where where you brought this up from. 
Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol. I've satisfied many a women in my 50 and 5 summers. Lala's fuck. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to be aware that Lala's fuck. But now I am fully aware, and you guys are fully aware too. Get fucked. Not by Lala's though. <laughs> Lala's reproduced by budding. No, according to that 55 year old Lala. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, Tara. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am cursed with this knowledge. Now you guys are cursed with this knowledge, okay? <laughs> if you start in Ulda, there are child Lalafels in one of the starting quests. I hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> that just means they know how to fuck, not that they do fuck. But he literally said, past tense, I have satisfied many a women. <laughs> I think during Blacksmith's quest line, you meet a daughter of a Lala. What size are the Lala kids? I don't know if I've seen any. You get Ryan explaining the Azim step to me. Azela from the Azim step was so funny to me, Spade. Not the Ryan explaining. Goes back to thinking they grow like potatoes. Stellar, I wish. I wish I could feign ignorance. But how else would you get that knowledge? I'm trying to keep this wholesome Terra, please. <laughs> There's a child Lala in a quest somewhere that's like, I need a smoke after a long day. And his companion says something like, dude, you're 12. Give me that. <laughs> that's fire. There's a 13 year old in Idleshire. Oh, okay. Lala's uh, effing is the dark side of Final Fantasy. You shouldn't go there. I don't want to. I'm good. I'm good. I just wanted to curse you guys with the, with the actual proof that Lala's confirmed that they fuck. <sighs> okay. Uh, <laughs> back on topic. Oh, I know this one. The Orboner Mas Monastery is where Princess Ovelia was raised. Um, I'm gonna be an adult. Uh, was uh, <laughs> was raised. <laughs> All right, you know I'm not gonna be an adult. The Or the, the Orboner Monastery is was is where <laughs> Princess Ovary was raised. <laughs> There's a scene about it in the Zodiac Brave story. It's Princess Ovary. I'm sorry. Jail. I'm sorry. <laughs> After Delita emerged victorious in his final campaign, he married the princess to legitimize his claim to the throne of Ivelisse. Or boner, mo nasty. <laughs> mo nasty! Nice. I see someone has been paying attention. But I don't understand. Why would Ramses' crusade against Lus Lusavi uh, take him back there? Lukavi? Lusavi. According to the Druai papers, the sinister being who endangered the Orosite was said to have slumbered beneath the monastery. But who, or what, would have the means to create something so powerful? Ultima, the High Seraph. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! A Seraph? Or, what's a Seraph? <laughs> to engender is to create, got you. Tara, you are not an adult right now. When have I ever been an adult on my stream? Let's be real here. <laughs> Hi Tara, hi chat! Hi Zlua! Is Zlua, did your name color change? Why are you orange? Why are you orange? I like it. But why? Why are you doing this to me? The end state of trying to read all of the Evil East raids, just turning everything into... <laughs> yes. What's a Seraph? It's a server, Lena! Smiley face. You got a new bit badge in another chat? Had to match. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Seraphs are believed by some to be servants of the gods, divine beings whose only purpose is to carry out the will of the immortal masters. As to whether or not Ultima can claim this title, however, I cannot say. Just as there were those who chose to worship Ultima and her otherworldly might, there were equally as many who feared the visitor and her deadly magics, oft referring to her as the Angel of Blood, for the carnage left in her wake. I cannot take myself seriously right now. I'm like, mmm, yes, indeed. Tara, I posted a video of a nine-year-old uh, Aroma Born TV spot in Discord. I think stream should be subjected to it. I mean, I should see it. I mean, should see it. Wait, a nine-year-old Aroma Born... Wait, like an Aroma Born TV ad, Rando? Nine years old? I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's get through this quest and then we'll watch it. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. How were they promoting this game nine years ago? Live action. Oh my god. 
Interesting. What if the spell Sir claims to have experienced in the Praetorium, coincidentally called Ultima, was, in fact, an elegant interpretation of the very magics introduced to Hydaelyn by the, uh, by the High Seraph? But that would mean... <laughs> Lena, why are you so dumb? I love you. But that would mean... Uh, what would that mean? She's, like, trying to lead in like she's paying attention, but she can't. I've spoken with several colleagues back in Charlayan regarding their opinions on the ancient incantation, and while they have yet to, uh, while they have yet little to show for their research, they all agree on one thing: the manner in which Ultima ethereally manifests should not be possible, at least on Hydaelyn. So it should naturally make sense if we discovered that Alligans learned the spell from a being not of this dimensional plane, as to exactly how they convinced the being to impart the knowledge onto them. Not of this plane? What manner of creature are we talking about here? A dragon! Because dragons are aliens. Likely one similar to Omega. Hi, Sid. How long have you been listening from the shadows, my friend? Long enough. I'm here to deliver the item Mikoto requested. Sid! There is no need for you to deliver it personally. A Moogle would have sufficed. Hi, girls. All right, my brothers and, uh, and his wife are here. Uh, time to head off and eat. Ray, I love you so much. Enjoy your din din. We'll see you later, maybe, if you're back in time. If not, we'll see you next time. One of the ch one of the chat of Sid could clap the cheeks. Absolute one. Sid, a babe, dude. Sid, a babe. Sid has been a babe in most you incarnations of the Final star. Fantasies that I've seen. Nice. Curls! With the 13 months of primer. Curls, I love you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for the 13 months of support. It means the world. She's like the opposite of the reporter in the Hildy quest. She's kind of the Hildy in the Hildy quest. It's totally rando. Lena's special. Lights are on and no one is home. <laughs> A Moogle. And trust that he won't tear open the package and show it to some random adventurer. No, this is far too important. That reminds me, I really want to do the post moogle quests. If you two do not mind, the principal was about to tell us how to find the Orboner Monasty. Would that I could. You don't know? Then what have we been doing here? At ease, Lady Mew... I can't. Lady Mew, the Durai papers speak of a cataract situated on the river... Several leagues southeast of Rabinaster. There supposedly lies the monastery. Z the Z okay, I'm gonna try. <clears throat> Zirchil, Zirchel, Zirchel, Zirchel <laughs> is not a name you will find on any modern Damascan map. Rivers, however, especially ones as large as the Z Zirchel, <laughs> is established to be are in are, are rare in a nation more than half claimed by the sand. The river we seek can only be that which beset bisects Golmore and the Nagshanbor. These names are so hard. I need help. And for the invaluable information, we owe thanks to our brothers Mughal. Their travels have made them veritable authorities on Dalmaskin geography. Wait, but earlier you claimed you didn't know the monastery's whereabouts. I'm confused. Third time's a charm. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. God damn it, Mist. <laughs> Thank you for making me happy when I'm sad. Thank you for being here. You make me happy, girls. Just use Google? No, I'm lazy. Finish Bray Flop, the swampy dungeon with all the dragon thingies. Bray Flox's long stop. That's the one. Bray Flop. Uh, its location is not what concerns me, but perhaps the Moogles themselves should explain. Why, certainly, that verdant valley of vines and vipers, to where we must voyage next, is home to the Viera, and therein lies our little problem. The one thing the Viera do not suffer is trespassers, not even lovable moogles, Kupo. Our glamours kept us hidden long enough to see the jungle was teeming with ruins, much like those we've discovered in Lasalia and Goog, but Viera trackers eventually found us and took us before their elders. We barely escaped with our palms, Kupo. Viera smiley face. That dude above your head looks like Ped looks like Pedro. Pedro Pascal? Is he the Mandalorian? Spoilers, you I didn't know. Super Merry Crystal are all. Keep the vibes immaculate. Edible! Less than three. Edible, thank you so much for the tier one. Two months! You sweet bean, I appreciate you. You keep the vibes immaculate. 
Uh, those names are what made my brain stop working during this questline. It's so many hard to pronounce names, Moon. <laughs> so that is why we're all still here talking instead of bound for the border. There are Viera who have spurned the strict code of their tribes, abandoning their people to come and live in the cities of Damasca. Finding and recruiting one to our cause might provide us with insight on how to reach our boner monasty ruins. Unfortunately, the nation's current turmoil has not made it easy to accomplish this task. We still require more time. They all looked at me. I'll go. I'll do it. I have experience with Viera. Before boarding the shuttle here, I was stopped by a banga on the docks. He asked me if I knew a Sir Terabellum and bid I deliver him a message. I told him he was welcome to accompany me to to the Prima Vista, so that he might deliver the message himself, but the man refused. Mikoto, I saw this device crafted to your exact specifications, but cannot guarantee that it will function as intended, seeing as I had nary a subject to test it on. Of course, Master said. If any trouble is met, then most likely it's my design that is to blame. Probe? We probe in the Viera? Hello? Is that how you gain their 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 uh, <laughs> their blessing? Your confidence is in, in my craftsmanship is flattering, but you sell yourself too short, my dear. Here's to your success. Good day. Good day, sir. Oh my god, you're right. Pedro Pascal for Genomus in the Netflix series? Yes. Perfect actor for it. You got your moderator level 35? Nice! MSQ still level 30, to be fair. I wanted to try and take it. Yes, is Lua is is new to the game. Uh, um, okay, let's just go over here. Oi! Rando, don't let me forget about the video. I just remembered it. Except if you make a Netflix series, please do not do the story of these raids. Please do... Dude... Anything with Emmett. Anything with Emmett. I don't care if it's like the side adventures of Emmett. I don't give a fuck. Just give me anything with Emmett. I sense that you are interested in the package Sid delivered. I have every intention to apprise you of its contents. But first, I believe we should speak of Alma's condition. Oh, they'll ruin him? Oh, fuck. You're right, though. You're right, though. All right. Who can we let Netflix have? Who would we, we be okay with Netflix having? Nobody. Asahi! <laughs> Asahi! <laughs> Do you not find her illness all too timely? Genomus and Ramza would like to believe that her bouts of vertigo are not but a result of mind fatigued, but the answer is clear. The orosite that plagues her. Yes. Agree. Alma recently confided in me that she would hear her father speaking with the odious well before even his first foray into Rabanaster. However, I do not think this is entirely true, which is not to imply that Alma is trying to deceive us. Rather, I think she saw something that led her to believe her father was conversing with the Orosite. Moreover, I suspect it was the Orosite itself that granted her this vision. You recall my hypothesis on distinct frequency- Oh god, here she goes again. I need a translator! Harmonic vibrations and their tendency to promote ethereal amplification. Or when I mentioned that despite being in the principal's possession for an extended period, the odious exhibited none of the imprinting present in the Duma. No? The odious has never resonated with Genomus. It has always been his wife's pendant and its oricide shard, the Virgo, that fueled his passion for Ivelis. No, the odious is bound to Alma's deepest desires, whatever those may be. The only reasons I can fathom that Alma has not fallen victim to the Orosite's grasp is that her desires are not as strong as those we have witnessed in Argath or Bagamnon, and that the ethereal interference caused by other nearby shards. I have explained all of this to Alma and recommended that she destroys the necklace, yet not only did she refuse, but she begged me to keep this revelation from her father. And so I did the only thing I could. I devised a means with which I might impede, or at least lessen, the effects of the odious. The device, while still incomplete, will amplify the NRR wavelengths emitted by the Virgo. This should work to interfere with those emitted by the odious, thereby shielding Alma from the brunt of their effect. 
Netflix can do a Realm Reborn to see how they do. If Netflix can make a Realm Reborn watchable, then we can trust Netflix with other things. But they first have to make, <laughs> they first have to make a Realm Reborn watchable. Or they could do 1.0, you know what? But then they get access to Louis Wa. Do we like that? Mm -hmm. They could probably do the Stormblood plot, okay. You know what, actually? Unga Bunga Stormblood plot, I loved it, but you know what, yeah, it's kind of hard to fuck up Unga Bunga, lots of war. Dad of Light is, not on ne is on Netflix, which, if you like 14, I strongly recommend. Spill the tea tear, never, never, <laughs> never. Um, 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 um. Dad of Light has been recommended before in the channel, and I want to watch it. He bought Horizon Zero Dawn for a criminally low price on Epic. Nice, Mac. I loved that game. You will cry, Tara? Stop. Stop. I'll, I cry on a regular day, dude. <laughs> the city below is all abuzz with the word of Banga Brigid, loitering about the airship landing. Landing? Landing. Do you think it could be someone we know, Kupo? Possibly. Jolly, why are you suffering? What happened? Terra Party Finder raid or Q raids? I wish to know if I need to set up. I don't know if we have enough people for a for a whole party finder. Because do, do we have eight already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, like we have a team of eight. Is there like a, is there people that want to get in on it and then we can set up a party finder? I asked four times. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jolly. <laughs> you even highlighted the message? Imagine. Imagine reading. Because the issue with Party Finder is we can't queue up until it's full, right? So we need a full, full thing. Hello, gamers! <gasps> Hi, Coco. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you guys are so cute. You guys are precious beans? Oh, shit, wait, I wasn't supposed to leave. Airship landing. Jolly, you're always welcome to at me. Imagine thinking I read Max messages either. Imagine. <laughs> I love you guys, I just want to reaff reaffirm that. <laughs> 1.0 was more tedious and sparse and spread out as 2.0. Much of it occurs through weird flashbacks and echo visions, which allowed you to warp space time and take things from the past or other places because you saw a vision of it. It was a mess. It was a mess? It sounds like it was a mess. Read this, bitch. Hey, listen. Listen here, you. <laughs> listen here, you. <laughs> Apologies, sir, but I needed to speak with you, and you alone. Oh, don't mind me. Oh, I was reading Mont Blanc as Boggy's voice. <clears throat> oh, don't mind me, Kufo. I'll just be floating over here in perfect earshot. Why, you? What makes you think I won't lay you low right here, right now? Because we're here to offer you a proposition. That's what. We need information on the Goldmore jungle, and thought a man as well-traveled as you might be persuaded to provide some. Goldmore? You of all creatures should know that is Viera land. What are you offering them? Why, the opportunity to tell us what you know. Genomus believes our next adventure lies beneath the jungle canopy, Kupo. Ah, <sighs> I should have expected as much. Well, sir, I came to ask if you would meet someone. Now it seems that someone may be able to assist Genomis as well. Seeing as you and Principal did right by us, I do not see a reason why I cannot take both of you. Boo, boo, boo. Ooh, we can fill up uh, on who can join and get as many randoms into it as possible. Sometimes I miss 11. I never played 11, so I can't miss it. And then ready up, but we can also do normal queue, get it done, which might allow more time to do MSQ. Mm, it's it's tough, because we could start the party finder right now, and then maybe by the time I'm done the quest, it might have been filled. But then if it's not, and we queue, it might be faster to get into MSQ, right? I think we're probably okay with the party of eight. Right? Because we, ha we have a party of eight, we can queue up the minute this quest is done, and then the queue will probably only take like 10, like 20 minutes at, at most, I would imagine. Um, so it probably won't be that bad. But party finder could be fast, could be not fast. So I, I vote I vote we go with the eight and, and suffer in whatever, however length the queue is. Let me know when you're ready to depart for Rabbit Aster. We will travel in our airship. The Prima Vista would draw too much unwanted attention. Cool. If we had like eight people waiting, 
and wanting to join the party, then we could do Party Finder. Like, if we basically had a full another alliance, it would be easy. But I don't know if we have that many people waiting to join at the current moment. Vitamin, how are you doing? Reaper Kid, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Welcome in. Back to a life of brigandry in the clouds, are we? Of course not. Not that it didn't cross our minds. When but when faced with the decision of what to do next, we needed simply to remember the dying words of our leader, Gijuk, Rinok, and I decided to re-enlist as the Maskin Fusiliers. Fusiliers? Fusiliers. And the occupying Garleans actually said yes, Kupo? Not exactly. We're now with the Resistance. I've never heard that noise from a Moogle before. <laughs> that was terrifying. You no doubt have heard of the uprising in Dalmasca that followed the Dome in Liberation, and how it was crushed under the iron heel of the Fourth uh, Legion? I suck with I suck with Romans. Roman numerals. They're not good. The resistance leaders were captured, tortured, and publicly executed. Yet much of the Empire's chagrin, the gruesome display, only served to further rally the survivors. Remove one head, and two grow back in its place. Remove two, and then there are four. A person can die, but an ideal will live on. Now there exist several factions throughout Dalmasca. We belong to one known as Lente's Tears. And when we told our commanding officer of our recent crossing with you and yours, she simply insisted that we introduce you. <laughs> m m me But I wasn't even supposed to be here, Kupo! Not you, Hairball. Him. Dude, I love Moogles. <laughs> Meet with the general and her pro and hear her proposal, sir. If you are not interested, we shall return you to Kugane unharmed. You have our... Hmm? Kuro got your tongue? Rabbit Aster, dead ahead, lads. Dude, do you know who I miss? Being on like an airship in like piratey kind of vibes. I miss, I think her name is Hilda from Heavensward. What a babe. I think it was Hilda or Hida. No, Hilda. The half elf. Yes, 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 yes. Hilda's awesome. Mm -hmm. This way. We have many moms to cover before nightfall. Why didn't we fly there? We gotta, we gotta walk our at Okay, alright. Exactly edible. Exactly. Uh, big step on me energy. Oh, my degeneracy is showing again. Whoopsies. I mean, I just think she's neat. Speaking of step on B energy, I've done as you asked. I bring you the Liberator. And here I thought he'd be tall. This looks, okay, I'm sure it's a coincidence. From this angle, this looks just like the Viera or whatever they were called from Final Fantasy XII. That's in your party. I can't fucking remember her name. It, this is, this is her. This is her. This is her. I can't remember her name. Fran! Wait, this is literally her! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool, dude. <laughs> that's so cool. One of the only Final Fantasies I've played, and I see a character I recognize. I know how you guys feel! 
I am Fran, proud daughter of Dalmasca and general of Lente's Tears. Holy shit. Reaper Kid, I plan to go back for a lot of the Final Fantasies. Whenever I'm done with like main story here, I will continue playing 14, doing like savage content and stuff, but on the side, I want to visit the other Final Fantasies because I'm like invested. And yes, <clears throat> Moogle, I am a Viera. Are you surprised? Why, yes, in fact, I am. Her kind are all supposed to be living amongst the trees, having shunned contact with outer, the outer world, Kupo. There are supposedly a few who have left their homes, but I most certainly did not expect to see one in here in this sewer. You have her as a minion! Indeed. This Vanga claims you seek Orboner. Does he speak true? <laughs> they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing with that camera angle! <laughs> Guys, relax. Take a breath. Take a breath. Those ruins lie deep within the Gulmore jungle, a place most sacred to my sisters. They would take great offense were you to defile it with your presence. What is more, Boagie tells me you have tr to travel with Garleans, openly aiding those who would see our nation burn. How can we place our trust in one who would do such? Or our boner, literally. <laughs> At the time, Viera wasn't a playable race, so she had her own model? Or no, no, no. Why can't they do a custom, custom idol pose for Hilda? I don't know. <laughs> We're on Fran now, Jolly. We're on Fran now. We're over Hilda. Relationship with Hilda ended. Fran is our best friend now. <laughs> uh, Genomus and his family defected long ago. My blade has tasted the blood of too many garlics. Nah, they defected. That was fast. <laughs> A Garlean is a Garlean. Their pathetic attempt at absolution only proves their past guilt. Okay, seeing Fran in an underwater... Underwater. Underground waterway is unlocking deep Final Fantasy XII memories. I barely played Final Fantasy XII. I probably played it for like a week and a half. Um, but it's unlocking deep memories of being stuck in a waterway with Fran and I think one other party member for like five hours. <laughs> If you've played 12, I'm sure you know what I mean. You misunderstood. Kind Genomus does not approve of the Emperor's warmongering. He wants to help Dalmasca and its impoverished masses, Kupo. And what would a Moogle know about my people? Does your blood run Dalmaskan red? We could cut you open and find out. General, there's no need for threats. You are right, Boggy. Then let us parlay. Parlay? Parlay. First, the resistance requires men, men and women from the Eorzean and Eastern alliances, to join us in ridding Damasca of its imperial invaders. Your past deeds have made you well known to the leaders of both. They will listen to you, or if not, they will listen to these scions to which you claim allegiance. Second, the resistance requires gold, gold to strengthen our forces from within. Your allies are in bed with the East Aldernard Trading Company, which continues its dealings with Garlemald, even as you raise your sword against them, profiting from the Empire's rampant aggression. As targets of that aggression, I believe my people are entitled to a portion of those profits. Grant me these simple things, and I shall personally guide you safely to the ruins of Orboner. Hi, Tina Tina! Welcome in! <laughs> Friend is hot as fuck. Yes, they are. Friend is a custom model for a long time, I think. Because Viera didn't happen until 5.4. No, you're way off? Okay. You tried your best. <laughs> I'll be lurking one to say hello. Enjoy your lurk, Tina. Good to see you. Internet back up. Welcome back, Izagi. Welcome to the land of the living. I will personally guide you to the ruins of our boner. <laughs> and what of the Lex entails? See me to victory, and I'll take the Emperor himself. Those are my conditions. What say you? I will deliver your request to the Scions, but can promise no more. Tell them my demands, but know the fate of your expedition, expedition hangs on how well you do so. I'd say we have our work cut out for us, Kupo. 
Boagi. You and the Fusiliers are to accompany the Liberator. I expect a detailed report on how my demands are received. Yes, General. Do, 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 do. They, yeah, Vieira came out with the release of Endwalker, I thought. Terra Friend needs a Bjork accent. You think I could do a Bjork accent? <laughs> they know what they're they know what they're doing, dude. Not that I expect them to be taken seriously. You are a fool to trust them, princess. Oh, male Viera were Endwalker. Female were Shadowbringers. Oh! Shows you how much I know. <laughs> Female Viera were in Shadowbringers. Right. Oh yeah, we literally came across the Vs, were they called? Aiki! Hi, Aiki. Ha. I give hug. Aiki, you are, with your aesthetic, I can safely say you are one of the most consistent like players I've ever seen. To have an aesthetic and stick to it, like I respect that so much. <laughs> How often have my glamours changed like over just my course of streaming it? Oh, Terra video, thank you. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. And a Realm Reborn TV ad from nine years ago. Oh shit, can I slash BGM? Hang on, hang on. Let's pull this open and then I need to turn off my BGM. Dude, I need to make a, a key bind to stop my BGM, dude. What an adventure, Kubo. Just think, by tomorrow. There's an ad going on in the background. No, it's the video. Uh, what an adventure, Kubo. Just think, by tomorrow, we could all be the newest members of the Dalmascan Resistance. Er, not that I'm ready to give up my place in the Prima Vista just yet. Oops. Okay, there we go. Slash BGM. Let me see. So nine years ago, TV ad. Here we go. You use one glam for all jobs you're boring. Not boring, consistent and devoted. And I love it. It's a, uh, it's something. All right, here's our Aroma Born ad from nine years ago. Eorzea wurde zerstört. Durch eine unvorstellbar mächtige Kraft, die vom Himmel herabstürzte. Im Angesicht des Untergangs sind wir die Auserwählten. Gerettet von den Kriegern des Lichts. Dies ist der Beginn eines neuen Zeitalters. Wir müssen Eorzea oh my God. endlich It doesn't matter, neues right Leben now. geben. It doesn't matter that it's not English. We we Wir get we get the point. Wir müssen dieses Land zurückgewinnen mit Schwert und Magie. This is so cringy. <laughs> Vorwärts, Abenteurer. No, this is horrible. Hirsche, nimm deinen Platz ein. So cringy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when they started like anamorphing into their races? No, it's not for me. <laughs> Wait, the subtitles were racist? What did they say? <laughs> Is it like not safe for work? Terra stop. <laughs> Welcome to their jungle. We got fun and games. You know about Animorphs? Who the fuck does not know about Animorphs? <laughs> I want... <laughs> I want to take some pictures of their midway transformations. <laughs> How are you feeling today on a scale of one to mid-Animorph transformation? So many people don't know what Animorphs is? Dude, they're missing out. Or they're blessed, depending on how you look at it. How's everyone doing? I assumed it was Demi Bahamut. Change your name to have your in-game name. 10 out of 10. Demithalia, welcome. You were starting to think you made them up, you gaslit yourself. Hurry, hurry! If I don't tell someone of our adventure quick, I'll positively burst, Kupo. Terra! Jolly! Jolly! What's up? This is important before you start Endwalker. Jolly thinks we're even slightly close to watching and to being an Endwalker. How are you doing squat so fast, sir? Relax! Holy... I don't like it! It's so janky looking! 
I feel like I shouldn't be like looking at these NPCs. Monka TOS, dude. Dude's gonna throw out his knees 100%. Not only do you need to watch the Endwalker trailer, but recommend you watch the... Huh? What do you mean the original trailer? Original Endwalker? There's two Endwalker trailers? Huh? This woman asks much of us. The Viera have been wary of outsiders. For centuries, their many tribes have remained hidden in the jungles, content with their self-imposed solitude. Each tribe has its own strict code and will met swift punishment to any who defy these laws. As such, many of Viera will spend her entire life bound to the territory of her ancestors, both unwilling and unable to venture beyond its borders. We've been trying to contact you about <laughs> regarding the Chocobo extended warranty. You may be eligible. <laughs> now covering ball mung damages. Oh my god. Because with data center travel, ball mung damages come to you. <laughs> Ruby Arc, well done. Well done. Hi, gang. <laughs> You've been changing the fluids every 30,000 miles. <laughs> Dude, I love how ball mung is just like. I feel bad for any legitimate players on ball mung because. <laughs> Their poor server reputation. The quicksands in particular. <laughs> like, if your hometown is Ulda, people just assume. There's a cinematic trailer and an in-game launch trailer. Little Baby Archer Warrior of Light trailer? Oh, I see what you're saying, Jolly. Okay. Uh, if you don't change the fluids, the knees of your chocobo may lock and ye two into the horizon while riding it. <laughs> Ruby, you're something else. You're something else. Welcome in. Uh, each tribe its own trick code, yada, yada, yada. Uh, where was I? As such, many Viera will spend their lifetime- Oh, I read that one. And while the tribes are wholly independent, they have agreed to uphold a single standard. Shun all contact with the outside world unless it is a, uh, to protect the jungle. That said, with every generation, there are those Viera who long for a life beyond the verdant sea of trees and abandon their tribes to start a new life in the kingdom cities. My guess is that this Fran is one such individual. Who else happens to be the only individual we know who can guide us to the monastery, Kupo? It seems Sir's sword arm won't be enough to see us through this predicament. He'll need to don the right mantle of a diplomat if we're to convince the alliances and the East Aldenar Trading Company to grant us aid. What could go wrong? We'll just hire Alphano. Can we just hire Alphano? Alphano, our political translator, please. The DGen world of Crystal has actually <laughs> made us. The Western Thandaland Horizon, you'll get Prey Return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience faster than Hill to Brad. The Balm damages come from travelers and wanderers mostly. Is it? Is that true, Ruby? What happened to Balmung? If you've been to Ulda and Balmung, the shout chat there is insane. There's a reason I cover my chat. I would like to go there one time on stream with chat covered just to soak it in for like a second just to get like a year's worth of degeneracy in five seconds you were born in pre balma <laughs> oh no <laughs> hey yo just came back from a little pool party to find a live tara hi someone welcome in i feel bad for any poor sprouts in ulda wandering into the quicksand for their first quests <laughs> i've heard people compare it to vegas people being drunk and crazy in the streets aren't the locals but the tourists vegas citizens actually calm the travelers and wanderers are the unhinged ones. We used to be peaceful. <laughs> oh, Hancock! I forgot about you. Yes, yes. I know you said not to call us unless it was urgent, but this is urgent. All right, not exactly, but my superiors have come to a decision on your request, and I thought you might want to hear what they had to say. Oh, and let me preempt any request. I'm so glad we don't have to deal directly with Lolorito here. Uh, any request for immediate disclosure with a reminder that the information is much too sensitive to discuss over Link Pearl. Meet me at the Ruby Bazaar post haste, and I shall duly ap apprise you of their judgment. Okay. I wonder if Jotaro is going to be there, or if the timeline's fucked up because of my story progression. Well then, sir, what are we waiting for? I think you may have an alt um, that I have never played. Oh, on Balmung that you've never played. So you might have to see what it's like. Or just like data center hop real quick. I recommend doing it in your current outfit as well, Jolly. Nothing will go wrong. It'll be fine. Oh, shoot, wait. Ruby Bazaar. Oh, I was supposed to speak with Lena. Uh-oh. Then we were invaded by the Balsade nations. 
And because of server limitations, the two worlds merged into Balmon. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Fun fact, best way to earn easy gil. Stop. Don't say it's the Balmon quicksands. Stop. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I've read about how you united the Eor whole of Eorzea under a single standard and convinced the Holy See- This- uh, Hang on. Hang on. Can we just say this is all Alphano? I'm not a political type. Is it bedtime yet? Echo, I had a nap before a stream today. I woke up around 9, and then I had a nap from like 12 to 12.30. It was nice. I had both my cats around me. It was comfy. Um, Holy See Thousand Year Conflict. Compared to that, asking for a few soldiers and a coffer of or three of gill should be a piece of rollin' berry cake. Ah, I suppose we should inform Boagi down at Kugane Landing of our progress. You mentioned he was to keep an eye on us. Hi, and good night, Echo. Okay, but which would attract the most attention, Catboy or Bun Girl? Do you know? I don't know. I think both. I think both. There's nothing more peaceful than napping with cats. Truly. Be a male Highlander or row wearing harness. Search info says a <laughs> 100k for spank. All right, I'm forming an alt. I'm making an alt. I'm gonna be rich. What is the Canadian Catboy? Cat boy, ask for before leaving the free company house. Where's Mikote? God damn it. I didn't get it until I said it out loud. God damn it, Ruby, get out! <laughs> so <laughs> you would answer uh, from East Aldenard already. Impressive. It would seem the Lady Fran has underestimated your influence amongst the realm's players. I assume you have no objections to me joining you then. Finger guns. <laughs> Napping with dogs? Dogs are bigger and warmer. Here's the question. Dog napping on top of you or beside you? Because I feel like napping with dog beside you would be the comfiest thing in the world. Dog napping. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Dog napping on top of you? Painful. Hard to breathe. Cotton 4K. Caught you guys dancing. On top, big warm cuddles. But ribcage. But ribcage structural integrity. Cat cam when? Cat? <laughs> so there's clips in my BRB screen of my cats literally ruining my day. Where, like, actually turning off my computer. So they're mostly not allowed in the stream room at all. I can't even spoon with my IRL partner. I have physical contact issues. <gasps> Sensory overload? Blur? My partner's like that sometimes. My partner's like that sometimes. Sometimes he loves cuddling, and then sometimes I touch him and he's like, Ooh, and I'm like, okay, you're like overloaded. Hancock awaits us in the bazaar, shall we, sir? Yes. Terry, don't act like you don't have the idea of something bigger. For It was the good squish. It was the good squish that took me out. Not the good squish. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyways, my face is probably so red. A lovely lady and a banga. And here I was expecting you to be alone, sir. Moving right along. Moving right along. Ah, oh, but excuse my manners. I am Foot Penis, representative of the East Alternate Trading Company. Assigned to oversee her assets here in Kugane. It is a pleasure to meet you. I don't like Hancock. I'd never liked Hancock. Foot penis? No, Hancock. What did you hear? Foot what? <laughs> oh my god, Yugiri! And I am Yugiri. We apologize for making you come all this way. Oh, and Tataru, I guess. But we've seen Tataru recently. We haven't seen Yugiri in so fucking long! Not that it's far from landing, from the landing to... Ahem. <laughs> Excuse me. Hancock has always given me big sus vibes. Yeah, no, he's he's the kind of person to. I'm not gonna go into detail, but it just, I, I have an idea that he's just a shitty human. Hancock is actually he is actually a goofy fun character, but ha here's what I'm gonna say, Blur. Hancock is only fun because of Tataru's interaction with Hancock. Otherwise, he's kind of just a shyster. 
He's devious and obviously borderline evil, but he's enjoyable. But I only enjoyed him because of it, because uh, of the dynamic of Totaru and Hancock together. Boggy, was it? I serve Lord Hien, rightful ruler of Doma. I have come bearing our nation's reply to your entreaty. And I am Totaru Taru of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I'm only here seeing as no one else could be bothered. <laughs> Thanks, Totaru. Well, that and to bear a message from the leaders of the Orzean Alliance. Thank you both for coming. I am Boagi, formerly of the Damascan Royal Fusiliers. I now claim allegiance to the Lente's Tears, a resistance group seeking to accomplish uh, what you have in Doma and Alamigo. What tidings have you brought us? I was just thinking about yu -Giri. I was just thinking about her like yesterday. I'm like, man, I miss yu -Giri. Allow me to begin, then. While the East Aldenar Trading Company sympathizes with your plight, we are not in a position to grant you the funding you seek. You fuck. Whoa, what was that, physics? Hang on. Well, there was some physics. <laughs> Tell me I'm not the only one that saw physics there. As you are aware, the East Aldenar Trading Company prides itself in its neutrality, be it in matters political or personal. There was bouncing. <laughs> and what of our relationship with the Eorzean Alliance? Ah, yes. What I meant to say was, here in Hingashi, the East Aldenar Trading Company prides itself in its neutrality, be it in matters political and er... You must understand our position. Simply supplying coin to any one group would make it appear that we somehow favor that group over another. Seeing as we conduct business openly and fairly with everyone, doing such would be sending the wrong message and ultimately harm profits. Yes. And by selling to both sides, you maximize profits while good men and women perish. How convenient. We are a business, milady. Tips Padora. Uh, we do what we must to survive. That does not mean, however, we are blind to the needs of our customers and our allies, which is why we support the Aeosian Alliance and their noble efforts to safeguard their realm's freedom through a mutually beneficial arrangement. If, I, if it were my choice, I would provide your little resistance with all the funding it needs, but as my good friend Sir knows all too well, it is not my choice. He's true. <laughs> Mac, no. <laughs> well, now that foot penis has thoroughly lowered our, your spirits, you won't be as crestfallen when I inform you the Eorzean Alliance will also be unable to provide any assistance. Tataru! Oh, we're just cool with it? All right. And let me guess, you did everything in your power to try and convince the leaders of each city-state, only to watch as they politely declined our proposal, claiming an unfortunate lack of intelligence or resources. Wait, how did you... And the dolmens are in the same... <laughs> Lord Hien sends his greetings to you and yours. Having recently found strength through a newly formed alliance with our neighboring nations, Doma is open to further welcoming like-minded organizations. This includes our Dalmascan brothers and sisters still suffering under the Imperial yoke. But, here comes the big but. But, however, word has it that the latest attempt at reclaiming your kingdom ended in failure, resulting in the loss of countless lives, including many of the Resistance's leaders. You are not mistaken. Our army is not what it once was. Those remaining have been forced to take refuge deep beneath the streets of Rabidaster. Here comes the big butt. <laughs> Welcome in, Chuck. Uh, the, 14th, uh, the 14th. The 4th Legion has already defeated you once. Lacking unity and leadership, the current resistance will not survive another tilt against the Empire's disciplined ranks. If Doma is to join hands with the Damascan... Damasca as an ally, you must first prove to us that you will stand as one. Doma as a full-fledged ally would serve far better to strengthening our cause than a few temporary soldiers. Yet, even if we were able to wrest Damasca from the Empire's grasp, without unity amongst your people, the resulting chaos could prove even more perilous to the kingdom. You understand much of our situation. And based on that Understanding you would refuse your aid to Lente's tears, am I correct? Do not mistake me. Lord Hien's refusal is but a message. A message to help you plan your next step. You have a wise master. 
He understands that without proper planning, driving one enemy from your midst simply creates room for the next. Lady Fran will no doubt be pleased to hear your response was exactly what she expected. <laughs> Boja builds on this story beat between the Domans and Dalmasca? That's actually cool as hell. It's Xenos, <laughs> speaking of Big Butt. Xenos so juicy? You knew this whole time that your demands would be rejected, yet still you let this farce play out. You have my apologies, but this was all necessary to prove an important point to our leader. <gasps> Absolutely, dog! Enjoy your lurk. <sighs> Lady Fran needed to show the princess just exactly what she was getting herself into, and your honesty today will serve us better than any hollow promise. Thank you. Okay, bye. We're not gonna go back together? Alright, fine. Wait! What about the Gulmore jungle? Okay, bye. <laughs> The fuck? Can you believe this? We're right back to where we started. Principal Genomus will not be pleased. Hi, Sith. Welcome in. I think I'm back up and running normally. Has your internet been shitting itself this whole time, Izagi? <gasps> Izlo, thank you for Hydra, by the way. Ooh. Twice I sent messages and don't think they posted. RIP! Well, you're alive right now. <laughs> Dodent. Dodent. You dodented twice. Kuiper said something that gave me an idea of what to call your house. Hit me with it, Sith. If it is as you say, it is most unfortunate. But I suppose we did everything in our power, and that is all one could ask. I still do not understand. Why would Lady Fran send Sir on this wild Paisa chase? If she knew from the start it would be for naught. Call it your territory! Stop. Yes. Come to my territory. <laughs> Boggy mentioned something about Fran proving a point to their leader, whomever that may be. People in positions of power can prove both naive and stubborn creatures. Simply telling a leader that she is wrong may not convince her of that fact. Seeing one's own plan fail, however, is oft the best medicine. Naive and stubborn? Then the resistance is doomed. If a person is as imposing as Fran is taking orders from her, then chances are this leader is even worse, Kupo. I would not be so certain, Mont Blanc. My guess is that the individual in question is still quite young and inexperienced, and that Lady Fran is trying to teach her to be an effective leader through example. By allowing her to make her own mistakes, Fran is granting her the ability to learn and grow from them, an experience that will ultimately benefit her when the time comes to make some truly difficult decisions. Now, I seem to recall reading that one of the many faces of the Resistance uh, before the recent quelling was a young girl of royal blood. Do you suppose? You may cease with your baseless presumptions, defector. The door was open. <laughs> they just lock, fucking let themselves in. <sighs> if you're questioning what a paisa is, Google it. I am questioning what a paisa is. Paisa. Oh, it's the big owl thing. It's the big, 
weird looking bear owl thing with Jake. Do, 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 this this fucking thing. This this fucking thing. This weird ass fucking. We haven't really seen much of the Pisces, have we? And you would be? Yes, I love them. I would be here on orders from the leader of Lente's Tears, against my better judgment, mind you. Square Enix is also selling a Pisces eye mask? Stop, that's cute. I love them. They are such creatures. I assume they're featured in Endwalker, because I, I would have seen them by now in Shadowbringers, right? Greetings, Lady Fran, I presume? I am Genomus Sen Lexentail, principal of the Majestic Theater Company. You and your colleagues are most welcome on the Prima Vista. Their dumb faces and stupid little arms. They are definitely one of the 14 creatures of all time. <laughs> they're in Heaven's Word? Excuse? You're my superstar. Hi, Terra, your cute Illini flower. Jess, you're cute! Jess, thank you so much for the 12 months! That's a whole ass year! Congrats on your bla uh, badge. <laughs> planet badge upgrade, Jess. Holy shit. Love you. Hope your day's been fantastic. They're in the Sea of Clouds. Is it more focused on if you do the tribals? Because I, I don't remember them <laughs> in the Sea of Clouds. <laughs> what is it your leader would have of us? There are Pisa and Pixie Quest. Got it, okay. While you failed in meeting even a single of our demands, she recognizes that you are sincere in your attempts to see them fulfilled. And for that effort, you are to be compensated. They are definitely loving to give us this camera angle. I'm not that I'm complaining. I'm just acknowledging. <laughs> there are pink ones in Shadowbringers, but they're called Fuka. Got it. Puka? Fuka. They're just vibing in the map, huh? It's been very cozy with the kitties, hell yeah. That sounds like a perfect Saturday. That is most generous. The ruins which you seek are hidden behind a waterfall here, a point roughly equid equidistant from the river's source and its delta. What game is this? Final Fantasy XIV, Aaron. You have our thanks, Lady Fran. We will not forget this kindness. Father, I shall plot a course immediately. It's not going to be that easy, I'm sure. Ramza, what's going on in here? Alma, you should be in bed. I've slept enough, brother. Tell me, who are our guests? It appears you once again prepare a, to, a leap into Danger's Maw. Keep your wits about you, sir. Lady Fran is strong, but then again, so was Bagamden. Just what are you implying, Boggy? No! Gaspy face. Ah, uh, if you'll excuse me. Are we MSQing here? We're currently doing the raids for Stormblood. So depending on how you feel about the raid story, Vel, you might want to hide. Are you mad? A trip to the surface in your condition? Listen to me, brother. The High Seraph beckons. She speaks to me through the odious. I'll probably forget. Okay, good. <laughs> it's not as impactful as the MSQ anyways. I can't count that high. I only have 13. You should not have 13 fingers in the first place. Hello? Not that I'm judging. The what? There's no need to worry. Mikoto and I have already devised a plan. I can help clear our family name. The Charlayan has no say in this. I am your father and I insist you remain here on the airship. What would your mother say if I if I allowed aught to befall you? Mother? That is what this is all about, isn't it? What it what it has always been about. You care not about Ivelisse or the Oran name. No, you only seek to use the Orosite to bring mother back. But you haven't been able to do that. You still do not understand how exactly it is the shards translate one's desires into reality. That is where I can help. I can ask the High Seraph. It is she who created the Orosite. Ultima has bid me to come to her place of imprisonment. If we free her, she will reveal unto us the secrets of her creations. According to the wiki quest list, you're already close to being done Stormblood? Vel, you are schmooving. Holy shit, dude. You're gonna catch me. You're gonna catch me in Shadowbringers. 
She should have a deep, gravelly voice. Wait, wait, wait which one? Alma? Uh oh, sweetheart, we're going to the surface. Do you hear what you are saying, Alma? Even if there was the slightest chance of bringing Mother back, we cannot risk your life in doing so. Si oh, side Fury! I almost said Side Furry. I'm very sorry, Side Fury. Hi, welcome! Can we have shout out? Hi, welcome in! Uh <laughs> Playing 14 online. What were you getting up to today? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, y'all. Thank you for the shout outs. Let me click that little heart. Click the little heart on this beautiful little side fur side fury. Side fury. <laughs> it's okay, side furry is not far from the truth. Hello. Do you play Hroth? <laughs> oh, you're doing savage raids. I cannot wait to get there. Are you progging? Are you re-clearing? What is happening? I really want to get into the savage raiding whenever I finish MSQ. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. If it's your first time meeting me, um, my name is Tara. I'm a variety streamer. I mostly play Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm a variety streamer. I sometimes do horror streams. I sometimes do drinking streams. Um, and mostly Final Fantasy XIV lately. So um, variety in heavy quotations. <laughs> uh, Reclears. We're getting through to Prog P8S. Good shit. Good shit. Can't wait for that to be me. Can't wait for that to be me, dude. What's your main class? What do you play? Oh, and what data center? Terra streams 14 on a variety of days, and Terra covers a variety of 14 content. Like today we're doing the Evilies raids. And 5.2 whenever we get there. I pulled two trans femmes today. I don't know how I did it, but I'm so happy. Vox, it's cause, okay, like not to like objectify you, but because you're fucking gorgeous. Just saying, just saying respectfully. <laughs> I tried creating a Thylander and Elizin last night, decided if I do Fantasia, you'll be Elizin. Let's go, Vel. So few Elizin players. Why did Alma sound like Dr. Miss the Monarch when you just voiced her? Izagi, please. <laughs> you play Monk. I saw that you were a fellow Canadian. I am indeed. I am indeed. A Tobin, if you will. A Tobin. Literally freezing to death over here. My poor bum. Um, but I love Monk. I love Monk. It's so busy and I suck at it, but I love Monk. I asked chat so many times what melee I would enjoy and they were like, you'll like Reaper. And then I played Reaper and I liked it. But then a part of me was like, but Monk though. And then I just unlocked Monk and it's 80 and I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Once you get the the beast chakras, are they called? Then the class becomes like, mm, then it becomes real nice. Uh, I got her looking pretty enough. Ellis and ladies' shoulders are questionable, but those like the big issue that I always see people complain about Ellis and ladies is the is the the giraffe necks. That's it. That's it. I love femme Ellison. I love male Ellison as well. But that's what I always see people say: the giraffe neck. Yeah, that's what everyone says. I'd play as an Ellison, but the way they run and sprint makes me rationally angry. Okay, but nothing can be worse than fucking male auras, banjo kazooie looking ass running animation. They're, like, what is their running animation? It's the goofiest thing in the world. <laughs> My main is an Ellison. Let's go. I love Ellisons. They're so underplayed. Like cat dads. Cat dads also chronically underplayed, and I love them. I like the long necks. I'm a weirdo. Nope. There's somebody for everyone. Don't call yourself a weirdo. Uh, Beast Chaka, is this Naruto now? Monks literally are Reaper Kid. They, yeah, monks literally are. Actually, more specifically, hang on, I'm lying. Ninja. There is literally ninja in the game. Way more Naruto, but monks are also pretty anime. Elizins are fantastic, but I don't think I'll ever let go of my male row. I'm gonna have such a hard time ever letting go of my male Lala. I, like, it's just so precious, and I'm addicted to head pats. I think it's like a Lala condition that we become absolutely addicted to head pads. I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. We love it. Wish I had the heart to play Hroth, but I'm too at attached to your cat girl. No, I feel you. I feel you. Don't, don't shame yourself. We now have a snow warning in our area. Uh, in my Northwest Ontario heart is giggling. Uh, need to get popcorn to see how bad the city shuts down this time. Oh no. I'm a born proud Ellison will never change. Let's go Sith. Your Ellison is beautiful as well. Who made that command? What is this? x ray Shark Terra. Terra's been absorbed by 14, but Outer Wilds holds his heart. Variety streams will return someday, TM! <laughs> Mac, did you make this command? I love you. Monks channeled the girl boss energy of Tifa Lockhart. True. True. It's very sad. One snowflake, one. Oh, no, no, no. I love snow. I'm living in the correct province in Canada to love snow because we get fucking mountains of it. I can never change my Warrior of Light, I'm so attached. Spade, I think that's what happens. If you are on a certain Warrior of Light, a certain like race design of Warrior Light, and you go through certain big moments in the game, it, maybe it's just me, I'm a sentimental fool. 
I'm gonna have such a hard time Fantasia-ing. It's gonna be like a whole emotional journey if I do. Because that's part of why my Lala's face, I think, is gonna be permanently dirty. Because when we finished 5.0, our face was dirty, and it was so nice, and it was so good, and I, I can't, I can't change. You're my it's just how I am now. Oh my god! Sanctuary! What the hell? With the fresh organic T1! What the? Hello? Hello? I appreciate you! It's hype. There you go, Mac. <laughs> I didn't change to Meteor until after the base Shadowbringers, but I'm attached to him now. I love- Rando, I love that you're a Meteor cosplayer, truly. A fresh T1! A home great a homegrown, organic, non-GMO T1? We'd love to see it. Side Fairy, thank you so much. Thank you for the raid again. And the T1, Jesus. <laughs> um, The Warrior of Light literally dying uh, fr uh, from the light and still living. We have, hang on, spade. Mods, get the spade comment. Get the spade comment. Save Valora. Save Valora. One of my mods is in uh, Stormblood. Thank you, Val. <laughs> I hope you didn't read it. I hope you just deleted it and not read it. Right now, since Valora is active in chat, I want to protect Valora. Deleted by Valora. <laughs> the exact 5.0 like spoiler spoilers we're not going to talk about right now until we're back into MSQ, okay? Just for like any... You skimmed it, retain nothing. Good, 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 good. Um, just for Valora and a few other people that aren't there yet. Vel remembering words now. Thankfully, Vel's brain is like my brain in that like... <laughs> Barely anything retains. Mmm. <laughs> you won't fan to your main, so you have an alt. Beautiful time for an alt, I would say. Expedition work memory. Vel has my memory. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Okay, we're gonna get back into the thing. Side for you again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for raid. Always enjoy passing love back into the 14 community. Dude, me too. This community is something so goddamn special. And I have so many cool people in my chat that have like crawled their way in here through degeneracy <laughs> into my chat and I love them so much. I made it up. It happened in fan fiction. <laughs> Spade, I love you. <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. We're just being careful. By the time I get to these raids, I'm sure I'll have forgotten half of it. Definitely is Lua because there are way bigger things that happen in this game. I love these side content stories, but there are way crazier things that happen. That's me. Here I am in this. This is my spot now. You have a nice little corner right there. It's safe for you. You don't have to chat if you don't feel it. Any day you want to hang out, just hang out. Just vibe out. I'm mixed on the attachment. So my brain was basically a clone of your 11 character, then turned him into Catboy. And like that better. Did you just call me a DJ? I would never, Izagi. I would never. I'm aware of my viewership. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. It's equal parts DJ and equal parts wholesome. Degeneracy? Girl, I was degenerate long before I met you. <laughs> Uh, do you hear what you're saying, Alma? Even if there was the slightest chance of bringing Mother back, we cannot risk your life in doing so. Tried an aura for a minute when that came out. Back to Catboy. Different Catboy. It's a hybrid between the two. Now you have your elf alt. Your elf is so cute, Izagi. Your Elizin is so cute. I'm watching Joe, Joe Cat's New Game Plus playthrough, and even then it's like, huh, did I do that? That's also part of the game. There's just so much that happens. Whole gen? <laughs> oh, you whole gens. It's Saturday. We can be legally horny in chat. This is true. Should I break out a White Claw? Maybe later. Just a... <gasps> Maybe a glass of wine. We'll be like fancy degenerates. Your brother is right. We have sacrificed too much already. I cannot bear the thought of losing you. Either of you. What the fuck? Huh, what the... Huh, what the... But, but, it is too late. Like, like, boom! I'm so lonely, father. Why must you love Ramza more than you do me? Blink and you fucking jump scare, literally. Ow, jump scare. Do not be cozened by your daughter's words, for they are not her own. I don't know what cozened means. Every time Mikoto doc, docks, every time Mikoto talks, I feel stupider. Oh! Oh! Okay, bye. Help me, Rams. Alma! Into the abyss butthole. Well, that fucking sucks. Well, that fucking sucks. What DC are we Are we all? We are currently on Ether Adamantoys for the Evil East raid, but my home server is Modwin on Dynamis. 
Every time Mikoto talks to someone, shh, Rando, listen. <laughs> I trip over my words all the time. Ooh. Most people prefer Heaven's Word over Shadowbringers over Stormblood. What? Wait, wait, you have the correct take? Is it controversial that I like Heaven's Word? No, it is definitely not. No, it is definitely not. It is not controversial that you like Heaven's Word over Stormblood. Stormblood is good. We've had this conversation so many times. Stormblood is good. But Heaven's Word was just so good. So it's hard for Stormblood to shine. Gods for Fend. I told you. No one can control the power within those shards. No one! Sir, here, take this. It might be the only thing that can save Alma, but we must hurry to the monastery. Let's save her ass. Let's do it. Krimbus Elf, here to save the day. Shadowbringers and Endwalker have my heart. 5.0 Shadowbringers? Genuinely. Some of the best story I've ever, ever experienced. We won't talk in detail, of course, because we have some sprouts. Um, but holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Come. We leave for Goldmore Jungle now. I need to finish my date with Amrick. <laughs> Stormblood has the best roasting cutscene in the history of this game. Left a certain... You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I think I included it in my compilation video on YouTube. <laughs> oh. Or Boner Monastery is the final area in tactics. Got you. Or Boner Monasty. I haven't even seen the Shadowbringers raids yet either. I'm. I know they're gonna be great. The Omega raids were so freaking good, dude. Have I your permission to depart, sir? Every moment we tarry here, my sister, she... Of course, Ramza. Then hold on! I've set engines to full speed! Step is the best part of Stormblood, in my opinion. Uh, Doma Castle uh, would like a word with you, Stellar. Doma Castle has entered the chat. I haven't seen the Shadowbringers raids yet, so no. Stormblood felt hit that. Stormblood felt hit or miss, but the step portion is just Chef's kiss. The step portion was very nice. New Rogan in name, eh? Doma Castle. <laughs> hey! I got Madge at Bardam's metal group, though. Twice they pulled everything and wiped. Uh, then came the boss words. Oops, all mechan- I don't even remember the dungeon. So much happens in this game. I know it's a hard sell between the best roast being better or- <laughs> Misaki. <laughs> Welcome to the land of my people. It would be a poor lie if I said I did not miss it some. Eh, I've seen prettier. I don't. Seth, how did you notice? I actually don't. This quest line, like this quest line in particular, he's been better. Halma! She's a genie! She lives in my head now. Ramza, help me. What in the psychological torture is this bullshit? Oh, you're a moron. Alma! He's about to get the suck. That's not how you use- oh, okay! <laughs> Be gone! I thought the Warrior of Light was like, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> Safe. Framza, Alma. I'm sorry, but she's a JD. Almost made me spit out my drink. <laughs> the portal just cuts her in half. I was picturing that edible. Blood of the invokers, fulfill the ancient covenant and grant unto me the vessel promised. Oh, holy fuck! 
What just? <laughs> it was so. It was so fast. It was like comically fast. Boggy, to me, the girl is not well. Uh, might I suggest we continue this back at the Prima Vista, Kupo? So fast! Holy jeez. Have you the courage to face true evil? Who this? Whomst? What are you gawping at? The ship is this way, Kupo! Ichigetsu! How you doing? Welcome in. Hot piece? Were we looking at codpiece? I was looking at blonde hair. The first thing I notice about any human is their hair. And then usually their eyes. And then usually their codpiece. I mean, and then usually their personality. Now Ramza is gone. Oh dearest Tia, what have I done? What have I done? You've been working graveyard at a factory. Oh no, how's it treating you? Do you like it? Are you having fun? Cod pieces, the classic tactics. <laughs> look, don't look. All right. If a magic rift was necessary to seize Ramza, then it's quite possible that Ultima is still incapable of traveling beyond the bounds of the Orboner Monasty. However, if Orosite is all the High Seraph requires to do so, then we are in grave danger. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's time. We need to do something, but what recourse is left to us? The only means we had to pr of protecting ourselves could not even prevent my son f from... My son from... Becoming dead. Unless it's Fran, then the camera makes sure the first thing you see is ass. Yeah. See them cheeks. It's rather simple. Sometimes an easy turn your brain off job is perfect. Just saying. I'm sorry, Genomis. My design was flawed. Not necessarily, Charlayan. We all saw how it succeeded in drawing Alma back from the rift and shattering the odious. The loss of the boy is not yours to bear. True. Our focus here should not be on our failures, but what we have learned from them. The being beyond the rift, it spoke before claiming Ramza, referred to you as the blood of its invokers. Could it be your ancestors are responsible for Ultima's summoning? Most certainly not. I have discovered no such interference anywhere in the Durai papers. Besides, tales of the High Seraph existed far before even the earliest of Evolution legends. Then who exactly did summon Ultima, and why does she think them your kin? Look! I like Bloggy's face. I have a bad feeling about this, Koopo. Oh no, headache with pictures! Rate my Ellison when you can, I need confirmation. Where'd you post it? Ramza? Dead? You lie about as well as you carry yourself in battle, Oran. I did not say he was dead, my lord Delita. Merely that he had abandoned his mortal vessel, entrusting his ethereal soul to the Orosite. But why would he do such a thing? Peace has finally come to Ivalice. There is not to, had, uh, not to be had from further sacrifice. In DM's cat. The kingdom is won. And this victory is as much his as it is mine. He risked life and limb to shield me from the dark that would have seen me perish. Without him, I would not be standing here before you. It is my duty as both king and colleague to see him saved. Knights, to me! We ride for, or bo for our boner! <laughs> my lord, wait! Ajora Glabados, first of the Zodiac Braves, was not the hero of the church 
the church would have you believe. He betrayed Mother Heidelin for the promise of coin and power, summoning forth a terrible evil from the depths of the celestial abyss. It was believed only one of the lands chosen, only a warrior of light, might stand against this threat. Hey, I am that! Yet while victorious in battle, Ramza was unable to see the darkness vanquished. If failure was all that awaited our warrior of light, then what chance do you presume any other might stand? Are you saying I should do nothing then? No, my lord. Ramza is... My brother's final wish before he surrendered to the ether was that his name be struck from the annals of history. Alma, you're unhurt. But I was led to believe none but Oran returned from Orb our boner. <laughs> what is this you speak of, your brother's wishes? Annals of history. <laughs> you can't play 14? Why is that, Ichi? When it became apparent that uh, we were powerless to truly defeat the High Seraph, we chose the only path left to us, to do what Hydaelyn herself did countless centuries past, imprison Ultima. And as you are aware, my lord, a prison is only as strong as the seal on its gates. Ramza sacrificed his body to ensure that the Angel of Blood would never again walk the land, and he believed that if people knew of this sacrifice, it would only inspire them to seek out the Holy Stones and repeat the mistakes of those come before. If you truly avouch yourself his friend, then you will honor his final plea. She's doing the Minfilia. It's on console. Yep, yep, yep. It's on console. And it plays very well on controller. On PS4 and PS5. No! Ramza should not be forgotten. He should be raised up as a hero for his deeds and claim his rightful place at my side. Only he may be my knight gallant. He is gone, my lord. Yeah, there's a people who there's a lot of people who savage raid on controller. Hey, thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Oh, you only have Xbox. That would be why. Rip. Well, if you get your hands on a cheap PS4, the option is there. Uh, it also isn't very stream intensive for PC, though that might change come 7.0. Yeah, 7.0. They're planning like an overhaul of things, right? You savage right on controller as well, Sith. Yep. It looks super intuitive. Ponto, uh, another streamer, I'm 90% sure uses controller, right? And it looks super, super, super intuitive. You just need the muscle memory and then boom. Before Ramza was your friend, before he was my brother, he was a warrior of light. He did what he did for Hydaelyn and for those who would one day too heed the crystal's call. Coco, also controller. Graphical overhaul? Dude, hell yeah. I play this on a 4K monitor and I'm so scared of the 7.0 update forcing you to play at a lower res. Panic. Panic. The most skilled player you ever rated with user controller. Yep. I didn't see the graphics overhaul image. No. Do you want to share it, Izagi? Post it in Discord. Oh, or right there. Hang on. Let's take a quick look. And then I want to check out Vel's Elizabeth design. No way. Uh-uh. Really? It was a fake out? Wait, this is a fake out? Is this not real? Because this this looks like, this is like, they have texture on their skin. Meteor even hotter. True. <laughs> Binoculars. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. There's no way. Oh my gulai. Meteor cosplayers? Meteor cosplayers about to go off, dude. Oh god. Be still my heart. Dun, 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 dun. The lighting looks so much better. 
Da, da. Yeah, it looks like the major thing is like the shading. It just looks like it has more life to it. Oh, and they're adding little like clutter objects to fill out the world. Oh my God. And the grass <laughs> will look like grass, not like chunky fucking textures. <laughs> Your PC about to explode from the HD. HD grass. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at this. It's not just like three, <laughs> three pixels in a line. Wow. <laughs> That's fucking incredible, genuinely. I can't believe they're making everyone have no longer dead eyes. That's what I noticed about the Lala model in particular. The Lala models actually have life in their eyes. Look at this. Dead? Dead as fuck? Gonna steal your soul. Actual alive eyeballs and looking cute. Steal your life force. Very cute. So that's fucking cool. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Thank you for the stretch as well. I come back in, Terry's losing his shit. Hello? Just a normal, just a normal day. Dude, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. I am a hype bean. Um, oh shit, wait, we forgot to look at uh, Vel's Elizen. Do, do. Vel needs confirmation, you guys. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm so. Okay, listen, listen, Vel. Hang on, can I open this? I can't open this? Why is it not opening? Give me one sec, give me one sec. Something's wrong here. Give me this. There we go. And this one. Okay, listen, Vel, I love both of them, but I will be honest. I will be honest. I'm such a sucker for Thylanders. I'm such a sucker for Thylanders, but the Elizin is beautiful. Okay, wait. Seeing them standing side by side, the Elizin is gorgeous. But I'm still a sucker for Thylanders. But wait. But wait. In comparing the faces, I like the Thylander a bit more. But then seeing them like this, the Elizin is gorgeous. <gasps> Gotta go spooky movie night. Enjoy your spooky movie, RN. You like the green eyes on the Elizin? I think I do too. The green eyes with the brunette. You like the Elizin face more? I'm just such a sucker for Thylanders. But I think the Elizin is gorgeous. I think you did great. I think gorgeous. I approve. You have the Terra seal of approval. Uh, early Lala's are terrifying. I got to Kral's introduction on your alt play last night and yikes. <laughs> Lala eyes should stay soulless and dead. Buller, no. No. How could you? I think they were able to, able to add real reflection, reflections to them maybe. Or even just reflecting the light is enough to give them life. <laughs> Lalas will steal your soul anyways. I mean, while that is still true. Also, pray welcome and I love you. And Lord Wizzle, welcome in. Lord Wizzle. Lord Wiz. They've been able to improve the engine. Since 16 will be running off the same engine, 14 one uh, looks so much like what they wanted to do in 1.0. Gotcha. Uh, there was a stretch, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. Okay, guys. Where in the Discord should I post the Island Sanctuary tease? Put it in the 14 general. Or in the uh, in memes. I almost feel like we should self-contain. Should we add a Final Fantasy memes channel? Should we self-contain a bit more? Or is it okay that it's spilling out into the regular memes channel? Whew. Basically my 14 posters. Would you feel more comfortable if there was a specifically 14 meme channel? Tara's just obsessing. It's fine. I always, always, dude. Throw wide the gates, so that we may meme. Claim the throne, my friend. Become ruler of Ivalice and restore peace to this war-torn realm once and for all. This is the blonde boy that we just saw. And he's dead. Wait, Ramza, don't leave me! Please, I beg of you! You will make a fine and just king, Delita. See, you do not stray from that path. And he's dead. <laughs> Found the fake out image, but it's in the original at the timestamp. Okay, give me one second. I am struggling with purple today. I really am. Sweetling, I love you. Hi, Sweetling, I see you. Lahi. <laughs> I'm struggling with purple names today. I don't know why. Delita is such a bottom, please. Every bottom when they lose their top. Not you, not you, you. 
I only redeemed like three things. <laughs> listen, listen, sweetling, listen. It's all your fault for being purple. I am literally purple shaming you guys. The stones in these two necklaces, you are certain they will guide the heroes of a new era to Ramza. Tis what Ramza wished, my lord. Why? Oren, I do not believe I can bear another farewell this day. Will you not consider my offer to remain as a member of my court? Tis but a matter of time before the Cardinal and his Temple Knights grow wise to my past. I would not have my presence here implicate you as well. She's stuck in the Minfilia pose. Ramza beseeched me strike his name from history, but like you, my lord, I cannot bear the thought of future generations blind to the truth. As such, I penned this chronicle of the hero's journeys. I fear the world, however, is not yet ready for the gospel contained within these pages, nor would the church ever allow its circulation. In fact, I believe they will confiscate every existing copy and lock them away in their library. And what better way for the words to remain forever preserved than in one of the most highly guarded vaults in all the realm? Then, one day, when the church has fallen out of favor, the chronicle will be discovered, and truth shall prevail. I must admit, your plan is intriguing, Oran, but once the church learns it was you who penned the chronicle, your life... What is this booba view? Oh, 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 it's not a booba view. We're still in Adam and Toys, yes we are. Probably not Genomus, right? How long ago did this occur? <laughs> We're gonna find where you live. Nick you out. Uh, knock me out, and then when I wake up, the whole apartment's going to be purple. <laughs> it's okay, I won't see it, Mac. Or Mac. <laughs> I won't see it, Sweetling. <laughs> a thousand plus years. So, that probably wasn't Genomus that she was pregnant with, right? Like, that wasn't... The baby wasn't Genomus, I don't think. How old are you, Genomus? About, like, 900 years old, I would say? Twas the Echo, wasn't it? Correct! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> By the way, Terry, the only image shows a small piece of the island and the rest of blurred out compares the size of a row in it and is the actual official image. Stop. The removal of Ramza's name from history books, the Durai papers, the pendants, it was all set in motion by Oran himself. And if the Liberator's visions are to be taken as fact, it is. it also appears we now know what the High Seraph meant by blood of my invoker. Are you happy that Oh Blue Sweetling is cursed? Oh Blue Sweetling is cursed. Uh, one million years dungeon, correct? Right. Assuming the timeline is similar to actual Evilies, 1200 years. Got it. She was not speaking of ancestors in the act in the sense of actual kin, but the line of those chosen by Heidelin to serve as her warrior light. But then why abduct Ramza or even Alma, unless? There is something you haven't been telling us. She was using us to lure Sir. It is his vessel the High Seraph desires. Matrons, teats, Alma, how long have you been awake? Be purple, remain in the shadows. Also, hi Ian! So Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions playthrough is totally happening after this, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely, 100%. Uh, I've been a fool. I told our leader that it did not matter if our request for aid was refused, for I had an alternative ploy. General. It is all right, Boggy. My intention was to claim one of the Orosite in the name of the Resistance and use its power to lay waste to the Garlean occupants. Only now do I realize how flawed my ambitions were. You mean this whole time you were playing us for fools? Why didn't we see it earlier? Never trust a woman with ears longer than mine, I always say. That's racist. <laughs> what the fuck, Lena? What the fuck, Lena? 
You've every right to be angry, and I apologize for misleading you. But believe me, I no longer have any desire to deceive you or yours. I shall see you to our boner Monasty, and ask not in return, but that you let me join you in the rescue of Ramza. Damn, okay. Sick. Nah, he's still gonna ignore me. <laughs> That's hella racist, right? Do not mis misunderstand me. I do not know... Uh, I do not do this for any one of you. I do it for my people in both Golmore and Rabinaster. People who may die if this High Seraph is allowed to return to power. Okay, so it's, it's for selfish reasons. That's fine then. Do, 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 do. Uh, I just wanted to bring open this real quick. What do you got the one? Boop, boop. Izagi, what's the context of this clip again? Izagi, I need clip context. Or oh, I guess I could just scroll up. Found the fake out image, but it's in the original video. There, so one of these images is a fake out? Fake out texture change. <laughs> Some people think, oh, is that me? Is this the fake out? With the, like the actual pores? That would be crazy, though. I don't think this is. That what was the fake out image that Yoshi posted before showing actual overhaul. For. Okay. This is not what we're. Dude, literally, like skin texture. It was too realistic to the point of being creepy. I think it's just the lighting. I think it's just the lighting. Cause you, there, there are other games that do it so well that that, that has flawed skin texture that I don't find creepy. I think it could have been done right, but thankfully it is a fake out. <laughs> he says it's a little too far, in his opinion. That's just like his opinion, man. Do, 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 do. That was the 16 version of 14. Oh, in the 16 engine, I see. Wait, did I unlock? Did I unlock it? Are we good? Oh, we have. We have the Boner Mast Monastery. We have the Boner Mast Monastery. I should take this bleach off my hair or whatever. Dude, Echo, I did not leave the bleach in my hair long enough. I was so fucking brassy. I was so brassy, but thankfully it took to the blue just fine. But it was so fucking brassy. Cause I was kind of thinking, I was like, maybe I'll stay blonde for a little bit. Nope. Boner Mo Nasty. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> No, it's the boner mo, mo nasty. Oh. oh, you said you don't know if they use the uh, 16 engine, but it looks like, uh, as looks as if it were from 16. Got you. Wait a minute. There's a bunk boy here. Hi, Torvar! Look how cute. Tara, I require you to drag me through Tem Terra later. I'm Blue Mage Wald. You're Blue Mage Wald? <laughs> Wait, Vel, why don't you do MSQ until a certain part of the game that you're kind of close to? And then it's even better for Blue Mage. There is a certain beach that you do not yet have access to. You should continue through Stormblood to reach a certain beach. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. You'll be very happy with your Blue Mage. Look at this, holy shit. Aw, to live in suffering, suffering, find strength and hope. Aw, that's so cute. I also like Cat Dad. Hi, Cat Dad. Wait, do I fit when you sit like this? If I fits, I don't know if I fit. Eh. Let me fit. Eh. Kind of. There's a bit of clipping going on. It's not perfect. Cat Daddy, hello? We love cat dads. Feline father. Why are all the problems solved with MSQ? Vel, I'm in the same boat. There's a, the, a fashion piece that I want. Uh, and it comes from 5.5 in the story. You fit always. But I'm clipping a little bit. I have to fix it. We have to wiggle. Okay, now there's minimal clipping. 
That's better. Croth Poppy. <laughs> Ask anyone in the Party Funder channel uh, in the Discord, and no doubt one of us can help. Yes, literally. Also that, Bell. Do, do, do. We have a Party Finder channel in the Discord, in the 14 containment zone. So just like, be like, hey, I want to do this. Anyone down? And uh, someone will hit you up, I'm sure. Now tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Santa, I, uh, Cat Santa, I would like a big booty. No, I'm just kidding. If we have enough for 24 people? I don't know that we do. We did one time because it was prime time and everyone was around and about, but I don't know if we do t today. And the queue says it's only gonna take 11 minutes, so not bad. We're already two out of three, four to six. If you're in Adamantoys, queue up for it and there's a good chance you'll end up with us anyways. So if you're if you're on Ether Adamantoys, just queue up for uh, our boner Monasty and there's a very good chance you'll just end up with us. We did minimum eye level for the first raid, Ryu. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. I died so many times. I died so- Wait, what class am I on? Oh, am I doing it as dancer again? Fuck. Do we have a res mage? We do. Jolly's our res mage. Okay, fine. I'll stay dancer. Why not skip the middleman and ask Santa for money? Dude, I love getting money for Christmas. I love it. Unless they like- Okay, I'm old. I know I'm old because when somebody asks what I want for Christmas, I deadass just tell them, and I, it doesn't ruin the magic of it for me. I don't need to be surprised, because surprising an adult with a Christmas gift is like fucking impossible, unless you're paying very close attention to everything that they slightly say that they want, and then they don't buy it for themselves. That is the biggest problem with buying Christmas gifts for an adult, is if they want something, they'll just buy it, and I'm the same boat, and my partner is in the same boat. It's impossible. Guys, come sit with us. Come sit. Gather round, gamers. What do you want for Krimbus? Me? Cash, please. Literally. Always. Thing is, y'all don't even notice when I change names anyways until someone points it out. Jolly, I saw you. I saw you. I can come over now if you want to do min eye level again. <gasps> do we have enough? We should keep a count. I wish there was some way to quantify you guys. Are those the starlight tights? Those are so cute. It wouldn't be cute on Lala, though. Someone's fucking dead, by the way. <laughs> if you guys need 20 bodies for 24, I can come too. Might have enough if there was a head count. How can we head count? You know what? Come literally here to the airship landing. And if we have 24 people, we'll do it. Hoi hoi. Hi, Necro. I just asked for socks and underwear. Been doing so many. So since my teens, that's all I need. Literally getting socks for Christmas is kind of goaded. Because then you never need to buy socks. A boner mo nasty. I think this is <laughs> what I'm calling it from no from now on. I love it. What are the names again for them? Uh, I need to look at them. There was the Royal City of Rat Nasty, uh, the Read Around a Wipe House, and then the uh, or boner mo nasty. Those are the names. Dench Cat Boy. Somebody revive the Cat Boy. I can make a, par a private party finder for now. See if we can fill and then use randoms to fill up the remaining stuff. That might be doable, especially with like a Shout and Limza. The reader on a wipe house, it's true. <laughs> Rat Nasty is what they call the first one. <laughs> I love getting socks and underwear for Christmas. That way I don't have to buy them myself. The thing is, am I gonna self-report? I'll self-report a little bit. Uh, I like specific kind of underwear. I don't like generic underwear, so uh, the socks are great for Christmas. Underwear, I'm less happy with. I'm very particular in what I like to wear. <laughs> I'm self-reporting a little bit. Target socks and sweaters, yes. Who is Bermond, by the way? Bermond is... Oh my god. I know. I know you. You've been around so much. <gasps> I can't place it. I can't place it. Someone, it's someone. That's, I knew it was someone. <laughs> sacks are actually best kind of underwear though. Sacks are, uh, sacks are okay. Sacks are, sacks are mid. I, there I said it. Sacks underwear are so mid. They're like good, they're not great. 
I have limited brands I wear, but wide variety of styles. Same. The best. <laughs> Tara wears underwear? Whoops. Who wears underwear? Dude, Kay, listen, I wear jeans a lot. Jeans without underwear is just a bad time. Jeans without underwear is like too much friction. It's not good. I don't like it. Why am I covered in everyone's minions? <laughs> They're taking over. I don't know what to do with this information, Tara. You're good. You're fine. Ew, pimp! Disgusting! Disgusting! What's the password for the party finder? What is the password? You never wear jeans? <gasps> Can I just say, in my 31 years of life, I have recently discovered sweatpants. I never in my life wore sweatpants. I had this like, I had this idea about what wearing sweatpants was. Um, and I never wanted them. And then I bought like two pairs to wear around the house. And I am now a man obsessed. I am now a man obsessed with sweatpants. You wear PJs around the house? That was me below. I used to always wear PJs, P PJs, pajama pants, but now I wear sweatpants and I understand. I still believe you should not leave the house in sweatpants because I'm that person. Or you can, I don't judge you, but I don't leave the house in sweatpants. I don't leave the house in sweatpants. I don't leave the pants, the pants. <laughs> I don't leave the house in pajama pants, um, but that's just me. I don't care if anyone else does it. I don't judge them. It's just me. You judge sweatpants wearers in the wild? How could you? <gasps> You're Asher? Come here, you. Come here, you. Let me look at your... Wait, is your plate safe? Is your plate safe for sprouts? I don't leave the house wearing pants. Shut up. You know I can't talk back. <laughs> Thank you for pinning the message. Ew, Jolly, why would you make the password 9696? Do you hate me? Do you hate me? Why not 6969? Jolly hates all of us, confirmed. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know what my plate is. Should be safe? Okay, good. <laughs> Please send all complaints to twitter.com slash side, side fury. I'm about to go complain. I'm about to go complain how goofy it is. You're like barely in the frame. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, man. This is my payback for missing my four messages about this earlier. Fair. Your plate is also safe. Avalon. 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 Shit, which one are you? Do, do, do. Benaria? No. We could just start going through people's plates. Iruk, Iruku. Wait, is this a Lala I've never seen before? A new Lala? A new Lala. Ayla is you. Okay, okay, okay. I see a Lala I've never seen before. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! How terrifying! <laughs> Holy fuck! That's great. That's awesome. This is a good one. Oh. <laughs> I very occasionally made a morning grocery run in pajama pants, and I've been feeling exceptionally lazy to do that. Again, I don't judge people my own, like, code if I leave the house, but I also have anxiety. So I feel like if I'm wearing anything abnormal, people are going to look at me. So I, I try to look as, like, normal dressed human as I can. <laughs> I try to draw as minimal attention. Wait, what is the plate you have with this, like, big ass wing? I just noticed that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's on both sides. That's so sick. Oh, it's from Ukab. All right, we're running Ukab. We're running Ukab. That's an ultimate thing. All right, Ukab it is. Let's go. You get special plays for ultimate clear, so you can flex. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. <gasps> Another cat, Dad. 
Come here, cat dad. Let me look at you. Oh, he's gone. Easy game, simply clear Ukab. Yeah, no problem. Easy. They added it recently? It should have always been a thing. Always reward your players with dumb cosmetics so we can flex. I love Femora. So fucking cute. Your duty support healer. Office? <gasps> have we been to your office, Ike? We're gonna have to visit. We're gonna have to visit your office at some point. Do, do. I typically have to be fully cleaned and dressed before I'll go further than the mailbox. Izagi, we are same brain. We are same brain. If I leave the house and I haven't showered, it's like dire times. I love Femro as well. Dude, I just love all the races, okay? If I can finish this dungeon in time, I'll join. Bet. Bet. <sighs> Though not required, would be most entertaining to be holiday glam. Yes, definitely not a requirement. More of like a gentle recommendation. All right, what do I gotta do to join this? I don't think I have this raider, maybe I do. Uh, do it's called Orboner Monasty in Stormblood. Level 70, pimp, if you have it unlocked. I guess I could switch now, hey? Maybe I do Red Mage. But if we're doing it minimum item level, it's probably smarter to do it on Dancer. No, I'm gonna do it Red Mage. I can throw out Emergency Reses. Oh no, I'm not Christmas Glammed! On my Red Mage. Problem solved. We good. Oh, you have it? Sick, get in here. Get your booty in here. Stormblood! So close yet so far. I think this is base Stormblood too, Val. Actually so close. How do you? <laughs> if we need any randoms, I'll change Party Finder to reflect the desire to have Christmas holiday glam. Not the requirement. You're doing this on purpose. Uh, Vel? I'm going to be doing the Four Lords Trials sometime next week, and I think you only need base Stormblood done for that, if I'm not mistaken. Level 90 Marauder? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Transfer worlds now? Okay, see you in a sec. Also, Jolly, a shout in Limza would probably do us wonders if we're missing any... Be crime, do gay, and destroy. A shout in Limza would absolutely do us wonders to fill out the numbers, because I know we were like slowly filling up when it was public, and then somebody shouted in Limza and it was pretty quick. And we're doing this minimum item level? Fuck, dude. It's gonna be so hard. At least there's no math in this one, right? Tell me I don't have to do math. The only thing that matters is to have fun. We are panics and sage. <laughs> That's why I'm on res mage. That's why I'm on res mage. I want to play dancer because it's easier. And I'm more likely to die as res mage, but at least if I'm alive, I can res. Third boss wipes for one hour. Let's go. You can't take a photo without the frog. <laughs> there is no math. Oh, thank God. Look at the pimp. Pimpera jigs. You changed your plate?! Wait, your plate is unbearably cute now, Pimp. That's fucking precious. <laughs> That's actually adorable. I hate it. I hate that it's adorable. Uh, ooh, dabs. <laughs> Third boss has voice lines are totally worth. Alright, alright. DM do my reaper portrait. All fog, let me see. 
Oh, not frog. Fog is what you said. How many ja how many jaggies you want, fam? What is this? An image for ants? No, I like that actually. The basic Reaper gear is pretty cool because Edge. This queue is so long to get onto Ether. It must be bumping right now. What's your home data center? Because to move from Dynamis to Ether, I've never had to wait longer than. What was the longest I had to wait? Forty seconds. Forty seconds, I think. Hope we can clear before I gotta go. Oh, me too. I heard Min. I I level our boner. Yep. Hop in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who, whose plates haven't I seen? I'm gonna start going through these again. Instead of a oh, yes, I remember this one. I love this quote. Instead of a Burger King, you shall have a Burger Queen. All will love me and despair. Also, Square, can we please increase the amount of friend requests you can send in a day? We can only send one per day. What? I literally added two people today, Jolly. What? There's no limit on friend requests, is there? You're, oh, you're from Primal him, Hidden. Hedesugane, Lala Reaper, 40 for duty, let's fucking go. Beautiful and terrible as the dog. <laughs> Primal to Ether is usually like 30 seconds for me. Uh, worst I ran into is going back to Modwin. Took like. Oh, I thought you said 45 minutes. I, my, I shit. A minute 45. Okay. Whew. Blue Mage? Blue Mage content? Blue Mage content? Blue Mage co Guys, I want to do Blue Mage content so badly. <gasps> Hi, G! Is this one of the ultimate frames? Now that I'm actually noticing them? This is so pretty. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Oh, you can only send seven per day. I didn't know there was even a limit at all. This is from Alex. Oh, of course it is. Oh, of course it is. That makes sense. Where's Kith? Oh, <gasps> curls. I didn't know you wanted a forehead, Kith. I'm sorry, buddy. Mwah. There you go. Here's your forehead, Kith. Kiss curls. I got you. I got you. Oh, oh, oh. Here's our Lala Reaper. I love to see Lala's in the wild. The fat cat hood! Uh, man, don't make me spend more money. <laughs> don't make me spend more money! Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I want your soul and your kneecaps. A true Lala player through and through. I approve. I approve. Also, thank you for the follow, Wilkman. I needed that. Love you, dude. I love you. Hope your day's getting better. Uh, I don't know, with Zeppla on Modwin right now, it might be 45 minutes. Zeppla's on Modwin. People were talking about it at the start of Stream Sith. Zeppla apparently moved over. Also ultimate, from the Epic of Alexander. Gotcha. Do, 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 do. Is this Catboy that I've already seen? Probably. I want to see it again. I love your Catboy. Fuller, I love your Catboy. Geez, Terra can't see, Terra can't hear. I'm I'm blind deaf. Five spots left. What was that noise? Hello? What was happening just then? <laughs> there was some scary noise. So tired of the steps music. People leave? What? I don't I don't even remember it, to be fair. I think it's Youngja's music that has like the really cute, comfy flute music. That was the Aura Doze? It sounded like growling. It's terrifying. Um, but yeah, I think it's Youngja and I loved it. It was always so like high energy there <laughs> with the cute like music. We're all falling asleep. Don't normally enjoy vocals. Oh, it's one of the vocal songs? A lot of players are like that, hey? They don't like when, when there's actually like singing vocals in their music. Especially in their video game music. There's a specific song that I fucking love the vocals in. <laughs> oh, 
well, that one too. That actually wasn't what I was thinking about, Pimp. And that one too. Okay, wait. There's several songs that I enjoy the vocals with. Are we still queuing? We're actually forming a full minimum eye level. We have five slots left. I think at this point, Jolly, you could probably open up to public and go do a shout in Limza and it'll fill up fast. Don't you do Lord of Crags? Let's go, Isla. I'll give you back. Good luck. Power to you. Oh. What is this dance and how do I get it? I love when Lollafels do this dance in particular. That there, this is what I love. It's a good dance in general, but on a Lala, it just it seems so condescending. It seems so disrespectful. Sidestep from Mog Station! Fuck my ass, dude. I can't believe I have to spend more money. Online store smiley face! I can't believe I have to spend more money. It's fine. It's great, it's like a 90s aerobic video, but I just love it on Lala's. How much is it? Does anyone know off the top of your head? Hang on a minute, wait. Torvo, your plate has a different hairstyle than you have, doesn't it? Is that allowed? I thought you were forced to update your plate when you... No, you're only forced to update when you... Fantasia. Not when you get a haircut. I didn't know that. What does my plate look like right now? Is it my old hair? Where am I? How do I... How do I do a thing? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just opening every menu. <laughs> I think it does still have my old hair. Oh my god, how did I not even notice? Oh, I should update this. It's seven dollars! Seven dollars well spent is what it is. Seven dollars well spent. You use that dance, it shows that at one point you had seven dollars. Seven USD, so like fifteen dollars Canadian? No problem. It does, you haven't updated your image with the new hair. Apparently neither have I, and I didn't even know. Cursed Canadian conversion, the bane of my existence side. The bane of my existence. Definitely treating yourself to some mug station this holidays. I'm waiting just a little bit, because I did treat myself to a couple. Oh shit. I did treat myself to a couple mug station things. A couple. <laughs> a couple mug station things. Where's the other one? A couple Mog Station things. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna wait just a little bit and then I'm gonna pick up some more. <laughs> oh, and I got Dote. But Dote is like best in slot for emotes. Dote is arguably mandatory. Oh no, I'm clipping so much now. Yeah. Here we go. You have to update portraits, not adventure plates. Okay, cool. I reset to Final Fantasy earlier, and normally you buy Krista, so like $12.99 USD, it was like $18 after PayPal convert. Yeah, ouch. Ouch. You got some Christmas decorations from Mog Store. Now you're waiting until the next sale for emotes. Dude, I've got a little, like, a little fund of money going. I think I want to start decorating the inside of my house. I have house. Outside is acceptable. I'm not in love with the outside decorations, but it's good enough. I really want to start indoor decorating. Izagi's jumping to tank for Alliance C. And then we need a DPS in ours, and then we need just DPS for the last one. Screams in gay Elizabeth. Oh my god, it's true. I'm on the same world as the famous 14er! Dies. I've heard a lot of things about Zeppla, but I've only seen, like, I've only seen their videos on my recommended. But you guys were talking so, so good about Zeppla, because I was kind of worried that a bigger creator came to Maduin, because Maduin's been pretty... <laughs> There's some fighting going on over here. There's some fighting. No infighting, you guys. No infighting. Um, yeah. I heard that a bigger creator was coming and it kind of made me nervous for Maduin, but if they're a really good creator, then I'm not worried. She's super nice and famous. Wow, what she could be me. 
Zeppelin seems really chill from the little I know. Hell yeah. That's the kind of energy we want on Maduin. Let's fucking go. Partner's gonna jump in and help. Hell yeah. Do the shout in Limza. Hopefully we get some people because I don't know how to link the party finder, but I'm learning. Does anyone know how to link the party finder? They could do a shout for us. Zeppelin is nice, funny, and hype. Zeppelin's pretty chill. Hell yeah, dude. So that kind of energy will bring around like-minded viewership to the server. So if you're on Modo and you, and you don't have your house yet, uh, you better start looking. <laughs> uh, Valora, I'm talking to you. You better start saving, you better start looking. I don't have strong opinions on her. The bajillion ads you got assailed with anytime you tried to watch her streams deterred you. <gasps> Izagi, I... Oh god, ads on Twitch are a whole thing. Financially, I'm kind of thinking I might need to turn on ads, but I don't want to because ads are just such... They always come in at the worst time, and I know I can disable them, but it's just... I want to stay focused on the community and the content, and then getting hit with an ad in the middle of that is just like... Not good. It's just not good. And it can ruin so many cool moments for those that can't afford to subscribe. So it's like... I don't know. I don't know. I think my solution will still be to take little intentional breaks and run ads. Um, I've been forgetting to do that lately. But I don't want to run, like, auto ads. Next patch is going to drop a lot of new plots because of the new wards and the auto house deletion coming back. So save up, people! Yep. January it's supposed to drop, right? January 10th? Question mark? She tries to stop what she's doing when ads are running. She wants her chat to let her know. <gasps> it's so hard because unless you're like, unless you have a browser open with the creator dashboard, you don't really know when your ads are running. In OBS, nothing tells me if I have ads going. I guess I could dock. I think I could dock the ads manager. It's, it's just not something I want to deal with currently. I like Zeppelin herself, but her mods are, they're mean. Even had to send her a formal complaint about how hostile they were. I wonder why that is. My mods are cheeky. I really like my mods. I hope they don't come across as mean to anyone. Because <laughs> my mods playfully bully me and I playfully bully them. If you do ads too, try and do a few longer ad breaks at certain intervals to get rid of pre-roll ads, yes. Yeah, I, basically, the reason why I haven't started auto ads is because I don't want to... I don't want to have to stop because I'm... I barely take breaks, right? It's hard for me to take breaks because I'm usually doing something and I'm loving the flow of it. Um, and having automatic ads means I would have to constantly take breaks. I'm not in love with the idea. We'll figure it out. Imagine not having a three PC setup for your stream. Like, preach! God, I wish! God, I wish. Even a two PC setup. So Christmas. Hi, Belk. So Krimbus. Merry Chrysler. I have Nitro or Turbo or whatever it's called because you watch Twitch a lot. It's such a good pickup if you watch a lot of channels, but you can't support all the channels that you watch because it's expensive to subscribe to everybody. I totally get it. Pre-roll ads can deter a lot of new viewers too, but that's a talk outside of stream. Yes. Yes, 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 definitely. And if you run auto ads, it can get rid of pre-rolls. The one thing I've seen in the conversation of ads is that people would rather, like yes, pre-rolls deter people, but they would rather sit through a pre-roll than have to deal with like three minutes of ads, like every fucking 40 minutes. Me, cause Bell revenge time me out a while back, cause someone named Prey referenced that Full Metal Alchemist episode. <laughs> There's one D2 guy that stays on top of running ads manually so it's much less intrusive. I think I think that's the route I should go for. I think I should go for scheduling my own breaks with my own ads at my own hand. That way you guys don't lose any content. We got one slot! One little slot! Big brother, Ed pray get out. Edward, pray get the fuck out. The one time a mod timed me out for trying to time someone else out. Okay, but Jolly, you're you're you've been a regular here for at least a year. You, the, the mods they have free reign of you. I'm sorry, <laughs> and you know that it's with love. It's because they trust you. 
Imagine if the dog used the hyper anime voice on eat. I would hate that. Where's the timeout redeem? I actually killed it. I don't know if I want to bring it back. I might bring it back. I might bring it back. Uh, I killed it when I... This Namazu outfit is so fucking cute. Um, I killed it when I changed all my redeems so I could do this. Um, but I could add them back. <laughs> Prey needs it for that. <laughs> is my Christmas version of Namazu? Yes, yes. It's so cute. I spelt my my thing wrong. I said redeems off, not redeems off. Anyways, the point is I can turn all my redeems off on a whim and turn them back on on a whim. Now, Vel, if only you were done Stormblood, Valora. If only you were currently finished with Stormblood. Oh, I jumped over the railing. If you were currently finished with Stormblood, you could be doing this with us right now. Did you know that? Miss Dancy Bee's Knees over here. Bee's Knees looking ass. Isn't there some main story uh, that should be getting done right now in this very moment? <laughs> Why are you picking on me? I just wanted to hang out. <laughs> no, you're okay. <laughs> Redee's nuts. Oh my God, get out. Um, uh, slash unmod, slash ban, slash everything. What's up, Reed D's? Oh, I hate you guys. Why are you like this? Let's do it. While we're waiting for one person to join from Party Finder, take me to the Kugane jumping puzzle. Let's go. We'll all do it together. Uh, hello? There's a bunny boy over here? There's a bunny over here? I almost spit out my water. I almost spit out my water. I love them. I love them. <laughs> Is this the jumping puzzle? Let's go! Oh wait, we have a full thing. All right, cue us up to free us from this nightmare. Somebody's already fallen. Huh. No! <laughs> All right, anyways, let's play the game. <laughs> I felt the second jump. Oh man. And if you fall, you have to climb your ass. Oh, this is horrible. It's like the run of shame to get back up to the jump puzzle. Are our teams built up correctly? Yes, they are. Everything's good. Jolly, put us in. Put us into our boner monasty. Love the Kugane jumping puzzle. Also love skipping it, cause Blue Mage. I think that's why Valora wants to level Blue Mage. Oh my god, I suck at this. This is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? You can skip his blue mage? You, uh, you kamikaze bomb yourself, and then somebody reses you on top. Which is why we are doing a ban on res skipping for Terra during jumpy puzzles. Yep, nobody res me up. Look how many people are Christmas holiday glam. This is the cutest raid ever. This is the cutest raid ever? <laughs> Hang on, I love this. Forget how much you love this music, it's comfy. If Terra learn, uh, looks for a res, we res him lower. Ah, <laughs> uh, whoops, I pulled aggro. Ah, uh, whoop, jump scare. Help! Your holiday glam was on Sag. Uh, so you better get good and not grieve. <laughs> Whoa! Um, I didn't have Holiday Glam on, on Red Mage. I just quickly applied it. Come on, 
Omnastic Ghost. Just to say, we'll be doing pictures at the end of the raid. Yes, yes, we will be doing pictures at the end of the raid. So hang around if you want to be part of big group photo. It's kind of our standard now. If you do content with me, there's a very, very high chance that I want to take a picture at the end. Man, y'all have the saint's robe, it's so cute. Look at how cute I could be. Although I wouldn't wear the hat. I could have been so cute. Alas. Alas. Such is life. Only the name of these ruins lives on with my people. We have no knowledge of their past, nor do we wish it. Trespass into the monastery is avoided except when necessary. I imagine this is what it's like to be swallowed by a marble, Koopo. Mumblock is so cute. You're so hot. Wait, you're still doing the Kugane jump puzzle, Vel? What if you complete it? My name is Mustadio Bonanza, and all paths lead through me. Mustardio? Watch this, watching. Left, okay, oh shit, okay. We're gonna have left and right attacks. Right, yep, yeah, there it is. Hang on, maybe louder BGM. Let's do BGM 90. Oh, that's not how you spell BGM. Ah. Uh, oh. I don't know what this means. Oh, oh, oh! That's what it means. <laughs> hey, I'm really good at that usually. Oh! I'm dead again. I'm dead again. It's over. Oh no, just just a bone stack. It's okay, I collect those. I collect those bone stacks. I don't know what those bombs are all about. Oh okay. Explosions. That checks out. Maintenance. See people slowly moving away. It's giving me anxiety. Gotta show them your whole terror. <laughs> Why are you guys like this? <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. We're fine. Oh, those two are not fine. 
Oh, we have someone dead. Oh, they got the guys. Because it's Saturday? Fair Lav. Also, Lav, when did you get here? Um, we stand. We stand here. We stand here. If I understand these attacks, I stand here. Oh, I understood. What a learning gamer I am. You guys should be proud of me. Forgot it was Saturday somehow. Maybe because I don't usually stream 14 on Saturday. I'm sure you base all of your life's knowledge around my stream schedule. No, I'm kidding. Like 10 minutes ago, but was looking grab all your drinks. Lava, love you. Hope your day's been awesome. We do Terra, don't lie. Wait, you stream other things before time? <laughs> Sweetly. <laughs> Listen here, you. Listen here, you. Oh, that melee is gonna hurt everyone. Oh no, we're okay. Why am I oom? Why did I go oom? Okay, I'm showing my hole. I think. Okay, I did it. I showed hole. Whew. You base your knowledge off of the 14 weekly and daily resets? Fair. New weeks are Tuesdays and the day starts at 3 p.m. GMT. Fair, honestly. Understandable. Oh no, I wasn't looking at the abilities! <laughs> Ouch! I need to bring the cast bar down into middle screen. Like I've been saying for a very long time. Just right in the middle, obnoxiously and 200% size. Nice, that was fun. Not many deaths either. Wait, the dude's soul was trapped or something. You moved everything down because you can't hyper focus on your bars. That's me. Evolution Oracle shoes. I'm always looking for shoes that look good on <laughs> little clown shoes. Wait, are they diable? Ah, uh, they're not. I'll greet them anyways. I don't know what this is. A little hair dangly? Yeah, a little hair dangly. Whatever, we greet those. We greet those! Gonna have to watch VOD tomorrow. Love this raid, but fa have family din din. Boo earns. See you, Golsif. Enjoy din din. The Beowulf youth guides your fate, but have you the faith to fulfill his legacy? I'm gonna try. Whoa. God, I love blue and gold together. Blue and gold? Gorgeous. I love this design. Agrius. Agrius, my beloved. I love this design. Oh, I should angle my camera. There we go. Is it black and blue or gold and white? Shut the hell up, Ray! Ray, are you home? What are you what are you doing memeing on me? God, fuck that dress, dude. Dab! Nice markers. We got the dab. Uh, those seem important. People are moving to them. To the current of life we succumb. It's judgment swift and final. It's bite as cold as steel. 
with the ethereal shield defend against frontal attacks. Whoops! Something tells me I was meant to use my uh, ability there. I think I was supposed to shield right before that attack came out. I feel crappy, bodies are numb. Oh no, sweet lane! Did you remember your meds? happening <laughs> raise your swords against the coming night oh 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 we use our ability yeah nice very cool Get it! Get its ass! I'm very glad that I key bound the duty action. Nice. Fair needs gold chain, Roger. Woo! This isn't fair! I'm collecting Volden stacks right now. Thank you for heals. Oh shit, I just emboldened. I did it too late. I did it too late. I'm still collecting bold stacks. <laughs> I wanted to greed because Embolden was up. That's my fault. That's my bad. The dreams of men are fleeting, yet they must be embraced if they it's are. It's just to three flourish. stacks. Have you the faith to do as much? I'm scared. Oh, I think we're supposed to kill these? And then use the shield at the end? Oh, we're supposed to use that? Oh my god, I understand. I don't know if this shield is going to work for me. It worked. Wait, do you not use the sword ability? I'm so confused. Oh no. With my Voln stack still up, I think this is gonna kill me. This raid wide. I'm dead! <laughs> At least the count would be proud. Three Voln stacks! Uh, uh, uh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I didn't die. Hoggers! I saw a massive, I think, Sage Shield on us. Play praise that shield. Okay, I'm not being greedy. There we go, I'm learning. I'm learning from my past behavior. From my toxic Volnstack collecting behavior. Ruination is come! On guard. You bitch. Oh, only some people get yoinked, huh? It's not everyone. 
shadows cast, seven fates foretold. Yet at the end of the broken path lies death and death alone. Okay, dramatic. Unga, I mean Unga. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna eat that AoE. That's okay, it doesn't do that much. Well fought, champion. Is this minimum item level? I leave you now to your quest. My Ovelia awaits. Should I be speaking confidently, or are you guys just very good? You guys might just be very good. Evolution Sky Pirates Plunder? Wait. Th these are- these are nothing. Oh, it was slightly nerfed. Where Boner has the distinction of having multiple bosses who speak exclusively in LB3 macros. Whoa! Gonna go out on a limb and guess this place is. Oh shit, I couldn't read that all. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess this place is. I can't read! Their, their little thing is going too far! Can you not feel it? An evil lurks here, one far beyond Dark Ken. It's Elden Ring, literally. Oh my god, the gay rings. But they don't even show up, the gay rings. Or do they? <gasps> they do show up! Greed. I didn't know they showed up. Eh, hands. Why not? You ready to burn Kugane to the ground? What? Who hurt you, Val? Someone come step on this! Thank you. Ouch, that hurt. Chronomancer safety. Oh, from Guild Wars 2, Chronomancer for jumping puzzles? Honestly, so good. Because of just being able to warp back after failing a jump. Obviously, the tower hurt. Oh, right! Mel's still doing the Kugane jumping puzzle! I forgot. That, that was the thing that Bell was doing. Nice. I've heard that can help Bell if you're not doing that already. Targeting yourself to see your hitbox. Hey, welcome in by the way. Thanks for the follow. Your coming was foretold, servant of Ivalice. Who? Or perhaps you serve another. I am Count Sidolphus Orlando. Your journey ends here. Orlando Bloom, it's such an honor to meet you! Uh, hi, bestie. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Jesus. What a crazy design! Okay, see shit, Kevin. You're dead, Bell. 
Dude, this is sick. I feel like all the other bosses were just a warm up for whatever this is gonna be. We're dead. We're dead. <sighs> Been loving your reactions on YouTube. Have fun with this fight. Hey, happy to have you. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm frightened. His dialogue, his dialogue lines go so hard. I'm ready. <gasps> I got the gay rings. I'm so happy. I got the gay rings. I can work these in somewhere. <laughs> the hearts of men are black with corruption and must needs be cleansed. Thunder God did nothing wrong. Orlando Bloom, the Thunder God did nothing wrong. There, I said it. Oh, I'm doomed. I'm still doomed. It's gone. Okay. I call out to the skies and tremble as the brilliance of a thousand bolts blinds my enemies and tears their flesh asunder. Oh no, I don't know how they could know which circles were getting attacked there. Yet at the end of the broken path lies death and death alone. I'm just following the crowd. It's the safest strategy here. Oh no, what is that? Oh, it's gone, okay. Misfortune it's not gone, it's growing. On a head once held high. Such is poor cover for when the heavens fall. Come, show me more. There's a lot going on here. Oh, I think I see how it's telegraphed. His swords literally hover over the circles that he's gonna hit. It's judgment swift and final. It's bite as cold I'm getting it. These are cool telegraphs. That's really cool. To live by the sword is to die by the sword. There is time enough for regret in the flames of hell. Bro, not the flames of hell. Hold is the blade that severs the villain's head. Endless is the path that leads him from hell. Okay, but tell me why he's literally monologuing this whole time. <laughs> uh oh! What the? F oh, 10 seconds to embolden. I'll just start my melee combo anyways. Oh God. We're good. Told you, Terry, he speaks exclusively in LB3 macros. It's so cool. Oh my god! The AoEs! It's okay! Holy Jesus. God. Help! Now the scales will take you. I'm gonna sleep, have fun raiding MSQ! Diod, thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate you. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh oh, he's gotta go over to their spot.
Escape is not so easily granted. And now the scales will dip. The Thunder God just likes to roleplay. I'm not going to shame him for that. Were you expecting a modicum of rust? You will find my defenses quite impenetrable. I don't know, we got you down to 46%. Seems pretty penetrable, if you're asking me. A piteous display. Oh shit, I almost walked into that one. They who dwell aloft have spoken. Let their words echo in your empty soul. Ruination is come. Everyone's good. Everyone's fine. His tail now has a sword of its own. Oh my god. Even the strongest of shields cannot defend the weakest of wills. A moment's hesitation beckons the nation is come again. Of pain. Someone else had to... I got that mechanic. I understood what was happening, but then nobody else took it from me. You have to take turns intercepting that projectile. That's cool. I saw two people do it, and I was like, oh, I see. Oh, boy. But then you just left me to die, you cowards! You will find my defenses quite impenetrable. Oh, shoot. Hark! The screams of ruin rise above the storm's discord. Shut discord. Not in her endless cold. Exclamation mark discord. <laughs> oh no, we're separated, friends. I miss you. You guys are so far away. <laughs> Ray, thank you. <laughs> that mechanic actually comes back in Titania Extreme. The, the sharing the tether. Or not quite a tether, but like the, the aimed ability. Come show me more. Escape is not so easily granted. Were you expecting a modicum? The clouds have parted, and the skies clear. That wasn't the last boss. This time I bid you farewell. farewell. How was that not the last boss? What do you mean? <gasps> what? Oh my god. Evolution's mystic coat? Oh, that's kind of cute! I'm gonna take that. Smiley face. <laughs> How was that not the last boss? We evilies, yes, we evilies, dude. Oh, Terra, sweet summer child. Is it sanctum you seek Sri Lakshmi? Your your children? Or perhaps you are come in search of power. Rest your souls in my weary that bosom. No, rest your, rest your weary souls your in my bosom. That blessed Borgo can grant you both. You need but when it's so. Oh, we dark souls now. Oh! Take up your salvation and be gone. Mother? 
Mortal agency in matters divine shall not be. Her weary bosom. <laughs> this is a cool design. Instead of Spider Lady, it's literally Crystal Lady. Uh, we just greet these. We just greet these. Worst case, I'll sell them. There's a very expressive statue of her. It looks sick. <gasps> Fran, wish me luck. Let's go, Jolly. Whoop. Ultima, the High Seraph. Even her name is Dark Souls. What a cool design, dude. Somebody's in love over there. <laughs> Do not look until after raid. Okay. No, her titty tired. You're right. Her, her titty tired of wiping sprouts, soon. Honestly, she lags me. All right, I'm gonna actually like proper raid pull on the five second mark. I'm gonna have Earth Thunder. Ha! You shall the day you raised your Oh no, both of them rocked at once. I hate it here. No, I'm melee comboing, you bitch. Get me back in there. Uh oh, sorry melees. I'm sorry that I am the way that I am. The stupid red mage had to get in. Just had to get in. Ruin it for the rest of the melees. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? I'm sure that's not important. I'm sure that's not important either. Oh, I understand. We've seen this mechanic before. We saw this in Holminster Switch, I want to say. Only the highest of serves. Also doing MSQ. So fast to level a side quest, especially if you have road to 80. It's actually insane. Malak as well, thank you, not Holminster. I'm just gonna sit right where I am. Ouch, dude. I'm being bullied. Denizens of the abyss, from ink of black is night, I summon. Bro, I still don't understand this mechanic. How do you tell which one's gonna blow first? Denizens of the abyss. Because they used that mechanic before and I had no idea. Fast clocks. Oh, hidden! You, you absolute beautiful being you. That makes so much sense. Oh boy. Yo, Jimbo, that you? Yo! Wasted magnification. Embarrassing. I see it now. Oh my God. Various gods, help! <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna selfishly heal myself so I can res all those dead people. All right, I did my job. I think I threw out three Ready reses. You have a res. You have a res. Okay, good. She weaves her foul magics. Sooner 
is the light of life before rising to the heavens in a cleansing conflagration of divine benevolence. What? Your sins, your souls are undone. All those words were too big for my one brain cell. Same. You will not intervene. Oh no, she's got a mussy. A mouth. She's got a mouth down below. Is vagina dentata? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the way that I. <laughs> My soul. <laughs> Why am I like this? You just have to kill a huge spider? Yeah, well, we're dealing with vagina dentata over here, so I think we have it worse. You are my son. Holy fuck, random. 24 months! Random, I love you so dearly. Thank you for the 24 months of Primer, you beautiful soul. I hope life's treating you well. Now is not the time to stay our blades! Get it, Ramza! Bitrate simulator. I'm probably like three pixels for you right now. We are simulating bitrates. That was very anime. Few can claim to have endured Ew, the she's like nightmare. undulating on the bottom. Uh, what is this spindly hand tail? I don't like this design anymore. I changed my mind about this design. What the? You can't just move your AoEs. Actually held rather well somehow. Really? I'm shocked. Okay, we got this mechanic again. So far, this is safe. Yeah, this is. She moved them again. Who hurt you? Leave your AOEs in their place. There's little pathways forming? What are these? Denizens of Blackest Night, perhaps? People are anime blocking angels? Why are people anime blocking angels? <laughs> Interesting. There's a reason her entire lower half was sealed in crystal? Because it's vile? Because it's disgusting? That is happening to people. They're exploding. Quit exploding, you cowards! That's cool. I've never seen that kind of mechanic before. Actually, there's a there's a lie. That one in the Fua in Ilmeg kind of has like a little little path walking moment. Body shaming the Eldritch Horror. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. She didn't ask to be born this way. How is this summoner alive? Good lord.
Our boner to pick. I am your mother. I am your maker. I am Ivalice. Consign me unto darkness and your light will be forever. So was she like forbidden Hydaelyn? Because she was also Crystal and claims to be our mother. Literally forbidden Hydaelyn with that mussy. Oh no, he's Lua. Oh no. <laughs> we did it! The Orboner mo, mo nasty complete. Hide the evil. Gather round. It's photo time. Oh, also loot. I'm just gonna greedily need on all the cards so I can the photo and the mini and the these and then and then greed everything else. What is this? Oh, that's cute. That hat. Okay, 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 let me get a little centralized here so I can get everyone in. I wanna also, I wanna, I wanna cheer jump. Huh. Actually, I wanna sit. I wanna be a little sit in Lala. Yeah. I wanna make sure I have everyone in frame. Pick a spot! Pick his butt! Look how cute. Look how cute everyone is. The most cutest of Krimbus photos. I should G-pose, but I'm just... I I'll trust one of you guys took us into G-pose. To actually get everyone in a good uh, positional. Krimbus! You got it? Coco, love you. So Agrius, Mustadio, and Thunder God Sid, the first three bosses of this raid were major characters and tactics. I assumed they were some some people of import, which is why I was trying to look at them when they were like turning back into people. And Ultima was the final boss. Cool. I'm three minutes late now, but worth it! Worth it, Stellar! We did it! Not a single wipe either. It got a little a little hairy there when I think like seven or eight people died. But then we were good. Gotta dip fast, but thank you so much for letting me join. Thanks for coming, Stellar. Thanks for coming. All right, let's go. Let's go. That's the single smoothest run I've seen of our boner. I mean, we got gamers in here. We got gamers in here. <laughs> look at them all. And if you look back at the, to the midpoint of the ultimate fight, you can see Mustard, Agrius, and Giga Chad killing the three Espers. Yes, when they all floated at her, right? And then Ramza broke her final defenses or something like that. It was hard to follow. There was a lot of flashing. It was a whole full party worth of dead people died. Yeah. That boss rush is always hectic. I've seen a lot of wipes on that bit. But we're gamers. We gamers out here. The third boss, Thunder God, was rough on launch. A lot of groups disbanded after multiple... Oh, that's such a bummer, Alex. Easy game, easy life. It's actually a checkpoint once you beat the DPS check. The final boss is actually a door boss. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Ray! <laughs> Ramza blew off her protective vagina crystal. <laughs> <laughs> While you're not wrong, I hate that you said it. <sighs> All right, let's close off the Ivalice story and then I'm going to take a little break and then we're going to do Ivalice. Oh, not evil. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Then we're gonna do 5.2. 5.2 MSQ. So if you are not 5.2 or beyond in MSQ, you might wanna like hard lurk. Click some portal to end duty. I will literally always do it, Pim. He's awake, Koopo. But is it truly him? Let's see what kind of personality he has. After you get sucked through a, a void portal, I feel like you have a hard time being an ass. Thank you. Thank you for all, uh, thank you all for coming to my aid. Hmm. 
I'm so mad at this puzzle. Smadge, I quit. <laughs> I failed so much I was speedrunning parts of it. Oh, no, Vel. Tara, I think he's going to get to 5.3 today. I don't think we'll reach 5.3 today. I think we're thinking Thursday or Friday next week we'll hit 5.3. Friday, I think, is the best day to thanks commit to the it. Orb fun, fun, astri, lulu, lulu, lulu. Demi, thanks for coming. <laughs> and thank you for the biddies. And you have my thanks, noble warrior of light. You've achieved what I could not. Ramza, my beloved. And you, bearer of my blood and the blood of House Durai, thank you for seeing my final wish fulfilled. Hey, the other gamers. Also, why this man is looking like Sid with that with that white beard? My sacrifice has finally been given meaning. Jacobos and other gamers. Look at all these characters I don't know. But if you play tactics, you're probably a little emotional right now. Man's is a Sid? That is Sid? That's the Final Fantasy Tactics Sid? Dude, Sid has one look. Now, my friends, let us retire to Mother Heidelin's bosom that we may finally rest. To the bosom! That's my plan, G. That's why I think we're gonna commit to it on Friday to finish 5.3. Never look up Elevensid. Elevensid isn't real, he can't hurt me. Farewell. You are true. Uh, you are the true heroes of this story. Delita, how I have missed you, old friend. Forgive me, Ramza. You deserved better than what history gave you. I I could have done more. I'm truly sorry. These countless centuries did I long for the day that we might meet once again. And now that time has finally come. Heidelin beckons us both. Delita's reunited with his favorite top! Love to see it. And now they can rest their weary souls in Heidelin's weary bosom. Weary. Some are uh, generic class appearances, like the Black Mage and White Mage. Some of them are unique tactics characters, like the two in the white. I assume the twins as well. Remember, Crimbus is next weekend, right. Right. Next weekend's schedule might be wonky. I'll figure it out. We'll find a good day to commit to 5.3. Bosom? Her wussy? No, stop. Ter, are you calling Heidelin saggy? Listen. I ain't never seen no perky Heidelin, that's all I'm saying. The random looking NPCs are supposed to be the starting party. I see. Players eventually remove them for notable characters. That's dedication to detail. Dude, Final Fantasy is nothing if not devoted to the small details. I'm so sorry, Ramza. Alma, I convinced myself my research was f the most important thing in my life. All the while, you two were standing before me. Can you find it in your hearts to forgive your father? It's all right. We're still here, are we not? And we triumphed. We proved your theory true. Ivelisse existed. Ramza existed. And Oran Durai was not a heretic, but a hero. Now all that remains is to tell the world. No, my son. We needn't burden ourselves further. But father, we cannot allow our ancestor's name to remain... 
and we will not, yet simply not in the manner you think. I shall be adding a final act to the Zodiac Brave, telling of how Ramza, the forgotten hero, and his chronicler, Orandurai, smote the Angel of Blood and saved Ivalice from the Age of Darkness, before quietly embarking on a final journey that would take them far beyond the horizon. And of course, I shall not leave out those nameless heroes who fought alongside Ramza, without whom the young noble would have surely perished. Is that what you truly want, Father? For the story to end? It will only end on the stage, my dear, and live on in the hearts of the crowd. King Delita and Oran envisioned the Virgo as a beacon which would lead future generations to the truth about the founding of their kingdom. They were right, and just as the pendants guided us, now we shall guide the masses through our play. And now you see, my son. This is nice. This is a nice family moment. I would offer you my thanks again, sir, but thanks are not nearly enough to express my gratitude for all you have given us. Perhaps after I complete the Zodiac Brave story, I shall pen a tale about a legendary warrior of light and his ventures across the great continents. Then you'll have your work cut out for you, my friend. Sir has enough battles under his belt to fill at least three tomes, if not four. Wait, three tomes? Three expansions? I mean, base game expansion expansion. If not four? Teasing Shadowbringer. Would you stop doing that, Sid? And his tale is far from over, isn't it? Ramza's no longer a shit eater. Honestly, the res revolution I needed. Revolution. Resolution I needed for this story. Also, the way that Genomus is talking about ending the play follows how tactics ended. That's cute. All right, this is our final dress rehearsal for the night. Make it count. Positions, everyone. Seat belts, everyone. Yes, principal. Lights, music. There'll be no mistake from you two, am I clear? Tara, won't you please play Roomba First Blood? What is Roomba First Blood? Is it literally a Roomba game? Yes, chef. Mother crystal clear, Koopo. They're going to perform the new final act. Begin! Oh, there's, there's, we shall embark on a journey, a journey together. I didn't see the white text. Together? Together. The crystal's call has been answered, an evil vanquished from the land. We are now free to ro soar like the griffin. Free? But how? By casting off our noble names and forging a new path. One not bound by fate. And on that path, we shall meet new friends and make a new family. And, oh, read that one. And unto them we shall entrust the true tale of our deeds, that they may carry on our legacy for all eternity. Sword in hand, a warrior clutches stone to breast. In sword etched, he his fading memories. In stone, he tempered his skill. By sword attested, by stone revealed. Their tale can now be told. Boom. My tactics feels on. Bravo! Bravo! You both were wonderful! I don't really get it. But it, it seems nice. I'm inclined to agree with the Lady Mew 
sentiments, but there is always room for improvement. Back to your positions, everyone. Again from the top. Again? I've had enough of this. I was promised a starring role, Koopo. It's in my contract. Oh, hush, brother. Before Genomus has us back to polishing boot buckles again. I love the silent laughing. Every time I see the silent laughing, I just hear the Titus laugh. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, so the Roomba game is a comedy top down stealth action game. You play, oh god, the Titus laugh. You play a Roomba that must defend his home from burglars by way of murder, trying to steal the Crimbus peasants. Meanwhile, in the clockwork city of Goog, Gog, Gouge, Bef clean the mess before your family gets home. Sweetling, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. Tara, why you imprint this image on my mind? I'm sorry. If I have to suffer through it, so must you. Why is there a meanwhile in our resolution here? And what are the Garleans doing? Sir! No salute? Really? Wow, disrespectful. Demoted. Well. Sir, further research will be required to reach a positive conclusion, but preliminary tests show that the technology utilized here bears striking similarities to our own. Excellent. Let the Eorzeans play with their baubles. True power lies in these very walls. It appears our ancestors were as cunning as they were ruthless. Hello? 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 What's going on? Hello? A weapon powerful enough to carve a gateway to the land's very core. His radiance will be eager to test this Tartarus. Wouldn't you agree? That's a spy? They're very inconspicuous. Did they fucking take the math bot? Did they take the math bot? I'm done. I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. Don't make me do any more math video game. Okay? Uh, smiley face. I'm done with this game. I'm over it. I always knew math would destroy the world. <laughs> Truly. I did now. Ma I did math once. Now I'm hooked on phonics. I'm proud of you. Wow, wasn't that an adventure, sir? It's sad to think we must soon part ways. What with all all we've been through these past few moons, satisfied with the city's unwillingness to turn him over to the Garleans, Genomus has decided to purchase a permanent berth above Kugane for the Prima Vista. Supposedly, he has already received petitions from hundreds of ge Geiko and Gaining to join the company. Uh, and there, uh, then there is the matter of my assignment. You'll be delighted to learn that I am almost finished. What? How do you expect one to write an, an expose while off-battling forces of evil from beyond the void? Don't you worry, though. A few more weeks and I'll have a draft. All right. Uh, an outline. Until then, I'll stay here in Kugane a while longer. At the Raven's expense, of course. Farewell. Bye, Lena. Your head, completely empty. Not a single thought behind your eyes. But you were good comedy relief for this quest line. Love you, Lena. Bye. I missed the follow-up. Um, then there's a follow-up. <laughs> 90 CV Universe. What the hell is this game? This is like an indie game, right, Sweeling? That's wild. Literally murderous Roomba, the video game. Congrats, Tara. You can now unlock the Boz Bozia quest line. Right. Hi, Rando. Oh my god, those glasses on Meteor are so cute. 
Meteor deserves glasses. Yeah, yeah, it's just dumb fun, got it. It sounds, to me, it sounds like Octodad, but like more murderous. Not the spectacles adjusted. Okay, shall we take a little break, get out of our Christmas glam, because we're doing serious quests. Um, shall we take a little break and do a little bit of 5.2 as a treat? A little crumb of MSQ, could it be? You guys have been behaving well. I think you deserve it. I think you deserve one crumb of MSQ. Rando cute. I love that mask. Is that from the same dungeon? Koku Komen. Koku Komen. That is so cute. I want it. Thought you were gonna say Kugane Tower? God, no. Very easy to get? Nice. Love to hear it. I hug Lulu before I go. Thanks for coming, you guys! Wait, were you in were you in the group? I don't recognize this cat girl. She's cute though. Oh she cute though. 1k wolf marks? I think I literally have those. Yeah, I have 6k. So super. Ah! I give hug. <laughs> oh, it's such a cute cat girl! Dude, y'all need to stop having cute as fuck adventure plates. Except for you, Rando. You're banned. You're banned from adventure plate viewing. You're banned. Let's get the mask first so you don't forget. I'll, I'll do it later, Jolly. I like doing my glam stuff off stream. Except for that one time we did a Christmas time. <laughs> I need to take a little break because I have to run refill my water, uh, take a little bio break, and then we will dive into old enemies, new threats. No water. You even put your long hair back on, but the plate stays the same. Literally monstrous. Give me the exacts for it. Can you DM me it, Jolly? So that way I can remember my own time. Cause that'd be nice. Do. We are looking respectfully at Bun Boy over there. Very respectfully. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go to Mordona, so I'm not confused when I come back. It'll be like a I don't know three to five minute break. I'll run some ads. You won't miss anything because we'll be on BRB. Um, and then 5.2 awaits us. 5.2 awaits. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everyone says 5.3 is where the damage really shows up, so. Again, final warning if you're not there, head into Hard Lurk, because it'll be full spoilers when we come back for Shadow Breakers. Terror hitting on my hubby? I would never. I would never. I respect. I respect. This is why I look respectfully at everyone, because I don't know. I don't know their situation. I give Rando one hug before I go. I give Snowman one hug before I go. I've been eaten by the snowman. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Again, there'll be an ad if you're not subbed. Don't worry about it. You're not missing anything important. Bye, I love you. See you once again. Daddy Bing Bong stepped on me. Ooh. Hey. I'm hooked on murder. Do, 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 do. Bang and boom. Do, 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 do. I am killing you. Sorry, I'm done talking. <laughs> Somebody cancel me. Oh, the spikes canceled me. All right, we're good. All right. Oh, look at this future artist right here. Bob's burger looking ass. Ew, no, 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 uh-uh, no, thank you. I'm just gonna. Now key is win. Yes. No. Yes. No? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a struggle. <laughs> yeah, key is win. Can mine with your GPU? <gasps> I, for I forgot. I forgot it could be anything. I forgot it could be anything. <laughs> I'm facing the fence. 
fuck you all. I hate. Wait, I'm just like in full farmer's outfit on the girl's side where they're all wearing dresses. You're literally facing the face. <laughs> I want none of this. <laughs> you all snubbed me. This town can screw off. <laughs> Holy shit. And fall in love with Donald. Donald not healing you? You're on 1 HP and Donald is like fucking z lightning spell and then he heals himself while he's at like 75% Fuck you Donald. Fucking heal me. I'm dying. I'm dying Donald. Cast your heal magic on me you fucking duck. Sorry. Sorry. Let's go to the beach each. Ninky Minjaj. Thought I was dead. Hi. Bambies! What the fuck? What the fuck? Imagine paying for college. Couldn't be me. I didn't do any secondary education. Oh! This is what happens if you don't have secondary education, okay? This shit, this shit right here. <laughs> How could you do this to me? <laughs> Question mark. Forward. Residence? Almost like a resident evil. There's a cock in here. Dominique cock, no less. <laughs> no, 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 blank, blank pleasurable way. Hey, that happens. At other <laughs> Wait. I hate this so much. What if I don't? Will he just heck and kill me? Yep. <laughs> Hook me up with them. No! No! Him again? No! no! I'm killing the fish. Oh! Okay. I'm back. I have new water. I am currently on dancer. I figure because it's level 80. And my reg, reg mage, my red mage is level 83. I should probably spread out the experience a little bit. I can play monk or dancer. Nah, I want to play dancer. Dance her tits. Reg, reg mage. Um, at some point I want to come back and do the capstone quests. I have a capstone quest for red mage right there. Capstone quest for gunbreaker right there. I wonder where dancers. Oh no, I did dancers already. Right, 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 right. Boom, boom, boom. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Um, so where was it in Mordona? Oh, in the Rising Stones itself. Yes, on Discord, Jolly, please. Oh. <sighs> okay. Oh, Coltonet! Where's Hori Boulder? Hi, buddy. How you doing? With Riol now out in the field, I was asked to return to make up for his absence. Alas, Hori and the others were unable to accompany me. Ah, It was good to see you, buddy. I don't know really, like, what you're doing here, but, like, at least you're here. The B team is out there living their best life. We love to see it. <gasps> Wait. We've learned about Ciela, right? I think we might have already checked. Uk 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 uki uki man. Did we already check you for new dialogue? We love and support the B team, we really do. No, no new dialogue. Okay. I'll be back for you! You're my superstar. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Fresh organic primer? We love to see it. Thank you so much for that. After 5.3, we'll check again. Okay. Oh. 
Old enemies, new threats. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Sir, my, what a pleasant surprise. If you've come to inquire after the I icons, archons, fear not. Master Matoya's treatment has proven effective in stabilizing their corporeal ether. We mustn't grow complacent, however. Potent though these magics may be, they are not without limits. We can only hope they afford us enough time for the Crystal Exarch to complete his work. If only we could go with you to the first and help. Pardon the interruption, but I come bearing urgent news. I was just thinking about you! Maxima! Ah, sir, it's been far too long, my friend. Indeed it has. Forgive me, I don't believe we've been formally introduced. Maxima, former Garlean ambassador. I remain here in Eorzea under the aus auspices of Commander Alden, offering what counsel, counsel I can in the hopes of resolving the present conflict with the Empire. Ah, yes, I've heard stories of a defector from Garlemald, but never mind that. You said you have urgent news. Indeed, as you may have heard, the Imperial City, uh, the Imperial Capital is in turmoil, and a sizable portion of the Garlean forces have been recalled from the Gimlet Dark. With their numbers so greatly diminished, the main host of the Alliance has withdrawn, leaving the Alamegan resistance to keep watch over the border. And it is there we have welcomed a most unexpected visitor who claims that this de-escalation may belie growing dangers and unforeseen threats. Commander Alden has arranged for an impromptu meeting to discuss these revelations. He has also requested a representative of the Scions attend as well, though it was clear to whom he wished to extend his invitation. It would seem the time is of the essence. Well, you'll not be attending this meeting alone. Though I am not as well versed in the affairs of the city-states as our comrades, I see no reason to burden a single scion with all this. Yes, of course. Then we must make for the Alamegan Quarter with all haste. Jolly, ideally, Vel won't be checking chat right now. Oh, shit, Vel's checking chat. Vel, get out of here! Spoilers! Spoilers! 1.5? It's okay, I have 5k. Well, what are you waiting for? Get going, you two. Also, I don't want to wear fancy glam. I thought I wanted to wear fancy glam, but I don't. I want to wear my little, this one. My pseudo tribal glam, until I can get better pieces for it. Achieve what I could not. <laughs> Did you even go through it with the blue mage strat, Side Fury? I forgot about Starlight Steed. Someone carried my dead body up there. <laughs> Bless their heart. Commander Alden awaits us within the Royal Palace if you follow me. You cheated with your mar with your wedding ring? Unbelievable. Jolly, you're banned. How dare you say that as somebody actively suffers through the Kugane jumping puzzle. <gasps> Guys. Hi, bud. They're here, Commander. And I, for one, am grateful that they are. Told you've been busy since our paths last crossed at the Gimlet Dark. Not that I understand half of it. When the science spoke of other worlds, I'd struggled to describe what I pictured. Mayhap things would seem clearer were I to hear the tale from your own lips. But I'm afraid the situation will not afford us that luxury. I trust you two require no introduction. We meet again, hero of Eorzea. What's up, bud? How you doing? Glad to see you're not dead. Must we repeat this ridiculous display? I pose no threat to you, though what I come to warn you of very well might. Had he meant to do us harm, I hazard he would have kept to the shadows and brought more than two companions. Yeah. 
We need not pretend to be the best of friends, but I hope we can put aside our differences for the present. Full glad am I that you are not dead, so I can ensure the axe is done properly! As you are doubtless aware, Sir Estinian and I cooperated to rid the world of Black Rose in your absence. Yeah, did a mighty fine job. Our journey together took us as far as the Imperial Palace, where we witnessed Emperor Varus meet his death at Xenos's hand. Sure did. Being the sole witnesses to this crime, and in no position to defend our innocence, we were then forced to flee, each pursuing his own avenue of I, escape. Dude, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. When we were later reunited, Estinian claimed to have encountered an unfamiliar kind of machina during his flight. But to me, his description seemed anything but. And upon further investigation, I found that I was right. The Empire is developing a new Ultima weapon. Of course. What, that elegant monstrosity? Created to vanquish primals? With which you yourself once thought to conquer Eorzea? The same. In my foolishness, I sought to harness its power and became the Asian's pawn in so doing. But you know as well as I how that tale ended. The weapon itself, excavated from beneath this very city, was destroyed ere we could fully unravel its secrets, and that should have been the end of it. But unlikely as it sounds, the Empire's efforts to recreate it have somehow borne fruit, primarily through secret research conducted by the Seventh Imperial Legion, it would seem. Wait, the Seventh was all but annihilated at Cartano, along with its legatus. Indeed, few survived. The Seventh, as it is now, has little in common with the Legion led by Vandanus. Its leadership has changed hands several times since. Precisely how this project has continued despite such turmoil, and under whose auspices, remains a mystery. Hmm. What we do know, however, is that a number of prototypes have been produced. A number of and them. And that one of them is on its way to Eorzea. Oh, god damn, dude. We attempted to stop it, but it was all we could do to slow its progress. So we resolved instead to bring you warning. He has a very... I don't know how to word it. It's not silky. Like a grumbly voice, but in a good way. And right glad are we that you did. Though it soundly dashed our hopes that tensions might ease at last. Out of the As frying is, pan, dot, dot, dot. strengthen our presence in the Gimlet Dark, and are assembling a force to meet the coming threat. A force with you in its vanguard, I hope. Yeah. Before you say anything, I know full well you have pressing concerns of your own. Your comrades remain in peril, mm -hmm. and I would not ask you to forsake them. But the fact remains that you and you alone have faced the Ultima weapon and emerged um, victorious. We need you. Didn't Asinian wait? Asinian succeeded, right? So, With Nidhogg. When the time well, comes, power. if your comrades can spare you, I bid you lend us your strength. I've assigned an officer to await your word. So not necessarily us and us alone. Gravely, true, 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 true. It wasn't easy for him. Fair enough. Yeah, it was dispatched by Estinian. I thought so. The Asian's downfall was to be the work of my remaining days. His voice is days. smooth, but it's smooth like leather. That's but a good way to. That's that a good way to word it. These flames, and I cannot allow them to spread any further. I will do what I must to see this mistake consigned to history once and for all. Even if it means begging your aid. The fates will enjoy the irony, even as I endure the ignominy. Ignominy. Public shame or disgrace. Fuck this game. Fuck this game for making me feel stupid all the time. <laughs> Ig ig ignom ignominy. Public shame. I too shall make for the border and offer my skills, meager though they seem in such company. Mayhap we shall meet there anon.
Though we can ill afford to ignore the coming of a new Ultima weapon, our friend's plight grows ever more precarious. Maximus, and get out. you can join them in the first. <laughs> Gritty in the exact right way. Mm-hmm. I only hope you are not forced to make a choice. Ignominy is ignominy. Ignominy? I can't. Fuck, I already forgot. Is the Endwalker Dark Armor set? Is that what it's called? Publicly shaming themselves? It's their kink. We don't judge. Okay, so far so good. I think we'll take a break here. From <laughs> I have to be honest. I'm like, I have anxiety. I have anxiety about these quests. It's okay. It's fine. We can ill afford to ignore the threat of a new Ultima weapon, but with each passing day, the plight of the Scions grows ever more perilous. If you cannot stay for a debriefing on the Ultima weapon, I will not stop you. I only ask that you confer with me before returning to the first. Did you just pop up with a side quest out of nowhere? Why did you... Why did you suddenly get a side quest? It's a Gaia side quest! Is this worth doing? Oh, side trials! Trial series! <gasps> okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait on that. Shadowbringers trial series? Okay, we'll wait a little bit on that. Optional trials. Hell yeah, dude. I take it you're ready to return to the first. Oh, I see. So this whole portion of the MSQ is to be like, hey, here's leading into the, the trial series. Got it. Kind of like the Stormblood ones you haven't done and the Warring Triad in Heaven's Word. Yeah, we need to do the Stormblood ones next week. Oh. Now you can do the Shadowbringers trial series. Hell yeah, dude. Also, hi, Jad. Welcome in. Um, then I would ask that you apprise the others of recent events here in the source. Namely, Xenos' return and the development of a new Ultima weapon. As for their bodies, you may assure them that Master Matoya and I will continue doing what we can to keep their corporeal ether stable. Safe travels, sir. I hope to see you and the other Scions soon. Content warning! The trial series, gotcha. Hey, Tess, I got my first ever order of gamer subs. Very yummy. Do you mean like, um, uh, bu -bu 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 what's the G Fuel? Like G Fuel or something else? <laughs> Anytime I see an orange name, I have to stop and give hug. I have to stop and give hug. Shit, dude, when do we do this? When do we make room for this? I think you guys said after the post patches, right? Is when we do the Eden? Because th if that's the case, this can wait a bit longer. We don't have to worry about like deciding when we're going to do that yet. Really depends on if you want story consistency. I do want story consistency. It's so nice when you can do them all at once. Shadowbringer trials are significantly heavier than the Heaven's Word or Stormblood ones. Shit, okay. Heard. That makes me simultaneously more nervous and more excited. Eden 1 through 8 takes place before 5.3, 9 to 12 after. Okay, so yeah, we'll do all the, we'll do all the uh, patches then. I would like to be able to do just about all of them in a row if we could. Oh, you're saying it's better to do them before the finishing of 5.3. For story continuity? Oh. Oh, I see, Jad. I see, I see. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is tough, then. I want it to be done 5.3 next week. Do we... Do we push the Stormblood Trials back another week? The reason it's gated is related to MSQ story. Do we push Stormblood Trials back another week and do Eden 1 through 8 instead? And then do 5.3 at the end of the week. Push Stormblood Trials back? Okay. 
Eden is pretty awesome. I really want to do it. Also, hi, Versan. Long time to see. How you doing? Sounds good. Okay, so Eden next week. Eden 1 through 8 next week. 5.3 as well. I can't commit to it because it's right around Krimbus and I forget how many dinners we have. But that's what I want to do. I'll see if I can fit it into the schedule for next week. Um, but that's what I want to do. But we'll see how it pans out. Stormblood trials are self-contained. They can be whenever you feel like. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I haven't seen Avatar 2. I've heard it's very well received, actually. Prioritize Eden. Okay, that's what we'll do next week then. Probably Tuesday. Probably Tuesday we'll do Eden 1 through 8. Um, you've come at a most opportune time, my friend. I've made something of a breakthrough in my research on the soul and a means to return the Scions home. I trust you two have been making good use of your time. I have, thank you. Ill tidings from the source, you say? Then I will summon the others that we might be all be apprised of the situation. First Avatar was number one in the box office, but a lot of people just didn't like it, Jat, because it was so like bleh. I liked it. I liked the first Avatar. But I've heard even people that didn't like the first Avatar were impressed with the second. Did I do the event quest? Yes, I did. The Krimbus now one? We are all here. What news from the source? We are- wait, Alize is in here. What do you mean, all here? We're missing Ali. A new Ultima weapon. Mm. We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. First Avatar was okay. Not as good as it was hyped up to be. That was the problem with it. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. Definitely. With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. Very true. Especially if Garlemald is kind of fractured right now. The situation beareth closer observation. Of that there is no doubt. And doth compound our need to return unto the source. Mm -hmm. Graha? Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well He's be so nearing cute. its conclusion. Thanks in large part to Urianje and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. We're still going back to the Pokeball? What is that? We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white borosite, but without its regrettable limitations. And after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. Okay. An arc for soul and mind both that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A spirit <gasps> vessel, if you will. Ray, you took me out. The Master Ball! <laughs> the Master Ball! Just need to slam it into the base of your skull. Oh, could you imagine? Like, right in the spinal? No, I hope that's not the case. I'm sure it'll be far more mystical and glowy. It's fine. It was pretty to look at, but the story was basic. That's a good way of putting it, yes. Also, how much money did they waste for a mid-movie? A lot. At least he's gonna do it and be like, I know Kung Fu. Also, hi! Hi, Spellbound Tutor, welcome in. However. Oh, of course it's followed by however. however. Though the vessel is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. Okay, spell it out for a dumb a person like me. A gift that lives on only through the blood of the Allegan Emperors, which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. They're not going to rip out his eyes. <laughs> I remember I made this joke like last just week so that he's going to sacrifice his eyes, but no. As a conduit of sorts. Blood? In its absence, memory cannot pass from mind unto mind, nor from flesh unto crystal. We just want, we become blood brothers? That being the case, we must either alter the process of inheritance so as to require no such thing, or 
Determine a means by which my blood may permeate the vessel. I am hopeful that the records <laughs> found within this tower will be to know your your location. <laughs> to pursue one or the other of these <sighs> As well you should be. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarce believe it the work of ages past. Mm. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. Given time, we will find the answers we seek. Okay. I have not played the Return of Oberdin. Man, so many people have actually recommended that game to me. It's kind of wild. I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. Blood magic. Whatever it takes, I will see you safely home. He said this at the start of the expansion too. I know because I was just editing the video for it. My apologies. Lena. I do hope you haven't come to tell us that mortal peril fast approaches. <laughs> no kidding! Art no. is I a miss! speak with the warrior of darkness. Oh, she wants a date before we go? Literally, if anyone's in a meeting and somebody busts in on the last second, it's like, okay, it's some, they're coming in with drama. But no, it's fine. But there is no need to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. Okay, good. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead or dying. Mortal peril is not on its way. It's a very good mystery. Think about like it. Hers, okay. Mind. Unless she didn't want to. She's trying to ask us out on a date, Graha. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may yet be of some use to Lena. Okay. Lena's so cute, Jolly. No! Lena X Exarch only! No! Exarch X Warrior of Light, except not Lalafell only. Lena! Lena, Las Vegas. Lena, La. Wait, do I have to talk to Alfie first? Lena? Lena? Lena, bestie, where are you? I think I have to talk to. I have to talk to Alfie. What the fuck? Do you know who loves a romantic date with just Lena and, and Terabellum? Alphano. Alphano loves d dates with just Lena and Terabellum. <laughs> Urshan, that's her grandpa. <laughs> You exorc is Lena's grandpa. <laughs> Wait, I want to talk to... Now that we have our, like, main... I want to talk to everybody again. Now that we have our main crew, I wasn't talking to side people for a little while. Their grandpa and granddaughter. <laughs> Graha Warrior Light is literally best ship. I just wish I wasn't Lala for it. I do want to see Way of Water. Saw a little short about the linguist-created Navi sign language. Can I... Can I self-report super hard? I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before. Um, there was a young Terra who, about 10 years ago, saw the first Avatar movie. He liked it. He thought it was pretty cool. He then joined a uh, a group of people who were... No, I'm not going to... That's it. That's all I'm going to say. No, of course I'll tell you. I fucking started learning Navi in my spare time, and I'm so embarrassed about it. <laughs> I wish that I was a regular nerd and decided to learn like Klingon and not Navi, but of course I went with Navi. <laughs> it's so adorable. No, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I'm glad that I've forgotten like everything of it. That is fucking nerdy, Jesus. Listen, if Final Fantasy had a language, I fucking love language. It's the reason why I taught myself Japanese, though at this point in time, I've forgotten like most of it, um, but I love language. And it started with Navi, and then learning Navi is what pushed me to learning Japanese. And I don't know, learning languages is fucking cool. Klingon, Sindarin, these are acceptable. Navi is not. I know Vershawn. That's why it's a self-report. I'm telling you guys in confidence because I love you, okay? <laughs> that feel when trying to learn Klingon is the normal. <laughs> that is nerdy, but we're not surprised. <laughs> what does that say about me? What does that say about me and my character? <laughs> Faye is fantasy Irish. 
and is a distinct language, you can learn Draconic? Stop. Don't tempt me. There's a dragon, dragon language. Don't tempt me. I, I'll fall off the deep end. Maybe you can join the community of people trying to compile, compile Fey or Rogadin language. Uh oh. Oh no. I didn't know this was an option. Uh oh. I didn't know this was an option. But I didn't know Dravanian was a language Sith. I just thought they were like, wa do la ba bu la nipple pinchy. Like, I thought it was like the fucking um, Jabba the Hutt language. I didn't know they were actually speaking words. Like, understandable words. We do a raid on another streamer. Did you know he tried to learn Navi? <laughs> Nipple what? <laughs> Nothing. At least learn Sindarin. Tolkien was a linguist forced to write a novel to justify his nerding out. That's so cute. Wait, that's so cute. Koji Fox made dragon language. Holy shit, dude. All right. All right, but every word has meaning and it's a contextual language. That's so fucking cool. All right, well, I have something else to nerd out about now. It may be, uh, simply be my imagination, but Lena has been rather brusque with me of late. You don't suppose she's still upset over the mishap with the salmon fillet, do you? Graha, you're so fucking cute, dude. How is somebody so magical and amazing, like, kind of head empty? Like, just a little bit head, em head empty. Never have I seen such a repository of knowledge, a stark reminder. What little we truly know of the world. Upon White Orside's crystalline foundation, we have built not a prison, but a refuge for the soul. Would that- <laughs> Don't bring people up! You fucking assholes! Would that Moon Brita were here to see the wonders inspired by her research. Stop fucking- Stop hurting me! I'm sensitive, Vorianger! I'm sensitive! Fucker. Graha's a good boy. He's the perfect man, truly. Nipple, what? <laughs> Saki, how dare you clip that? The salmon fillet. Remember these words. I will. Ah. Oh. Have you tried not being so soft? Nah. It's kind of my brand, sweetling. You've been here long enough. To think we will not only have Xenos to contend with once we return, but a new Ultima weapon as well. Oh, why must all of our enemies insist on returning from their graves? Stola? Your guess is as good as mine, bestie. Fucking A. Ugh. No, Lord of the Rings isn't uh, a linguist being made to write a series. He's a, it's a poet. He's out here writing poems, and his toxic male friends come in and see him writing poems. And he's like, no, it's uh, for books about killing and war. <laughs> no, that's so sad, Vershad. As a Romaine, I really hope the next expansion has us explore the northern regions of the source where Rose came from. Perhaps even get into their language and all that. Dude, I would nerd out so hard. I've only been in the stream for 10 minutes. The warrior light is the softest lala I've ever seen. I could tell that was the vibe immediately. No way! I have a brand and I'm fully, I was supposed to say I'm fully aware of it. I'm fully blind to it until I look at myself when I'm editing and then I go, oh yeah, okay, that makes sense for me. I must confess, while I enjoy my fair share of scholarly research, it will be good to step outside for a spot of fresh air. Now then, shall we go speak with Lena? How dare you intrude upon my date, Alfie. How dare you? How dare you ruin my romantic date with only me and Lena? Sweetling? That... <laughs> Listen, sweetling. <laughs> Listen. Such Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. I suggest we hurry. Lena does not strike me as one who enjoys being made to wait. She, she's right, she's right. Okay, all right, you can't, you can't talk about, okay, all right. To be fair, not mutually exclusive. <laughs> we have little time, so I'll be brief. A Sin Eater has been sighted in Lakeland, and I ask your assistance in slaying it. I love Crystaria Ray. A Sin Eater? I heard some few yet remained after the knight had returned, but perhaps we should call the others. Hang on, I heard the word Sin Eater, and I was like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of them. No, there isn't a lot of them. They're literally not supposed to be around at all anymore. That will not be necessary. It is only a single Sin Eater. A simple task for our guard, I should think. That said, I believe fighting alongside the Warrior of Darkness would be a valuable experience for them. Peace can lead to complacency, and they gain nothing from an easy victory. But you do not underestimate our foes, or your foes. However harmless they may seem, my men would do well to learn from your example. Me? Why not Alphano? <laughs> 
You cannot be serious. Come now, sir. What could be more inspiring than fighting alongside the renowned warrior of darkness himself? I just had to try. Imagine if, I, if you were allowed to just pawn it off on Alpha now and you skip the quest. <laughs> Whenever I hear you say sweetling, I immediately start thinking of the secret world. The secret world. The secret world. I don't know if I know it. I've officially ported away from the tower. It's evil. The devs are evil. Kugane is evil. This game is evil. Oh, Val, you don't even know. You don't even know, bestie. Wait until you like get to where I'm at in the story. This game is evil in the most loving way. Persuasion check failed. <laughs> Feels bad. Come on, Alphano, you led an entire army before. You got this. Yeah. He led the Crystal Braves and he was doing well until everyone died. <laughs> evil tower is worse than evil story. Okay, fair. <laughs> Excellent. Then let us make for Fort Job, for Foot Job. On to Foot Job. I did do the Starlight event, Stellar. It was so cute. It was actually so cute. I love Crimbus. I love Crimbus. I love the holidays. It's, it's cute. Hello, Tara. Hi, Dion. How you doing? Oh. It's another MMO set in a modern world where pretty much every legend is real. Essentially, it's supernatural, the MMO. Oh, it's an MMO. I think I recognize it by name now. I never played, but I recognize it by name. Happy first starlight. Oh my god, you're right. It was so cute. I especially loved when we did uh, the raid and everyone was in Crimbus Glams. That brought me joy. The Sin Eaters that remain no longer have a leader to guide them, but they are no less dangerous. They cannot be suffered to live. Oh, okay, so they're, they're, they are still floating around then. That's fine. If you would wait here a moment, I will gather the others. Been okay? Busy today? How about you? I've been really good. We just did the last Evil East raid, and that thing was so cool. It was so fun. Particularly the big dual sword, the Thunder God. Thunder God was such a cool boss. I liked the last one too, but I actually think the Thunder God was cooler. We love good theming in a raid party glam. We did Party Finder and we got like full 24. It was great. When the fuck did I hit 80? You wrote 80! It's gone! No, it's still there. It's just no longer effective. Oh, the near raids. Near raids are probably gonna have to wait a bit because if we're doing Eden and I wanna do Stormblood Trials, the big things we're gonna tackle. I wanna do Eden, I wanna do Stormblood Trials. Then we'll probably do Nier, and then we'll probably do Shadowbringer Trials. So much content. I love this game. You may not remember, but you have met these soldiers once before, though only in passing. Oh no, it's gonna be the fuckers that I saved their life and they're gonna make me sad. Long have they awaited the opportunity to fight at your side. I was at Death's Door! Ah, oh, you fucking- Okay. I was at Death's Door that day after the Sin Eaters attacked. If you and yours hadn't come along, I'd have likely stepped through, and I wouldn't have been alone. Your courage and selflessness is something we all aspire to. So, Endwalker after 7.0. Simi, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Simi. I'm not stalling. I'm not stalling out of pure emotional terror. I too was there that terrible day. My friend was transformed into a Sin Eater before my eyes, and I had no choice but to cut her down. The thought of returning to the field of holding a blade again, it filled me with dread. But that is no way to honor her or my comrades, and so I have returned. I swear I will not let you or anyone else down from this day forward. A pleasure to meet you, sir. Truly, it seems like only yesterday I watched as you took flight astride in a morrow to go and save the Oracle. Strange to think that you Moran soldiers were once locked blades, uh, we once locked blades with, are now on our side. But we will do our utmost to keep the peace here in Lakeland. Well done. Oh. Roll d20 to, uh, to save for death save. <laughs> Haven't even given your raids the time of day. Don't need to be panties for anything. Are you sure, Izagi? Are you sure? Are you sure, though? Sounds like you're limiting yourself. We seem to be missing one. Where's your helmet? Honest soldier. My apologies, Captain Lena. An elderly gentleman asked that I escort him to clear melt. I, it took longer than I anticipated. I'll not begrudge your desire to help those in need, but a soldier must be punctual, especially when we play host to honored guests. It won't happen again. The name's Thaler. I'm sure you don't remember, but we met once before in the infirmary. Are you the one who had your fucking friend die? Oh, god damn it, dude. 
I asked you to deliver a message to the Exarch and the Warrior of Darkness. Little did I know I was already talking to him. Don't give up. Don't give in. I keep those words close to my heart, and the boundless, beautiful skies above serve as a reminder of their importance. Hi, Ramika. Welcome in. My friend got to see the knight's return shortly before he passed. He left this world with a smile, satisfied. You made me cry before. Shut the fuck up. With a glimpse of what has, was to come. But there are countless others who weren't so fortunate. I remember I teared up. I remember because I was so mad because I teared up to a nameless NPC. I think he was still called Honest Soldier back then. This game's sole purpose is to make you cry and it's good at its job. It's so true. You made me cry. Shut the fuck up, Terra 2022. <laughs> oh my god. He hasn't even gotten to Fields Walker. I'm done, dude. I'm gonna be in like emotional distress when I get to Endwalker. I teared up. Yeah, that narrows it down, Terra. <laughs> Listen! <laughs> they gave their lives to the promise of a future they'll never know, and so it falls to us to do everything we can to fulfill that promise. No matter what happens, we won't give up. We won't give in. You may be crying, I'm mad at you! <laughs> Your heroism uh, has inspired all of our guardsmen in much the same manner. Our scouts at the northern staging point have not had the pleasure of meeting you in person. Let us not keep them waiting. Dude, how many recruits are we bringing on this Sin Eater quest? What the fuck? This is a lot of people. I'm getting nervous. I love that fat choco. I don't know who was on it, but I love it. And Walker was amazing, but... I'm fully aware that um, I'm going to be like emotionally in in the tank through Endwalker, and it's okay. It's okay. I'll bounce back. It'll be fun. It'll be good. We'll just start playing like, I don't know, what's hella comfy? Fucking Slime Rancher or something on the side. We'll have to counterbalance the sad with something like unforgivably cute. Endwalker is stronger for some people than Shadowbreakers, for others it's the opposite. It depends on how you connect, right? It depends on how you emotionally connect. Stardew Valley? <laughs> Fuck. Pretty much. Dare they play Ardbert theme. Did you slay this eater? Your orders were to await the main force before engaging. Stardew Valley people arrive? <laughs> For someone like me, Endwalker is stronger because it drives into themes that hit you personally. Can't talk about it? Of course. Of course. No, Captain. It wasn't us, I swear it. A man came out of nowhere and cut it down before we knew what was happening. I know why they're playing Ardbert theme. By himself. Certainly it is no light warden, but I figured this out already. I it's see true. your tricks. Felt it with a single swing of his axe, he did. Axe. I've never <laughs> seen anything like it. I'm so not happy you, about this. Uh, who are you, the warrior of bleeding darkness? And he says no. I'm a warrior of light. That was it. Buggered off as quick as he came. I'm not happy about this, dude. A warrior of light? Why would someone go around calling himself that, though? It was those bastards who caused the flood. I mean, if you were going to pretend to be anyone, it'd be him. The warrior of darkness. Hey? Oh, oh I didn't know. It's an honor. I'm stressed. Tara not happy. Look, everyone. <laughs> but our boy lives. I'm not happy about it, Jolly. We had such good rev re revolution. We had such good resolution. We had such good resolution. Since the Eater I don't no want him to be back. Our work here is done. Return to your posts. I had hoped to fight Such at your side today. Truly. I'll continue to follow your example. <laughs> you expect we to meet be again, happy? Steve? <laughs> may we meet again, Thaler. Thanks for reminding me that I'm sad. I apologize for the wasted journey. It seems I overestimated the threat. No, that's okay. As for this warrior of light, I do not know who would be brazen enough to take that mantle for his own. 
Whatever it may once have meant, it is forever tainted by the association with the flood. Lena, do you not hear the music that's playing? It's obvious. It's obvious who it is. The Exarch told me the truth of Ardbert and his comrades' deeds, and I am aware they played some part in your own triumph. But to most, they are synonymous with the calamity that befell this world. Well, that's just fucking wrong. Still, if this man is minded to destroy Sin Eaters, I may forgive him his unfortunate choice of alias. But that is neither here nor there. I thank you for accompanying me. With that concluded, oh, Jat, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was insensitive of me. There is a proposal I should like to make. Tara, keep your heart strong and cold as Forgive ice. Me. I'm not capable there of it. There is one more thing. A personal concern of mine. I had hoped you might have a moment to speak privately. You want a date now? Lena, date? Take your time. I shall go on ahead. It's cool, you miss a lot of hints like that by no one's fault. Yeah. Whew. I have the perfect video for you once you get to a certain spot that's coming up. But... <gasps> Ray, give me your Amaro. Give me. Open up a trade and give me that. I want that. I demand. Amaros are so cute. I want one. Oh, Lena's right here. <laughs> I couldn't see behind the big fucking chocobo. I will not mince words. This matter concerns the Exarch. Mm. Though his countenance belies his age, his demeanor never has. He has seen more than any man should and grown ever more weary with time. But I see I give the wrong impression. While it is true he attempted to open a letter with a salmon fillet the other evening, we are not here because I suspect his mind is deteriorating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, our, our cat boy is senile. Our cat boy is senile, you guys. I love him. <laughs> Nor do I believe him to be so maddeningly unconcerned by the prospect of his own death as he once oh, was. Oh, man. Indeed, the opposite is true. He tried to open a letter with a salmon fillet. <laughs> I do remember what the Exarch said about the salmon fillet, I do. I love him. I gotta run now, Tara. I'm gonna make my dinner and watch Once Upon a Time with your B BF. Sith, I love you. I hope you have a good day. Enjoy your unwind. Whew. I, I need that concept art of him trying that. Artists of the world, hear me, please. I need a picture of Graha trying to open a letter with a salmon fillet. I ask for so little. I ask for so little in life, but I need this. Literally below. It's so cute. It is for this reason that I seek your advice. Okay. Since he returned from the Tempest, the Exarch is not as he was. Okay. He's happy now? He seems now? a different man. A younger man. I know not the details of his research, but when I saw him at work recently, there was- a I'm gonna cry, this is so cute. I have never seen before. He looked... happy. It was as if he had peered into the future and for the first time... found joy there. Though it gladdens me to see him thus, I wonder if I should not keep my distance. I fear that my presence will only anchor him to the past. Remind him of all the pain that came before. Someone made that art? I need to see it. I need to see it. Absolutely hilarious that he had dialogue before. Oh, huh. I bet she's worried about that thing and then that thing. <laughs> Oh, he's lost without you, you know, and he misses you already. He... Are you sure? Yeah. Then perhaps we might remain as we were. As we have always been. What a relief. In that case, I will have to speak with him about oh! the amount of time he is spending at work. 
can a mod save Valor? <laughs> Not Valor, Vershawn. Can can a can a mod save Vershawn? I forgot. Non subs can't post links. <laughs> Shit, Vershawn, I'm sorry. Either way, it's only for 30 seconds. <laughs> Rest in peace. I was like, why were 15 messages deleted by a moderator? And then I realized, oh, right. Vershawn literally went to go get a link. <laughs> uh, speak to him about the amount of time he has left. He's spending at work. Got you. This research is important, I oh. know. But if he refuses to consider his own health, I will have to consider it for him. Lena's going to take care of grandpa. Someone play taps for Ferjant, truly. Lena's gonna take care of Grandpa, guys. This is so cute. Let me see if I can uh, get into mod mode and save Ferjant myself. Mods are asleep. Mods are asleep. Post, post. Don't do anything. Don't post anything. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ferjant, I'm coming to save you. I'm coming to save you. Someone's playing taps. <laughs> Mods are asleep. Post anti love, you wouldn't dare. Um, oh, it's been a minute since I've had to do this from this menu. Mods, help me. Okay, well, Vershawn, DM me on Twitch, because I don't think you're in the Discord. <laughs> La <laughs> Hi, love. <laughs> Thank you for deleting that message. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Vershawn, whisper it to me on Twitch, and then when you do, let me know, because you should be untimed out by now. I don't know how to save you from this menu. I think I have to enter mod mode, and I haven't been in mod mode in forever, so I'd be lost. Ooh, uh. Facing the truth. I will not keep you. You and your comrades have much to discuss. I will see the others back to their posts. Boo, 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 boo. I've changed my controls so I can't spin on spin in place anymore. I think I could switch back to uh do, 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 do. There we go. So if I want to spin on place I have to switch my control scheme. What a scam! Legacy type's just so powerful. <laughs> Big chicken step on Lala? Yeah, Jolly is being annoying. <laughs> Um, facing the truth. Back to the Crystarium. Oh, Ooh, wrong way. Oh, Vershawn, 10 out of 10. Well done, well done. I'm sorry, I forgot about the auto mod thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry you got bopped. <laughs> you had to reload the stream and had you stuck in the naughty person corner. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry that happened. <laughs> I'm a terrible human. I literally like baited you into it too. I'm a monster. Do, 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 do. Bang. Uh, I'm assuming you dropped it in general. Nope, you dropped it in jokes and memes. Nope, where did you drop it? Fuck, we have too many channels. Art? I can't find it. Oh, to me directly! To me directly, in Discord? Ah, there it is. No, this is precious. No, this is so cute. Wait, load? Why is it just a white screen? Load you for- Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. 
do, 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 do. This is the cutest thing. This is the cutest thing. I'm so happy. Dude, literally using your skills for the good, for the good of the world, is this right here. Oh my god, of course it was Zucchini though. <laughs> this is so cute, my heart. If the artist somehow finds out that I love it, hello, I love it, well done. You are doing us such a service. This is amazing. <laughs> this is incredible. Exarch, that's a salmon fillet! And he's just like, oh, I'm gonna open my letter. <laughs> so cute. Zucchini loaf slash onion roll does the most adorable 14 arts. I'm gonna have to learn how to follow them. I'm a boomer. Except if they're on Twitter. If they're on Twitter, I can't. And at least until I'm done MSQ. I've literally, my Twitter is dead right now because I'm terrified of Twitter. I saw something that was almost a spoiler, screamed, closed the app, and I haven't opened it since. Oh. It's now in jokes and memes as well. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Terrified, literally. Tara, Vershawn, DM, DM me it. Also, Tara, where in Discord did you post? <laughs> listen, listen, Rando. I'm not the most consistent of humans. Yeah, they're on Twitter and absolutely do not follow them until you've caught up. I'm sure they've made art of... Yeah, okay, fair, 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 fair. Most of their art is on Twitter. Okay, got it. You full disabled your old Twitter the other day because of the Elon shit. My stopping of Twitter was twofold because of Elon shenanigans and because of spoilers. Mostly because of spoilers, also a little bit because Elon shenanigans. Um, but yeah, I'm scared of Twitter. I'm actually getting a little scared of YouTube now. I've had to fast scroll past my recommendeds. Literally, if I see anything that even looks like Final Fantasy, I scroll. <laughs> and it makes me sad because I want to watch more videos. Alphano tells me a warrior of light has slain the Sin Eater. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to make of this. No, you're not that dumb, bestie. Ah, yes, I was hoping to speak with you about... Er, hmm, on second thought, never mind. It would be rude of me to pry. Graha wants to know what we talked about. Graha, you're so cute, buddy. You're so cute. He's like, what did you and Lena, what did you and Lena discuss? It is strange to think how heroes so beloved by the people could be brought so low in so short a time. Warriors of light, harbingers of the flood, and all the world's woes. That this wanderer would so boldly claim their title is most curious indeed. An adventurer calling himself a warrior of light. Why would anyone tie themselves to the legacy of individuals held in such low regard in the first? Who knows? For me, I wanted to focus on self-improvement and found I was wasting too much time Twitter scrolling. The doom scrolling is real. The Elon stuff made it easier. Yep, the doom scrolling is so real. Half the time when I launched Twitter, I was just depressed <laughs> after scrolling for like 20 minutes. <laughs> the others were quite shocked to hear of what we found in Lakeland. But now that you're here, there is a proposal I would like to make. I have been spending a great deal of time in the cabinet of curiosity, and of late, I have noted more and more people perusing books on history, the years leading up to the Flood in particular. I suspect they wish to know more about the Warrior of Light, as well they should, but nearly everything I've come across describes them as Sin Eaters or worse. Regardless of whether or not this Warrior of Light is who they claim to be, I worry that their sudden appearance in conjunction, conjunction? conjunction with this renewed interest in their predecessors may lead to growing unrest and fear. If the people of the Crystarium seek the truth, I say we give it to them. I too can attest to the fal falsehoods found within many of the cabinet's tomes, with nary a mention of noble deeds of Ardbert and his comrades. To be fair, they bear some of the responsibility for the Flood, but when the tale is told again and again over the course of a century, I'm not surprised to see their roles distorted and them painted as villains. Were it not for the records stored within the Crystal Tower, I would have had no reason to question the narrative. Unfortunately, that knowledge was of no use, for when I arrived here in the first, their reputation had already been irreparably tarnished. That said, there still remained those who worked tirelessly to defend their good name in those early days following the Flood. Ciela, I wonder, if is one of them. Considering all the good they have done, I find it a wonder they needed defending at all. They brought to justice the man who misused my knowledge to bring about the fall of Verbert, 
that such heroes could be spoken of in the same breath as Sin Eaters is absurd. Under normal cir circumstances, I would agree, but as time passed, those who knew firsthand of their deeds dwindled. In the end, only one truth remained, that they were the cause of the Flood. With the world on the brink of oblivion, it was all too easy for the Warriors of Light to become villains deserving only of resentment and hate. At that point, the truth mattered little. It would not change their lot. Thanks to all of you, however, their lot has changed, and now they may heed the long-forgotten truth. You claimed it was Ardbert who helped you overcome Emmet Selk, correct? Such a revelation would do well to sway the hearts of those who know him only as a villain. I have shared this with a select few, but one and all must be told of his sacrifice. To that end, I say we proceed with Alphano's plan. We call together the people of the Crystarium and recount to them the ta true tale of the Warriors of Light and the flood that followed in their wake. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. The more I hear from Musk, the least I, the less I want to. That's what made the decision for you. Made it very easy, right? Well, what say you, sir? Hell yeah, I say! I wish we had done this sooner. In hindsight, I agree. But better late than never, no? Exarch, might I ask you to continue working with Beck Lug on our means of returning home? The rest of us will see to gathering the people of the Crystarium in the Exedra. We have to reach out to anyone and everyone who might be willing to lend an ear. With any luck, word will spread and more will accompany them. Our boy's gonna get his name cleared. I'm so happy. Even when we were doing the roll quests, I had wished that we had done this. There could be no darkness without light, and so it was that Ardbert was there in your hour of need. The people must be told. I have seen so many a great and terrible thing in my long life, as has the Exarch, no doubt. Of man, I can say this. His memory is short, his heart fickle. Let us pray that your words reach him. There's a YouTuber who went through New Game Plus, did a lot of the voices for the Warrior of Light. When Ardbert helps you in the end and you merge with him, he had this whole double voice thing going on and it was shiver inducing. Oh, Vershawn, that's so cool. That's so cool. The timing had to have been perfect. I would have been like rewatching the cutscene in anticipation to make sure I had the timing perfect. That is so cool though. Sir, my, what a wonderful surprise. Though I hope your being here doesn't mean someone's been hurt. Thanks to you, I've had far fewer patients coming through my door of late, which is a shame, come to think of it. I've had fewer opportunities to test my new medicines. <laughs> I just, of course. It's actually been quite pleasant to have a few moments to myself now and again. The truth about the Warriors of Light, but the Exarch has already spoken with me about them. Well, if there's more to the tale, I'd very much like to hear it. Ah, uh, I think it's going to be easier to warp to the Amaro launch? No, the Crystal I mean. No, the Amaro launch. No? Yes. No? Yes. Amaro launch. People said, how you, how you doing, Prey? Prey, how you feeling? What's going on in the world of Prey today? And then Jesse Cox replaces Ardbert's axe with the Butterfinger. What is wrong with Jesse Cox? Is Jesse Cox okay? Uh, stress. Love you. Hello, Prey. Love you. Sorry you're going through that. Well, well, what a coincidence. I was just reading over a letter I received from Grenold not long ago. He's a totally fine person and normal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he says a visitor from the Crystarium found him at the bottom of the ocean and that he inspired him to reach new artistic heights. Well, I can think of only one person capable of both feats, though I'd say the latter is far more impressive. F that bottom of the ocean? Oh! I forgot about him. To think fate could bring the two of you together in such a place. Our craftsmen. Our craftsmen, dude, I forgot about him. I'm sorry? You mean the Exarch didn't tell us the whole story of the Warriors of Light? Well, what 
Uh, whatever he's left unsaid, I'm all ears. I'm back. Welcome back, Edible. How you doing? Feels like years since the Butterfinger codes. What sort of cursed knowledge? Love you too. Don't want to talk about it on stream, but having a time for now. Love you so much. Pray. Soak up those vibes. Relax. Unwind. And ease your mind. Where do you think I should eat out at Sonic? Who do you, Wait, who do you think I... Wait. I'm not proud of how my brain understood what you were asking me, chat. I think you should eat out at Dairy Queen. <laughs> Who should I eat out, Sonic or Dairy Queen? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Tara, really? Listen, listen, it's not my fault. No, this can't be. Surely there is at least one book here that does not cast the worries of light in their deeds in such a negative light. Come on, man. <laughs> Tara thought you were gonna eat out Sonic, listen. <laughs> Whose fault is it, listen? Oh God. Eat out the Dairy Queen? Who is he? <laughs> Who is he? We don't know her? <laughs> that statement sparked a hundred fanfictions. <laughs> there was an event I think earlier this year where if you bought five dollars of Butterfingers, you'd get a chocolate Koro Kapoor. A little plant with a dew drop on it, but since it was chocolate, it's brown. Wait, that's kind of cute. In game, Lord Wiz? In game? Wait, is Tara actually Chris Chan? Like, do you mean Chris Chan is in the religion or Chris Chan is in a human? Because I don't know who Chris Chan is. You have that mount. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, sir, forgive me. The cabinet of curiosity has been bustling with visitors of late, but I fear our repository lacks the knowledge they seek. The people wish to know the truth of the flood of the warriors of light. I've searched high and low, but alas, every every account portrays them as no better than sin eaters. Abominations worthy only of scorn and resentment. I know they were not always judged so harshly, yet I cannot find no proof, and I dare call myself a librarian. None of the books were lost in the flood. It's okay. Terra was only a US mount? What the fuck is this bullshit? Us Canucks can't get it. Unless you knew an American zip code. This is so sad. You would address the people and tell them the truth of the Warriors of Light, of the Flood. How wonderful! You've regaled me with the tale once before, but I should love to hear it again. Oh, and you, uh, you may be assured I will not come alone. Good, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, sir. You know, Sonic, Jet, how dare you? I should never talk. I'm a silent streamer from now on. Do, 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 do. He says immediately, honey. How dare I? How dare you? Fair. I hope they bring some of their events outside the US. We're missing the ch choco, choco coro poker and the slash pe People have a slash pizza emote? M jealousy. M jealousy. Uh, at least we have slash cookie. Slash cookie is cute. Come to browse wares in the market, have you? Well, I can guarantee you'll have no trouble finding what you need. Whatever it may be, under Yulmore's new leadership, trade has never been more prosperous. Where does that fellow from Daedalus Stoneworks has taken over as mayor? Did he really? Little wonder the business is booming the way it is. I imagine it won't be long before all of Norvant reaps the benefits. But what do you come to talk about? You've not come to talk about the market. Something on your mind. I see. The Exarch did mention that they, uh, they had something to do with your returning. The Knight to Norrent. All right. Consider my interest peaked. Interest? Peaked. Bitch! You are my <laughs> superstar. EJ, how dare you? Thank you for the five months. EJ, appreciate you. Thank you for five beautiful months of Primer. The pizza emote was from Domino's. Dude, every time I think of Domino's, the Hatsune Miku Domino's crossover commercial pops into my head. Have some fun with Miku. Domino's pizza. You've only ha ever had Domino's like two or three times? We usually default to Domino's if we don't know what kind of pizza we want. It's usually Domino's. The pizza emote was a whole fiasco? Oh, stop. Ah, 
Uh, I'm sad I just missed the eating out bit. I was putting hot pockets in the oven. Izagi, so sad. <laughs> so sad for you. Don't remind me that exists. Why? Stop, Jolly. I'm not sorry. Well, well, to what do I owe the pleasure? Whatever it is, I must ask you be brief. With the night return, visitors have been flocking to the restaurant, I find myself too busy by half. I don't mind it, though. Seeing the stairs so full of life and excitement, one can almost forget the flood ever happened. The truth about the Warriors of Light? But you already told me all there is to know, didn't you? Well, if there's more to their story, I'd love to hear it. Maybe I can compete with Ciela in regaling patrons with stories of their heroism. Perhaps I'll even inspire a few aspiring adventures. Is your birthday in six days? What are you doing for it? What's the plan? What's happening? Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. Oh no, Tara, that YouTube thumbnail. Why? Because I'm an emotional terrorist. Jolly. <laughs> if this game hurts me, I will hurt my viewers. <laughs> That's my logic with the YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Because I'm a monster. <laughs> uh, there you are. Between the four of us, I dare say we've swept the Crystarium from top to bottom. But uh, now we need to wait for people to gather. <gasps> Emote only! Bye, chat. Love you guys. See you next time. Don't hurt us. Hi, Valk. <laughs> Story time with Unki Terra. Let's go. Yes, this looks to be nearly everyone. Let us begin, shall we? We shall. Though I am usually the first to hold forth at such events, I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. All right, get ready. I'm going to do my best to tell them what happened. They would be more inclined to take the word of the Warrior of Darkness. But it's a voice cutscene and I don't have a voice. Indeed. In light of the subject matter, who better than thee to speak these truths? It's a voice cutscene. I don't have a voice. You're getting sca- you're scamming me. I'm being scammed. Come on, Final Fantasy! <laughs> oh. Anyways, they came to my world as the Warriors of Darkness, and they were like, Hey, we have to cause a calamity and end your world uh, to save our world. But then then they found out that wasn't the case. They were being misled by an Asian. Um, and, then, and then after that, we came back here after they sacrificed themselves. They stayed the flood like that. And then she was like, Artbert, no. I shan't let you sacrifice yourself. It's not your time. And then he gave his axe to me. And then we killed them at Selk, the end. Smiley face. Wicked white. The warriors of light did all that? Nodders. I think I got it pretty right. I think I, I think I, yeah, I think I got it. Right? So they never, I mean, Nailed they the story. ever wanted to help. And when everything they'd done turned to ash, they still carried on. Yep. They gave everything to stop the flood. First their lives, yep. then their souls. Yep. And they managed it too. In the end, they saved us. And we cursed their names. Yeah, you guys are assholes. <laughs> this should go a long way towards clearing the air. Oh fuck, you scared me, Jay. Just got off a 12 hour call with a friend. Jesus! Going to TGA Friday is your favorite place for your birthday? That's awesome. Impossible. My stress level's through the roof. My stress levels? Through the roof! They did everything right. Everything they were supposed to. And still, 
Still it came to this. I take it I'm not imagining this then. I definitely see something. You don't think it's a ghost, do you? A g a g a g a g a ghost? Nay. Yonder standeth no bloodless apparition, but a warrior of light and darkness both. Albert. I don't like it. What in the world? Interesting that his axe isn't bloodied either. It's you! The one who slew the eater! That it should be the warrior of darkness who brought the truth to light. You've saved me a fair bit of time. Though I have a few words of my own to say, if I may. Okay. People of the Crystarium! I am Ardbert, one of those you know as a warrior of light. That's impossible. You should be dead. This makes no sense. Aye, that I should. But as the world has been given you life, so too have I. I know not why I, and I alone, I have been gifted ask. this chance. But I do know this. Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. But just you and not your comrades? <sighs> the hero who stands before you now, the warrior of darkness, is not of this world. And the day will come when he must return to his home. Why am I getting reported? But this land is our home. What's going on? And if it is to remain so, now and forevermore, it is we who must protect it. The time to rely on saviors from afar has passed. It is you who must rise. You who must become the new warriors of light. What? Us? Warriors of light? None of us were born heroes, my friend. I was only ever a man right. with a thirst for adventure. Right, it was because of Ciela, her orchestrating. But wherever my journeys took me, I was invariably confronted with the same choice. To lend what aid I could to those in need, or not. And I always chose the former. Any one of you could do the same. All you need is the will to help your fellow man and the resolve to see it through. I like that my Warrior of Light's face is reflecting the way I'm feeling. Because this is baffling. From thine own lips did we learn of Ardbert's fate, and by thy countenance I gather thou art not inclined to recant thy testimony. Yet whosoever this man may be, his words hold truth and resonate with the citizenry besides. For us to voice our doubts here and now would serve but to sow disquiet. Yeah. T'were better we retired unto the ocular and there discuss this matter in private. Okay. Go. I will stay here and watch. This got me messed up, dude. I have a video for you and the cutscene is coming to an end. Okay, I bet. This has me messed up. So, that is a warrior of light of the first. I've not had the pleasure of making his acquaintance, but as you all seem to be in agreement, I gather this is no simple case of mistaken identity. No. As far as I was able to discern, that was indeed Artbert. It has been a long time, but not that long. Could he truly have been resurrected as he claims? 
I, I, eh. Thank you. These are both options that I'm feeling. Either no, absolutely not. It looks like him, it sounds like him, but it isn't him. It can't be. Ardbert did entrust his very soul yeah. unto thee. I see no reason to question thy judgment. Yeah. Nor I. To my eyes, your ether burns as brightly as the day you slew Emmett Selk. That is proof that he is with you still. Exactly. Okay. Thank you for fucking putting my mind at ease here. Yet that which standeth now before the people is far more than a passing imitation. I am reminded of the cardinal virtues, though a sin eater he is not. Hmm. Which leaveth but one plausible explanation. Aliens! I don't know. That he is an Asian. Well, yeah. Given their fondness for posthumous possession, I would have to agree. Like, Elidibus? I guess we don't know Elidibus's motivation, and he's no stranger to body From snatching. What I understand, the warriors of light were laid to rest in Yulmore by those whom they had aided in life. At the time, some few still remembered them as heroes. Mm. Needless to say, four of them were subsequently exhumed to serve as the virtues. Mm. And if one knew where to look, Ardbert too would not have been difficult to find. Ah, uh, among Usians. Assuming then that this is indeed the work of an It's either Alligans or Asians, always. My mind inevitably turns to the last remaining paragon to survive the sundering. Yeah. Elidibusi. Elidibus. That Xenos hath reclaimed his own flesh is known. And only gives more evidence to thus evicted from his borrowed yep. form and cognizant no doubt of Emmet Selk's failure here in the first yep, 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 it is yep. quite possible the emissary chose Ardbert for his next vessel makes sense as fucking aggravating as it is inhabiting the flesh of the fall <sighs> my that is unsavory and they do this often you say yep they sure do verily for they possess no corporeal forms of their own. In what one may term their natural state, none save those gifted with the echo can perceive them. The elegans were orchestrated by Emmett, Indeed, so when it's Elidibus always intruded upon the waking sands, his presence did go unmarked by all save Minfilia and the warrior of light. Oh my god, this is so long ago! Forgot. On that occasion, I myself remained ignorant of his coming until after his departure. It was only at a later juncture, when he deigned to appear before me in borrowed flesh, that I was finally able to take the measure of him. I forgot about this too! There was that moment where... Wait! Orianger was talking directly with Elidibus, wasn't he? In such puppetry do the Asians engage when they seek to influence the course of history. And they have gained much by it. Emmet Selk single-handedly built the Garlean Empire in this manner, while the Hebrea came close to conquering Eorzea, having taken possession of Thancred's living body. Mm -hmm. Yet it must needs be noted that the Asians cannot avail themselves of all mortal vessels. For were they able to do so, none would serve as a better pawn than our own redoubtable champion. But we have the blessing, so... Mayhap the blessing of light shieldeth Hydlin's chosen from Asian influence. Or mayhap other forces are at work. We cannot say for certain. Whatever the reason, I hope it holds true. I dare not contemplate what might come to pass otherwise. Is it not peculiar then that Arbert's mortal remains should be susceptible? Given that he was once a warrior of life. Perhaps it's because. Or did the final yes. departure of his soul make it possible? That's what I'm perhaps. thinking. Regardless, to hear an Asian use him to call forth new warriors of light boggles the mind. Well, wouldn't that cause an imbalance? Once again, in this world? Elidibus hath ever been an enigma, his ostensible purpose being to preserve the balance between light and dark. When he made overtures towards me, however, I was afforded a glimpse behind the mask of the self-appointed emissary. 
Okay, good. We're getting info. I shall not defend mine actions, undertaken in pursuit of a better understanding of our foe as either wise or prudent. I just want Ariante to continue to read off theories to me. I love him. I love Ariante so much. It was likely when Lahabaria was wearing Thancred he stayed cloaked, so it looked the same, right? Imagine how fucked this world would have been if any Astian decided, hey, this random adventure seems pretty cool, and possessed your body before you gained the blessing, and then it was just over. Over before it even began. Nevertheless, what little I did glean may now prove useful. Thank God. Elidibus possesseth a subtle mind, practiced in the art of manipulation. That he coax this star's most valiant heroes as far as the source with naught save half-truths is no trifling feat. True. And now I believe he doth employ his skills once more to some as yet unknown end. Though naught is certain, should my suspicions prove true, we shall have need of all our wits if we are to uncover and thereafter thwart his plot. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Tis plain that simply speaking out against him will not avail us. At best, it would only serve to confuse the people. And I would hesitate to do anything which might tarnish Ardbert's reputation once more, nor yours by association. Especially after we just cleared it. That being the case, it may be wise to keep a covert eye on this Ardbert's movements, as we attempt to discern his purpose and how best to mitigate his influence. Right, right. I think... Emmet Selk told us. His performance appears to have concluded. What now? Go back out and follow him? Yes. Um, Emmet told us that Asians have the power to elevate. Uh, I don't want to say a normal person, but elevate somebody to the level of Asian, though not as powerful as themselves. So I wonder if Elidibus has somebody, maybe not Elidibus himself, but maybe somebody else puppeting. Puppeteering? It would appear Ardbert. Master Alfino already hath pursuit in mind, and I suspect one pair of eyes shall better serve our cause than half a dozen. Mm. Let the rest of us maintain an inconspicuous distance, for the present at least. Leave it to Alfie. Money. We must not act until Ardbert hath made his plain his plans. It would be folly to proclaim him false at this juncture. We were a hair's breadth from defeat when we faced him at Selk, and now we must contend with yet another Asian. We must tread carefully. What a despicable practice, appropriating corpses. Such depravity eclipses any horrors I witnessed in the age of Verbert. They must be stopped. I believe at this point in the story, you know the following. Elidibus, Emmet, and Lahabard were the only three Asians that weren't sundered, and they could awaken Asian souls that have reincarnated. Thank you for summarizing it for me, Zoe. That's exactly it. You did well to dispel the falsehood surrounding the Warrior of Light and their actions prior to the Flood. Though I must say, the reappearance of Ardbert, or rather, one who appropriated his identity, was a rather curious development. He is an imposter, of that there is no doubt, but to the masses he will appear as a hero returned from the grave. After the warriors of light were laid to rest in Yulmor, the people prayed fervently to the gods to deliver them from their plight, prayed that these fallen heroes be born again for their sacrifices. What bitter irony. I, for one, would like to know why Ardbert urged the people to become warriors of light themselves. Ere we take action, we must needs ascertain his intent. Let us pray that Master Alfino returneth soon with that most essential knowledge. For now, I think it best to apprise Thancred and Reen of our efforts. When we do confront Ardbert, we shall no doubt have need of their strength. Agreed. I think it prudent we all take measures to prepare for what's to come. Beck Luke and I will continue our research into how we might improve the spirit vessel, that it might one day carry you home. We really have an imposter among us now. I hate it. Hmm. Then I think it time I return to the Greatwood. 
Until now, everything we have learned of the Asians has been handed to us at their leisure. But that was one of Emmet Selk's unique failings. I have no reason to think Elidibus will be as forthcoming. Fortunately, I recently received word from Fanoff that heretofore unexplained chambers have been discovered deep within the Kitana Ravel. Almet believes the relics within tell of a great calamity that befell an ancient civilization. That of Asians, perhaps? They may lead us to the truths we seek. <laughs> Be sure to let me know how that works out now. Would you care for company? Me too, me too. I wouldn't dream of going without you. When you are ready, make for Fanoff. Almet and her sisters will be expecting us. Come up to Crystarium? Okay. Then let us begin our tasks. Pray give my regards to the Vis. I would like to join you in untangling the Asians' machinations. I think it best I stay here and devote my energies to finding a way to deliver the Scions back unto the Source. True, we're not quite done on that front, to be fair. <gasps> right, the video! Boom, boom, boom. The real Artbert. The real Artbert here. Not like that phony imposter Artbert. Um, where is... Where is my Discord? There it is. Jokes and also memery. Adding spoiler, thank you. That's the way of it, Vershawn. That's the way of it. Dun, dun. <laughs> Totally accurate black mage slash white mage Crystarium dialogue. Let us begin, shall we? Oh shit, my own music is still on. Hang on. Hold a moment while I mute. There we go. Do 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 do. Though I am usually the first to hold forth at oh, such it's so events, quiet. I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. <clears throat> it's so quiet. Citizens of the Crystarium, I bid you listen to my words. The Warriors of Light were not the villains you believe them to be. The truth is, they were just people, like you or me. They did not cause the Flood of Light, rather they did everything in their power to- It's at max volume, I can't put it up anymore. Stop it. Their desperation caused us to cross paths, where our ideals and our blades clashed like a torrent upon a shore, but in the end, we found a solution to their plight. One that necessitated sacrifice. The heavy toll that they resolved to pay. <sighs> they gave their very lives to save this world from destruction. They were kindred souls who gave their everything. To pave a future for you all. They would be more inclined to take the word of the warrior of the Gasp! Yes, my It's not all that quiet for you? It's very quiet, even for me. This is really cute, though. Listen, motherfuckers! <laughs> the warriors of light were not bad people! <laughs> they had a chicken! It was the only mount they could afford! But even if those poor losers could only walk around in unglammed level 50 gear, they still <laughs> tried their best! So stop talking shit about them! Do you hear me? Do you fucking hear me? I will fuck you up! <laughs> nice. A hundred percent accurate, white mage, right? They weren't strong enough to stop the flood of light! But they were fucking cool despite that! I would adjust for any of them! Any time! Adjust! I would adjust for any of them! Any time! What's this, Buller? What is this? Oh, is this the same one? Let us begin, shall we? This is the same video, Buller. That's really well made. I wish it was a tiny bit louder, but otherwise really well made. Healers adjust! Always. Whoops, am I typing the wrong spot? There we go.
just gonna leave this here. We'll just play out the rest of Shadowbringers like this. Truly the highest compliment a healer can give. I will adjust for you. Truly! That's love. That's real love right there. Also, Frogo, they were talking. I couldn't say hi. Hi, Frogo. How you doing? Welcome in. I will never forgive you for this, Rando. You updated your plate, Lynn. Let me see. Image you can, images you can hear. Guitar rips in, literally. As someone who's currently leveling White Mage, I am that. One brings shadow. One brings light. Let me look at you, Lynn. No! I'd like when the plates are very close up on the face. I don't mind when someone wants to show off their like full outfit, but I like this. He's cute. It's why I did my uh, PvP portrait for my monk like that. Just a cute little, just a cute little, dirty little, happy little Lala. I love him. He's cute. Do do do. Raktika. La he. La be la be la la. He. Do you know? Lahi? Oh, it's nighttime. No Lahi. Also, we're inside Fanoff, so it wouldn't be Lahi regardless. Cowards, how dare you have unique town music? Should see your main character's ninja portrait. Post it in, uh, in a, um, 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 the Final Fantasy screenshots folder, Jolly. My long boy needs to get high enough for level for glams before you worry about plates. Fair. Be advised, there is a solo duty involved in this quest. We got time for it. A proper Lala excavator, better known as a minor miner. <laughs> Welcome, allies of Ronka. We have accomplished much since you last came. With the Light Warden dead and its minions dispersed, we have at last reclaimed our hunting grounds near Raktika Falls. It was there that we discovered more ruins. Although we ran afoul of no traps while exploring its halls, we determined that the innermost chambers were warded by magic. We were all in agreement. Before any investigation could proceed, you should be summoned. We are grateful that you did. From what you have told me, I strongly suspect that the wisdom of my comrades and I seek to be found within. The wisdom could prove invaluable, for we may soon face a woe whose greatest asset is our ignorance. I see. Then it is good that you have come. Faranka was once home to the greatest of weapons, knowledge and understanding. It is our duty to ensure that you and yours do not want for either. It's great to learn, because knowledge is power. Literally, the EVs. But what if it was a underage Lala Excavator? A minor, minor, minor. Fa <laughs> I hate it. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch, world. How you doing? Is that kind of like when you uh, get the dirt off a of vacuum, making you the vacuum cleaner, cleaner? Get out. Get out! I don't have patience for this! Oh, oh my god, my spine? Wait, oh my god, my spine? Why is my spine like this? Oh, that felt very good. That felt very nice. Thank you, world! I did not know I needed that. Bless your heart. That said, we must proceed with caution. To have reached the inner chambers unmolested suggests a more formidable deterrent lies yet within. Come now, surely any threats sleeping within the ruins pale in comparison to those who have faced thus far. This is not a game, sister. You should not be eager to run headlong into danger. Oh, and who was it pining for the return of our allies that we might venture into the ruins? Clutching her staff at night, wishing it were... <laughs> you promised not to tell! <laughs> Ew. Uh, then I suggest we be going. <laughs> wishing it were... Uh, no, no, I'm not going there. When you clean your shower, you're your shower shower. Get out. Why are you guys like this? Remind me, exactly how old are you and your sisters? On second thought, perhaps it's better, I do not know. Pray I forgive their overzealous nature. None save we three have been privileged to escort you and yours into the ruins and bear witness to its secrets. Their hearts now burn with a curiosity that is not easily satiated. Please, you needn't apologize. A seeker of knowledge myself, I understand full well their enthusiasm. And if not for your sed...
Sedulous. Showing dedication or diligence? Sedulous. Sedulous. I've never fucking heard that word. Between Uriange and Nishtola, um, I, I swear I'm becoming smarter. Also, I'm back. We canceled our show because I'm feeling bleh. Did you eat too much? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They just want to cuddle the Lala. 100% wholesome. Yeah, nothing bad. Just wholesome. Forgot that Hawk Manor was MSQ. Yes, it sure is. This game loves to use words that 99% of people don't know. They want to hurt us. They want to hurt our brain. So we're, we're vulnerable to the emotional damage they're going to inflict upon us. And if not for your sedulous efforts to protect the ruins, we would not be afforded this opportunity. Speaking of which, I believe I've kept you away from the ruins long enough. Come, let us make the for the Katana Rabble. Rabble? Katana Rabble? Yeah, that's the one. Or spell them weird staring at jail. How am I supposed to sit in my chair all the way up there, edible? Unbelievable behavior. Then why are you so far away? Why aren't you on the boxes with everybody else? Daddies? <laughs> Every now and then, someone just has a name that hits. Someone just has a name that hits. Daddy's disappointment. <laughs> Prepare to get disappointed. <laughs> you legit thought jail was pronounced like goal? I got scolded when I was playing uh, Elden Ring because they have all the all the jails in there. And yeah, I got I got really scolded. Rubble, 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 rubble. Jail is obsolete archaic. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Good luck on your cue. Hang on, I have to give you a quick little hug. Wait, I can't clip too much. Just a little bit of clipping, so my arms reach. Eh. My arms didn't reach. We need a bit more clipping. Eh. There we go. I hug only your, your move. Only your move I hug, and then I move on. <laughs> the tiny reindeer is still so cute. I love how things are sized to Lala's. Baby reindeer! Don't ever talk to me or my adult reindeer ever again. <laughs> I still get confused uh, as fuck with Chirurgeon or however it's spelled. I think I finally heard it enough in the MSQ that I, I, I'm I, quite confident it's pronounced Chirurgeon. Oh, we need a row on their reindeer so we can have the scaling reindeers. Do you know there's a lore reason why chocobos for Lalafell are smaller? No, what is the lore reason? We also have the teeniest, tiniest of Jokobos. Ooh, what is that barding? What in the Thordan looking ass? This barding is so cute for Chocobos. They bred a specific small breed just for Lala's? My heart. My heart, dude. They specifically stunted the growth of Chocobos just for the Lala's. I feel kind of not good about it, but also that's cute. I like to think that breed, much like small dogs, work a lot more than Wark? Oh, Ark! Ark, not work. Ark, Ark. A lot more than the larger ones. Like, th they're really yippy. I, I had canon it, for sure. It's sort of what they did for, for ponies. Actual true. It is most strange that these halls left unguarded. Have care when breaking the seal of the chamber door. Danger surely awaits on the other side. It is recommended they set aside sufficient... What? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna end stream. <laughs> Imagine if I did that. <laughs> Imagine. Um, my anxiety literally shot through the roof. So I'm gonna take a quick little break. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I need a snack. I need a snack. We will do this. I know the uptime. I see you, Jolly. Thank you for uptiming me. I'm aware. Um, I'm gonna get a snack. Maybe something sweet. Maybe like a cookie or something. 
Um, maybe drink some more water. Thank you, Lord Wiz. Uh, and then we'll do this. I promise. We are going to do this. We're going to end on this tonight. Whatever the hell in the nightmare fuel this is going to be. Occasionally, when several uh, several scenes are played in sequence, it's not bad. Occasionally. So hopium, it won't be bad. So I'll be back. Snackies, and then we do whatever the fuck this is. Asleep disturbed. Monk ass. I'll be back. I'm not drinking this whole cup. Fuck you guys. I'm drinking 15 because Valora is a 10 out of 10 mod. Okay, here we go. 15 beverages being consumed. Hey guys. How come vampires don't have more friends? Because they're a pain in the neck. Oh ho ho. Oh ho. God damn it. Hey, I'm more than Not toilet. fixed, yeah, but paused. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been <gasps> Oh, my fucking horse. Are you okay, buddy? Are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you could make that jump, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I look away for one second and my horse eats shit. I tried to jump. I can survive this. I think I can. I think I can. Patient. <laughs> oh! Oh, we are here. No! I saw butterflies. God fucking damn it! Oh. <laughs> is this a logic seed? I think. Oh my god! I think it is, Tokopi. I think it is. I think it's like slightly, slightly. <laughs> live, vi live video. Not, not pre-recorded or anything. Setting myself up for some kind of meme. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me, my son, or my son's son ever again. <laughs> I see Kitty. I'm not confident that we can get Kitty without murder. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. You died. Oh, you died horrifically. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Please tell me nobody saw that. Duckfeet baboon looking at. Stop! I'm getting cyberbullied. All right, let's choose a new chess piece. Let's choose a new chess piece. We need something like hella fancy. Who's that fancy bitch walking over there? That's me. Super fucking fancy. Look at me. It actually ties in. Let's go. Get a dog and dog cam? I can't believe I'm getting a dog just to milk it on stream. Oh God, hang on the phrasing of that. Hang on the phrasing. I meant as in like, I can't believe all three of these V's are about to die. Okay, let's go. I had a bunch of chocolate. I feel good. I feel good. I had a bunch of chocolate. I had a little bit of Pepsi. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. I had some Beepus. They were like Belgian chocolate waffle cookie cracker. They're great. They're awesome. Come, our new discoveries are to be found this way. Yes. I think it's just been now. Or just after, it's fine. 
Okay, love you. This guy's so cute. The people of Ronka are known to have venerated animals, but these features do not match those of any indigenous species. This is no common beast. A chimera. Though that much is plain from its proportions. Lifelike, is it not? One could almost imagine it breed. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Why you... Ugh. They know what they're doing. Messing with me like that. I'm like, oh, this bitch fucking dead. This owl, by contrast, seems no different from the others we've seen. True. The sealed door lies ahead. As you see, one statue is missing. I expect we are meant to replace it as before. Makes sense. Too simple. There will be some additional defense mechanism. Such as this thing coming to life and eat her ass? Just a moment. There are words carved into the stone. Eating ass, you say? <laughs> Buller has entered the chat. Who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber shall instead waken the beast and know his fault. A hero's deserved slumber is interesting. Wait, Who's in this tomb? Don't. Oh, you dumb bitch. Oh my fucking god. You've killed us! You've killed us! What? What? But I only... What is happening? You've killed us! I just told you! To shreds, you say? Oh no, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! It lives! <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Prepare yourselves! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun. Oh! oh, okay, me too. Okay, that's fine. If it, if it takes all of us, that's fine. Disappointed mom voice. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> we go to get. Wait, are we together? Oh, for fuck's sakes, we're not together. Oh, oh, yes, we are. What the? Triple triad? I've been training my whole life for this moment. I've been training my whole life for this moment. Let's play. You got a pretty cute deck. My deck's better though. Let us play a game, Yugi boy. Duty commands, triple triad. How do I play cards with you? You trespass mortal upon sacred ground. In retribution, four souls I have bound. Yet to heroes proven, learned, and wise, a comrade's shoals, shoal, soul shall be their prize. If you would see theirs set free, answer me these riddles three. Deft of paw, with kin do I vie, though sought apart, betterment of the whole do our efforts... Do our efforts... What? Do our efforts descry? What am I? Oh my god! Deft of paw. With kin do I vie. Betterment of the whole. 
betterment of the whole do our efforts descry. I mean, maybe Opo Opo, but I think Corals. Deft of Paw? Corals. Oh, last was the Opo Opo! Keen and shrewd, its spirit exalts ingenuity, a virtue by which the Ronkins did prosperity uh, pursue. For this mistake, a single talisman. Sloppy! I shall take. I think I have four tries. I don't think she's fucking dead. I think I have four tries. You kill the cards, you kill them. If you do not kill the cards, you die. Make your choice. How goes the Yu-Gi-Oh? Stressful. Stressful. With fearsome fang, I travel with pack. Oh, wolves. Wolves hunt in packs, Arisen. Uh, together we find harmony, and thus for peace our land does not lack. What am I? Wolf. Owls are not pack animals. Indeed, twas the spirit of the wolf. Um... Uh, wolf their doctrines praised that they would know peace and harmony to the end of their days. The riddle's answer you did discern, and thus to you a soul returns. On my belly do I crawl, but my strength does not prosperity reign within our hull. What am I? Who crawls on their belly? Snick. Snick. They ill like fire. Scree! Simon, what do you think? Simon? Simon, you're not gonna help me? Indeed, the Dread Serpent turned protector, lured to slumber, ere it tear the world asunder. The riddle's answer you did discern, and thus to you a soul's return. Don't send them to the graveyard, Cedric, please! I'm convinced that she's still alive. Desire you that which I yet claim, then we shall play another game. A test of mind and memory, choose wisely, and you all may go free. Twixt these talismans, hide friend and foe. Choose your companions well, or sorrow no. Free your comrades from the talisman! We must choose carefully. Oh, is it? Are we literally playing a matching game? I play Monster Reborn with and return Yumit to the battlefield. <laughs> Memory game flip to match. Okay. Is there perhaps some other meaning to their arrangement? This one. Shola! The other Shola is gonna be over here. I play Pot of Greed, which allows me to draw two cards from my deck. Boom. We saved Best Girl. Well done. We saved Best Girl, nothing else matters. But nothing else matters. Easy clap. I'm the best matcher man. Yay, Shola, now we can leave. <laughs> JK save the rest. <laughs> Thank goodness. Your comrades are assembled together at last. Yet still there remains one trial you must pass. If you would glean knowledge enshrined in this earth, I would first take measure of your girth. Oh, of my worth! <laughs> I need help. One worthy of she who the Ronkins extolled must be strong of bi bind, mind, body, and soul. Terra! <laughs> I must take measure of your girth. <laughs> I'm awful. Stola, can we dance partner? Yes, we can. Off we go. Hold nothing back. Stola, get away from me, girly. Guys, I'm not okay today. My mind has become unhinged.
Victory off begs sacrifice, but which of you would pay the price? Me! Yes! Good. Take me. Sir, hurry, we have to save him! No, I am sacrifice. Oh, I see. Um, I was looking at my bar, not at where everyone else was moving. behind him. It's a bit excessive. Oh jeez, she shredded them. Are you kidding me? I wonder if Stoll is holding back. She better not be. Show them your all. I like it. Not only is she not holding back, but her gloves are off. Well thought, hero. The trial is complete. The way is open. And I concede. Defeat. Nice. Not wholly unexpected, but an exhausting ordeal nonetheless. Wait, it's one final trap. <laughs> it's been cold recently. I hope she remembers to put them back on. Yeah, she better not have left her gloves in here. They'll be so hard to get back. <laughs> she can cast flow or whatever it is for like the sixth time and kill herself further. Huh? Almost like the game wanted to teach you the mechanic. Interesting. They wanted Twitching to show me what to do first. Us. How polite. By putting me in the middle. Now, what have we learned? Ah, we were bound to run into a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. Oh, Jolly, right, thank you. Bonk. Your girth was good enough to let you pass. <laughs> Clearly, we passed the girth test. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber. Who is the hero? Who's entombed here? I'm shocked. Shocked. Wait, who is this? Somebody blocking meteors. At the fall of Amarat, I believe. A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. She is Vis. Could it be the Archmage Tiuna? A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation 
So potent was her spellcraft, though she ever fought in the name of peace. With fiery meteors. Nothing. We've learned nothing. I thought your girth no has been cares. measured. You've been found sufficient. I, I think hate she that. Really <laughs> existed. Well, I for one always believed. Stand tall. By the light of fallen stars, great power awakens. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Think she knew the truth of Amarat? No way. Not less than the echo. Oh! In which case... None of this is mere coincidence. Mm. A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. Your mask makes you think of Kindred from LOL. I used to love Kindred. I don't know how Kindred is these days, but I used to play Kindred mid, and it was so much fun. Sorry, that's a total tangent. Uh, you look so fierce with that hat. Thank you, Yumi. The glam is not complete. I want to go for full tribal or I full warg, honestly. Of it. Now, however, I believe we might. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured into the Katana Ravel? If I remember correctly, Moreover, yeah. Does it not recall that which Emmett Selk invited us to witness in Amaroth? Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yep. The final days. If, as the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond. Might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived oh, even shit. later, given a suitable trigger? The echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory, or shall we say modern etherological theory. But if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided... Mm. It would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. <laughs> I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. Fair enough. Still, I cannot choose but be reminded of our experience in Amaroth. That's what I thought it was depicting until she said that she was Vis. Aww. Should I be really on the nose? I'm gonna be really on the nose. You must recall Emmett Selk's dying request. Remember us. <sighs> History is learned, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Ronka, just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. Your mothers were wise. Though we witnessed the final days, our impressions could not fail to be colored mm. by our own experiences and expectations. Truly. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. Truly, truly, truly. Because in there, our motivation was to deal with Emmett. It was hard to remember. We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive, or it will die with Emmett Selk and his kin. Mm. Thanks for the follow, by the way. 
but we have disturbed you not long enough. Fana will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. Mm. Hey, welcome in as well. It's a good thing we got sundered our... That when we got sundered, our minds are still able to comprehend the fact that we are not whole and stuff. It'd be pretty annoyed if my head just popped like a balloon as soon as I thought, hey, we're a small... Oh, you mean that the fact that we can absorb the knowledge, Jolly? <laughs> Without being held back by the limitations of our fractured body? <sighs> we learn nothing of the Asians, but the potential link between the Echo and the preternatural star showers is intriguing. When exactly, don't answer this, I'm just asking out loud to think, when exactly was Heidelin brought about? Because I think this is what they're slowly, like, leaning me into. Zodiac came about to defend them from a calamity. And then Hydaelyn came and struck down Zodiac, imprisoning, imprisoning him in... The moon? Emmett told you the tale. I'm having trouble remembering it right now. Hydaelyn didn't cause that, did she? Am I forgetting something crucial? Well, when I edit the 5.0 video, which will be soon, I'm, I'll be able to fully re re regale it to myself. But at the time being, I'm a little confused of the timelines. Zodiac came about. They summoned Zodiac. They sacrificed half of their population to do it. Then some people went, wait, this is wrong. Summoned Hydaelyn. Hydaelyn struck down Zodiac and then the end of days. I don't know where the end of days plays in. That's a good refresher, yeah. Sounds like you need to go to the inn and watch it again. Uh, I'll be editing the video very soon, Rashawn, so... I'll, yeah, it'll be fresh in my mind, which will be very, very good. Because I'm definitely missing... Somewhere in my timeline, there's like a there's a gap. Zodiac first, defense from the first calamity. Hydaelyn is brought about. Strikes down Zodiac. Then... Question mark, question mark, question mark. End of days. So I'm missing something important. Oh... <sighs> The council will decide your fate. I love you guys' chairs. <laughs> By your pensive expression, I take it the tomb has given you much to think about. God, that's so funny. Oh my God. I love moments like this where me, the player, am in a situation and the NPCs seem like they're engaging directly with me, the player. <laughs> that as well. In time, the knowledge you have gleaned will lead to understanding. <laughs> And thus arm you for what is to come. What the hell? Quit being so fucking meta, Almet. Before you leave, however, I would speak again of, our, of the teachings of our forebears, of histories learned, not lived. The legend of Tierna and her exploits has, has been told countless times over the centuries, yet as it is handed from one generation to the next, the story changes. With each telling of the tale, there are new flourishes, details changed or lost. We can never truly know how she lived for we were not there to see it. But we are here now to bear witness to your life. We have seen the change you have wrought, the echoes that will endure long after you are gone. And though it too will change in time, I swear to you, we shall do our best to preserve your story. <sighs> I hope you'll forgive me if I don't make an oath of my own, but I think it goes without saying we could never misspeak of your heroism. Perish the thought. So long as we are here, there are none among the Vis who will not know of all you have done for Norvrant. We are not deserving of such reverence, but we are grateful all the same. You can be certain we will uh, have our own tales to tell the great guardians of Raktika and the ruins of Ronka. I pray you safe travels then. As ever, we shall await your return with open arms. The writing is very on point with these moments. God, is it not, though. It's amazing. Oh, it does make me sad to think about the fact that the person who uses, uh, used to be, must have had loved ones, friends, and family. You just don't remember them anymore. 
Uh, the person... Oh, the person we used to be. You mean the... Uh, what, what should we call them? The, like the ancient Amaratians? Amor Amaratians, I think we call them? The Amarat people. Definitely had friends and connections of their own, yeah. Which is... Dude, did you... Jolly, were you not paying attention to 5.0? That's why Emmett was so thrown off. When we slightly... Amoratin, thank you. When we slightly reformed, that's why Emmett was like, no, there's no way. And why he was thrown off right before the Hades fight. You're still not clear. Uh, you're still not near the end of 5.2, but if the next quest is a better spot to leave off than here. Okay, let's do it. An old friend. Although we learned not of the Asians, the insight we gained into the Echo made our trip worthwhile. Before we return to the Crystarium, however, there is a small matter I would attend to in Slitherbow. Might I trouble you to come with me? As long as we can see Runar. Thank you. After we arrive, we should oh, we should have a brief word with Runar. Yes, please. I miss Runar Cat Dad. Five point three be a twelve hour stream. I think we'll go part way through five point three and then finish it the next day. Literally, next week's stream schedule is just screwed up because of uh, holiday dinners. Um, so I don't know what the schedule is going to look like until I iron it all out with like my family and see which days people are doing what. I know for sure I have one on Christmas Eve. I think I have one on Christmas Day. And then there might even be one on Boxing Day. So next week might be weird. You're getting a schedule at some point. <laughs> You should already know the base of, uh, order of events surrounding the summoning of Zodiac. And yet I still have that that gray area where, yeah, I'm gonna have to pour over the VODs. I'm gonna have to pour over the VODs and uh, figure it out. I think the first time we did the Kitana Ravel, I think Emmett painted it all out for us, the entire sequence of events. So I just need to go back to that moment in the VODs. I don't even have my own Christmas schedule, let alone someone else's. There was one year, I think, it, was it last year? Last year I had no Christmas dinners because we were all still being very careful about COVID. Um, or was, was it the year before? I don't remember. But I did I did seven days of stream miss, streams miss, and I streamed seven days in a row. So people had a place to be, and it was so nice. It was nice. Well, I, I had, there was stops. Like, I didn't stream continuously. It was like, stream for six to seven hours, stop. Stream for six to seven hours each day. It was so nice. I wish I could do it again this year, but alas. A last family. Do you want the one-liner of what Emma told you? Yes, but I am still going to go back to the VOD, but I would still like to hear it, Izagi. Considering it's information that I should have locked down, but then I have this, like, blank moment. Loud noise. Final days. Zodiac Heidel and Sundering. They s- Oh! Okay, so I had it backwards. I had final days in the wrong spot in my timeline. Thank you. That places it perfectly. That places it perfectly, and that makes more sense. Interesting. Okay. Hi, Runar! Sir, it is good to see you. You've arrived at a most opportune time. I was preparing a pot of my famous stew. Come, I've already a place for you. I'm sorry, Runar, but we haven't the... Please, I insist! It will take only a minute. He's so cute. The loud noise is like a, like a sigh from the earth itself. Thank you, guys. Uh, ah, my apologies, sir. It seems our return to the Crystarium will be delayed. There is a perfect break point in 5.3 to split the day. Okay, awesome. Whew. But perhaps only for a bit, if you assist me with my work. I say work, but it is rather more a chore. I must clean my chambers here in Slitherbow from top to bottom. If you'd be so kind as to go and fetch a broom from Asgir, we might finish before Runar is done cooking. I want this. I want this. This belt. I would like to have it. A broom for Master Matoya? I cannot imagine why she would need, have need of such a thing, but here you are. It is old, but sturdy, and sure to suffice. Oh, Jolly, yeah, that sucks, the timing of that. Brutal, brutal, brutal. 
If you need a mount, go spas. Isn't he home? Hey! Hey, sweetling! This is a bonk for you. Straight to horny gel. I have to go inflict emotional trauma on another streamer who's about to do a... Hith... Hith... Oh! Randall, do your best. Oh my god, Randall, do your best. Also, what is their name asking for a friend? I trust Asgir was able to find a broom for us. Yes. How do you spell that? How do you how do you spell that in, in Twitch words? <laughs> well, Warren, good. This would prove difficult otherwise. Though I must say, I think I did rather well for not having a broom thus far. Because I think I know where I'm going to send you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Rando. Yes, well, you weren't buried beneath a veritable avalanche of books when you entered, were you? Right. Anyway, it's time I finished cleaning the uh, with the help of that broom. Emotional vampires, vampirism is real. Why do you think I'm going to put all you guys in that channel when we're done with this quest? <laughs> Why do you think I want to be in that channel when we're done with this quest? <laughs> is broom. We must feed. <laughs> you didn't honestly think it'd... Uh, I'd do it the old-fashioned way. That broom is more than capable of sweeping by itself. Or rather, it will be. Ahem. Time to rise, to swish and sweep. A tidy chamber you must keep. To this task you shall be bound, until no dust is to be found. Oh! <laughs> so cute. You know Hillary Mason, she's from your home server. Very cozy, very nice. Say less. I'm down to go. In this one particular respect, I have no objections to following in Master Matoya's footsteps. In further, I may need you to remind me the pursuit of knowledge does not preclude other equally important duties, such as maintaining clean quarters for said pursuit. Runar, don't eavesdrop. Oh, I will dearly miss this place. These people. Oh no, Runar, you weren't supposed to learn about that. M Master Matoya, pardon the interruption, but the stew is ready. Oh. You found her while she was in the vault for the first time. Oh no. Is something troubling you? You've been rather quiet. N no, everything is fine, I assure you. It's been a long day is all. I see. Ishtola, thank goodness you're still here! Hey, all the gamers have arrived. Alphano? I thought you were following Ardbert. I was, though I'm sad to say I lost track of him shortly after entering these woods. He seems determined to traverse every ilm of Norvrand in his quest to spread the truth of the Warriors of Light and the Flood. And it seems news of your address at the Crystarium precedes him at every destination, making his task all the more simple. It remains to be seen to what end he encourages the people to become warriors of light themselves. But there is no denying that his words have struck a chord with many. Well, we're all agreed that this is just another Assian ploy, yes? They've commandeered corpses before, and to no good end. I see no reason to think this time is any different, especially when it's that of a fallen warrior of light. I doubt we'll learn more if we remain a step behind. His next destination is, in all likelihood, Slitherbo. Alize, are you certain you should be here? 
If you're concerned about Halric and the others, you needn't be. Their treatment is going well, but progress is slow and exhausting for all of us. The best thing I can do now is let them rest. So I believe we were about to discuss how to arrange a meeting with our would-be warrior of light. Before visiting any towns or villages, Ardbert would hunt down and slay a nearby Sin Eater to earn the locals' trust. Our best chance of getting ahead of him is to find one before he does. Thankfully, Thancred and Reen are returned from the empty and have taken up the search. Reen believeth one may lurk beneath the bows of woven oath. Then that is where we will start our search. Master Matoya! I, er, uh, a warm bowl of stew will be awaiting your return. I look forward to it. <sighs> oh no, Runar, you weren't supposed to hear our conversation, buddy. You gonna be a sad cat dad. Runar, I love him the same. He gonna be so sad. Thank God the tattoo appointment wasn't left for the 23rd of this month, like the reappointment. Otherwise, you would have to cancel that. And this is the one that got pushed back already, right, Jolly? Well, we were too late. If you were hoping to vent your frustrations on our Eater friend here, I can only apologize. Few as they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. Mm. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need only wait for Ardbert to arrive. Weren't you two meant to be attending to the empty? We were, and are. But we can hardly ignore the rest of the world. So we thought we might see how things were coming along. From what we can gather, the answer is strangely. Strangely is accurate. Right now, we think we can do more good here. It is heartening to have all present. Yeah. Indeed. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. Our quarry is come. It seems I've lost this particular race. Yes, sir. Well, though I suppose it's only fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you. Ravana, was it? Just because you have his fucking memories doesn't mean... <laughs> but where are my manners? I wouldn't be here were it not for you, and I have yet to say a word of thanks. This could be a good test. Do you wish Seto was here? Poor fellow. He will be sorely missed. What the fuck? I thought you were supposed to be good at this. <laughs> Ask him something only the real Ardbert would know. Yep, we got him. I was like, I don't remember Seto dying, and then I had to scan my memory real quick. Very well. Let us forego this pretense. After all, it was never you that I needed to deceive. Yes, it is okay. I. Elizabeth. I didn't remember Elizabeth's mark. 
Through your time in Emmet Selk's imitation of our home, I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Sure have. Not that it matters. How dare you use my son like this? This made me so mad. I was mad the minute I saw Ardmer back alive. Well, alive. We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the Convocation, of course. If it helps you to think of me as but another Asian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Once, I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Right, I'm in the same boat, Alfie. Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. Yep. Yet though we seem doomed to clash, I bid you consider Emmet Selk's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. Consider it. Emmet Selk. How very unlike you to err so gravely. That one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable. But I had thought you above such weakness. Mayhap you thought the same. Would that I had been present to offer correction. He's he's being too evil after what I've learned from Unukalhai. It's the only thing I can think. He's being too evil right now. But I shall do so now, as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. It's too easy to as hate him you, right now. Look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back 100 short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. Mm -hmm. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. You fail and you fail and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand again and again and again, and you would remember us. You do forget yourselves. There is no common ground to be found between you and I. Nor do I require any. I have my duty. Wait! Is it strange to say Elidibus sounds just as broken as Emmet Selk? He sounds just as broken. Well, we have confirmed the identity of our foe at least. Yeah. And tis safe to say his objective is the rejoining. Of course. But we still have no idea how a playing Lidabert. the part of a warrior of light will further his cause. Nor why he was I mean, they all are, yeah. The He's making the same arguments that Emmett made back in the capital. You cannot be entrusted with our legacy. Yeah. I mean, the unsundered have just been there the whole time. So the whole are the most broken. Yeah. I think it's because he wasn't there with Emmett that he still acts like this. He wasn't there to see what Emmett saw in us. Avalon? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I'm so glad. I think it was, was it Ray or was it Rando? Uh, regardless, one of you guys pushed me into doing the Heavensward Extreme Trials and the news from Unukalhai. I'm approaching, I'm approaching um, Elidibus differently now.
if I had not seen what I saw from Unukahai, I would be just furious right now. I'd be mad and I wouldn't be trying to understand him, but now I am desperately trying to understand him. Another visit to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. Whether we are to exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting, the fact remains, we know too little. Mm -hmm. Ere our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, and of Elidibus yes. himself. This is what I want. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmett Selk came to ours. How do you propose? Huh? Though I see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amorot we visited is but a phantom yeah. born of Emmett Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not already know. I quite agree. Yet the ruins of the actual city remain oh. unexplored. Oh! Given the vastness of the Tempest, I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. Oh, ho, ho, ho. smart ass Stola lover. If there's aught to be learned, I want to know. A man after my own heart. Assuming we are all in agreement, then I suggest we first pay a visit to the Ondo. If anyone can tell us where more ruins are to be found, it is them. He's still a dickhead, yeah. It was because he stole Arbert's appearance that made me so mad. I wanted to understand him, but it was like a cardinal sin. Oh, I'm still pissed off about it. You couldn't see past your boy. I'm still very pissed off about it, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more desperate to learn his motivations. What would drive someone to do what he is doing? And I want to fully understand him. Whew. Perhaps even a cardinal virtue. Ray, don't. <laughs> bullying um okay without any delay i i know exactly where we're going hillary mason sounds like they're approaching the very end of 5.0 if they were in amarat from the sounds of it that is a hundred percent where i'm sending you guys because that's a hundred percent where i want to be let me just make sure i'm spelling the name right um it's hillary mason yep okay one l yep okay we're gonna go be emotional vampires okay we're gonna go be emotional vampires i hope you guys are ready I hope they plan to finish 5.0 today. It is a lot. It is a lot. And if they're in Amarat, they're close, but it depends on how long they stream and whatnot. But um, but uh, yeah, that's that's 100% where we're going. That is 100% where we're going, all right? They're hoping to. That's where we're going. Boop, bam, bing. Uh, we're going to have our raid messages. First is if you're a sub, second is if you're not a sub. Um, I love you guys so, so very much. Uh, the schedule will be posted either tomorrow or Monday at the latest for next week. Uh, I have to figure out when all my dinners are and whatnot. But um, I love you guys so, so much. Please drink food, eat water, take your meds if you've forgotten to. Um, and we'll see you Tuesday. There will for sure be a stream Tuesday, that I know without a doubt. Uh, and we'll probably start Eden because I want to finish Eden before 5.3. And we'll figure out the rest. We'll figure out the rest as we get there. Love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope you have awesome fucking nights. Goodbye forever. And uh, soak up all the emotions from this human because it should be good. It should be good. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I love you.